<clears throat> Mike, check. There we go. That's the game. There I am. It looks like there's a bit of a blue screen over there, but there's not actually uh, anything going on over there. I'm lonely. I have no friends with me right now. As you can see, I'm back at the Space Shuttle Pavilion at the Intrepid Sierra and Space Museum. I'm Das. <laughs> We've been streaming here as part of the Space and Science Festival all weekend, and I'm missing my uh, my two counterparts. It's only one amigo of the three amigos right now. Uh, NASA man and EJ are both down at another presentation. They'll be joining me shortly. It's just a dust in a space shuttle. And honestly, I mean, without EJ there, you can see the Soyuz capsule a lot better back in that side. And uh, you know, I've got two kerbals to keep me company. So I guess that's I guess I could set them in the chair, but that wouldn't really make any sense. Anyways, guys, this is the home stretch here. This is the kind of like home stretch for our streams. All weekend long, we've been broadcasting from the USS, the, the Intrepid. It's not the USS because it's not commissioned anymore. Um, the Intrepid, Sierra and Space Museum in New York City. It's an aircraft carrier. It's decommissioned, parked over here on a pier down by the river, and turned into a museum. Um, and the museum was gracious enough to let us broadcast live from the Space Shuttle Pavilion. What's well, the Space Shuttle Pavilion? Well, it's got a space shuttle in it. As you can see back behind me, that's actually the USS Enterprise, one of the space shuttles. This was the one that didn't actually, never actually went to space, uh, but they did a bunch of glide testing and that sort of stuff with it. And all weekend long, we've been talking about how awesome the museum is, like what's going on here. We keep like geeking out like EJ. I swear there's like a guy following around with a mop, like mopping up the drool that EJ is like leaving in puddles everywhere he walks around the space shuttle. Um, but we've been kind of hanging out at the museum. We've been doing some periscopes. We were down at the pier earlier looking at all the awesome stuff that was going on. We checked out the Conscord. I ate some, uh, some chicken fingers, which were delicious and filling. Um, <laughs> on a pier down by the river. What's up, Shatter Mage, by the way? We've had some guests. Shatter Mage was here. Um, we actually had an astronaut on the stream earlier today, Mike Massimino, uh, graced us with his presence and his, his signature. And I'm super proud of this, my Haynes manual <laughs> that I got signed by Mike. Um, he was answering some questions. On Friday, we actually had Greg Olson here, uh, one of the first private citizens to go up to the ISS sort of deal. Tesla Ranger, you're a little bit, uh, what, what, what did I miss there? I don't know what I just missed. Basically, Das is sitting in front of the world's worst glider. Probably better than most of the stuff you build, Cantab, honestly, in Kerbal Space Program. Um, but <laughs> I've seen your stuff. It's terrible. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> um, so anyways, guys, uh, I'm going to be streaming here. I'm holding it down, uh, kind of like the lone man in the lighthouse here. Not that I feel too lonely, honestly. Um, but <laughs> you like that? Right. That's right. I've got the camera. I've got the microphone. I've got a space shuttle behind me. Like, careful. Careful saying things to me. Seriously. Um, it's all a good fun, guys. I know Cantab, so I can give him trouble. He streams sometimes as well. Um, pour some water on Cantab. I'm going to be working on the shuttle a little bit. NASA Man and EJ will come back up in a little bit. Um, we're going to see if we can't get this orbiter flying. I'm going to be here. Again, if you guys have questions, I'm really going to endeavor um, right now to do a little bit more chat interaction this time. So if you've got some questions about the museum, about the festival, about the shuttle, about things that we've been doing, feel free to put them in chat. It's been totally hectic and it's really hard to get to some of that stuff when we're pressed for time. This is kind of like the, the run out here, right? We're kind of like spooling things down. It's the end of the shows. We've got another four hours worth of streams to do. But if you got a question, ask some things. Yeah, you like, thank you, Captain Kamikus. You got it, you got the joke. You totally got the joke. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the people, I, I know this is some questions yesterday, the people in the background can't really read the chat. Um, we don't have the chat up anywhere around here. We've got a big screen. I was actually going to tweet it out um, so you guys can see kind of what I see as I'm here streaming. So let me see if I can do that. That is absolutely a Soyuz pod. Back there, right behind uh, this guy right here, when he moves you'll see that kind of golden tan pod in the background. That's a flown Soyuz. That's actually the Soyuz that Greg Olson came back down in. He acquired the Soyuz. That's TMA-6. It's a flown pod. He acquired it, and he's got it here at the museum. So he, he like lets the museum display it. It's his personal thing. And that guy was on a stream answering questions about 
flying in that pod back there, and TMA-7, which he didn't write down, and that one stayed at the space station, TMA-6 came back down. But that is, that is absolutely a Soyuz capsule back there. Um, let me see here, let me see. I was gonna see if I could do this right quick, so you guys, chat, you look fantastic today. Let me see if I can't show you what you look like on Twitter. I'm just gonna toss this out right quick, and then we're going to hop over to build our space shuttle, which we continue to work on. So let's see, let's go over here to the Twitters and then to the thing. Chat is looking fantastic this afternoon. You know, I eat on stream, <laughs> I tweet on stream. It is what it is. Let's see here, is chat is looking fantastic this afternoon. Because you look a lot like a uh, Canon G30 over there. I totally appreciate it. There we go. So there's a picture of what I actually see. That's what the setup looks like. Tons of people were asking us about that. Um, so there you go. If you check my Twitter, I'm Kspace, at Kspace Academy. If you check that out, you can see what I see. The camera's down there, kind of in the bottom of the big screen TV. Uh, but let me actually start flying this thing. Wait, let me do my hair first. Oh, speaking of which, I've actually got a new, uh, I've got a new thing as well. We stopped by the gift shop. Um, I picked up an Intrepid hat. I figured that I could use the Intrepid hat a little bit here instead of uh, wearing the, well, this is just my normal little black hat, and I've got my KSA hat over there, but let me, hang on a second. I can still talk to you, because I still have the mic on. That hat switch, though, right? And we'll go ahead and go for the Intrepid hat for the rest of the show. That looks fantastic, except I can't hear myself. There we go, all right. Excelente, we should look fantastic. I dressed up for the occasion with your dress pajamas. <laughs> Is that the, uh, oh, there's actually a link to the tweet, it looks like. And did I push this too far forward? There we go. The quick change, tactical hat switch. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Oh, let me do my hair first. So anyways, let's see if we can fly the shuttle. We've been having issues uh, with our shuttle. It looks amazing. It really does look fantastic. Uh, this is EJ's. This is the R2, so this is the one that EJ worked on. This is the one that EJ worked on, uh, as you can tell by the stacked SAS pods up here. He was trying every trick in the book, short of uh, turning off arrow, I guess. Um, yes, you can. You can totally see it. Yeah, you can see it now. I got it. I got it. Um, we continue to have issues with the arrow. It goes all over the place. Um, issues with the drag up in these front parts. Remember, these parts aren't actually occluded by the fairing. It looks like they are, but they're not. The SRBs are a huge pain to turn, tune. They're not gimbaled. We don't have any gimbals at the bottom of the SRBs. In real life, the shuttle's SRBs are actually gimbaled a little bit, so you got a little bit of control from them. We don't have that. Yeah, more reaction wheels, all the SAS. It's because they are, yeah. Do you see the Twitter pics? That's why they look like deer in the headlights. In order to get us lit correctly, we've got to shine these lights this way. Otherwise, we're like totally dark. Um, KSA arrow, yeah, KSP arrow working as intended. Um, but let me load up my version of the shuttle here. And we're just going to play around with this thing. And see, that's the Plobe, that's the Falcon. KSP crashed when I was trying to show the Falcon to Mike. <laughs> I mean, I was like, oh, we totally do a Falcon 9. I can do a boost back and everything. And then we like tried to load the rocket and it crashed. Um, there's a Koyuz. Where's the shuttle? Kenterprise R3. That's the one I was working on. Let's see. I'm going to keep working with this. I think that I'm working on this. Uh, have I tried the new FAR CAN tab now? I don't do FAR. Um, if something's wrong with KSP, I keep playing it um, so we know that it's wrong. I don't do like the community fixes and things like FAR and that type of stuff. You know, you know that's how it is. I don't try those sorts of mods. Uh, simply because 99% of the people who play KSP aren't going to install those mods. Um, but I really need to straighten this thing out. And I was able to get this up to like 15K just by flying it. Um, I don't even know where to start. Maybe rebuild the boosters. What do we have from a thrust weight perspective? I've got to get back into this. Um, I've got to get back into this. Let's see. It's a 1.53 on the pad right now. Each side has, I believe, nine of the big SRBs clipped together to make one er SRB. The SRB from which all other SRBs are rot sort of deal. Um, mine aren't thrust limited or anything like that. And they're the wrong form factor. Like if you saw in EJ's, the actual like form factor of the SRBs, this is supposed to be a five meter stack, right? These are supposed to be the 2.5 meter stacks, um, half, and they're way too big right now because I've got the three point, what are they, seven fives, the three point somethings. Um, let me see here. There you go. 
So do you have like a banner or a sign that tells your crowd what you're doing? Um, there's a sign back behind us that kind of explains what's going on, but it doesn't like give the full details. The sign that we had made it got lost in shipping or something like that, but there was supposed to be something like that. Uh, let's see here, taps on glass. <laughs> what? <laughs> so I think, I think I'm gonna take these off and we're gonna start with new SRBs, right? I'm just gonna take these off and we're gonna build new SRBs on the stack here. Um, part of the issue may be that these are sideways, so maybe I can make my life a little bit easier if I turn on the angle snap and I flatten these things out relative to the root node. There we go, that'll make it relative to the root node. And let's see if we can't get some actual like NASA style SRBs going here. Um, I'm really wondering, um, I'm really wondering if I shouldn't go with liquid SRBs, like liquid boosters, liquid SRBs, yes, thank you, Dust. Liquid boosters instead of the solid rocket boosters, because that's going to give me the gimbals on it. And I don't know. I am reading chat, guys. How long am I streaming for? The next four hours. Get rid of the SRBs and balance the torque. Yeah, it seems easy. Rickshaw, it seems easy, doesn't it? It's not that easy. You don't just like, oh, yeah, just click a button, it'll fix. Um, really, the balance that we have from a thrust to center of mass perspective is not that big of a deal. It's the arrow that's killing us. Uh, the crowd can't see chat, no. Um, what else do I have here? All right, good deal. Let me see how I can do this. I could occlude one, I could put nose cones on the other. That's not really gonna hurt me or help me that much. Let's just put these SRBs on and see what we can get done. So turn angle snap back on. Wow, this keyboard's so much, you, you know, if you're a gamer, you're just a computer gener user in general, you know that you get so used to a keyboard and I've got a different keyboard here this is not the keyboard I normally use. It's like a little wireless sort of Logitech thing. And the keys are like a slightly different size, which makes it very complicated. Um, I don't love this. Because look, if I take a copy of this part and I put it back on in like 8x symmetry or something, which it won't let me do. Oh, fantastic, KSP. It'll only go 2x symmetry or no x symmetry because of the, ah, yes. The keyboard is thin and flimsy, you're right. It's a liquid rocket booster, it's an LRB. Um, barg. Let me, what do you think, chat? Only an issue when the rocket, when the boosters run out of fuel. Uh, you can see that, so they never get used to a holding keyboard. Yeah, 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 liquid SRBs do it. I, would, I could, I wish I had bigger solid rocket boosters that had gimbals. Now I understand why people say that they want like the liquid or the, the solid SRB, the SRBs that actually have the gimbals on them. Um, and I'm just trying to figure out what the best way to do this is. And the problem is there's not a good way to do it. Um, let's put this down because this is the form factor that we need to work inside, right? That's kind of the diameter, I guess, that we need to be able to fit these things into. And if I take this guy, I could put him like that press two and we'll go ahead and bring him up a little bit like that because he's supposed to go down almost to the tail of the shuttle just like that right a little bit past it and let me grab see if i do the liquid i'm gonna have that problem man that's so annoying my chat screen went away wake back up chat screen there we go um i can put these on here like this am i going to be able to put it on in symmetry there's radial symmetry. There we go. That's what I was looking for. That's back to the same booster pack situation we had before. And we don't have any gimbals. And we could pull those in. What does that give us? Not symmetrical is what that gives us first off. Let me see if I can do that again. This time with 1000% more symmetry. There we go. 2x symmetry. That should be correct from that perspective. And that's a 1.5 thrust to weight. So I could throttle those down a little bit. Try to balance the main tank. Raphael, that's not gonna help us at all. Uh, it's an arrow problem. We've already kind of done that. Um, we can't really get the other tank balanced because the arrow forces aren't displayed here. There's no way to calculate them. And that was like one of Cantab's points, I think. Um, the fact that uh, we don't have a lot of information in the game to help us build things, especially when they're conf complicated like this, as opposed to FAR, which gives you all the graphs and charts and everything that you need in order to properly balance the aerodynamics of a thing, right? Um, we're totally missing out on a lot of that right now. So that's those things kind of put together there. Those tanks can go away. I'm going to just keep working with this. I know that those are good. Let me take this stuff out and then make these the right size, right? Man, I hope NASA man and Sawyer come back soon with something for me to drink because I'm a little bit parched. 
There we go. Seriously, squad. Um, thank you for not applying that change in symmetry. I'll just put one on. Uh, that's going to have fuel in it, I believe. Because it's really complicated. I mean, the shuttle was a very complicated system. It wasn't just like, well, all of a sudden you hit a button and the shuttle starts to fly, right? We are trying to design in like two days in questionable aerodynamics uh, something that took us in the real world a significant amount of time to create. So let me... <clears throat> there you go. This isn't going to look right. I could use the tanks, actually. We've got these tanks that will look a lot better. Because the tops of the SRVs in real life are actually very pointy. And that may be a little bit tall, but let's see. Let me take the fuel out of there. Because again, <coughs> these are just SRBs. These are not uh, actual liquid rockets over here. I'm going to try it like this a little bit, and we'll see what we can get from it. And we're actually doing something. This is where I need NASA man and EJ here. Um, we are doing something. What? Yes. That the actual Enterprise behind me, I think they actually vertically integrated a couple times. Chat, do you know? Let me see here. And this is thirsty. Somebody give me a Dr. Pepper. I really do need, yeah, I really do need a Dr. Pepper. Um, I am going to have to put my struts on here and see what we can do. Let's just strut it from like there. Please happen in symmetry. That's fine. Let's strut it from here. Let's do that in symmetry. I really feel like I'm building the same thing I already built before, right? But that's okay. Like that. There's actually supposed to be some separatrons to push these away. And they're supposed to point at the shuttle, I believe. Kind of like that. Not because we want them to hit the shuttle, but just because we want to push it away to the other side of the tank when we set these things. So that looks fine. Let's make sure they're in the correct. Yep, that's wrong. I know that's behind me. You can't see it right now. But let's put that up on the correct stage. And we will see. There we go how this flies. And I think the answer is going to be not well. 1.54. Let's, uh, let's throttle these down some, actually. 1.47, 1.46. I'm going to go down to like 1.3. 1.29, 1.3. All right, and we have the one in the center that also needs to be throttled down. That's going to take it to 1.26. Honestly, that one can burn out. I'm okay with that one burning out. And let's fly this thing, right? And we're going to see how the arrow kind of maps in. I've got nose cones there. I've got that. These don't have nose cones. The center of mass is super high, honestly. So I really wish that the center of mass was a little bit lower, but I guess that that's not going to be the case in real life either. The center of mass may be even higher in real life. So let's see if we can fly this thing. <coughs> oh, excuse me for coughing, guys. Wow. That's actually terrible. I've been talking all weekend. So we'll get this thing onto the pad here. Like this. There you go. We'll recruit some viewers from chat. We'll get these nerds out of here. Wow. The boosters might need a little bit of uh... a... <laughs> I'm not an expert, but it's not supposed to look like that. That's uh, clearly not correct. <laughs> Let's go back and fix this. Back to the vehicle assembly. Apparently the struts didn't take on both sides. Greet your higher audience from you. I'm trying not to turn around that much. Um, yes, fantastic squad, thank you. It strutted on one side, but it did not strut on the other. 2x symmetry maybe? Input it like that. Did it strut both ways? No, it still didn't strut on both sides. This is a very complicated bit of symmetry, I guess, because remember, the shuttle is the root, and KSP has no clue how to deal with it when the root is off on the side like that. It starts to lose all the symmetry, so we've got to kind of like manually correct for that, which should be okay. There you go, grab that. And again, this is one of the more complicated designs that you can do in the game. If you do normal rockets, you don't have to worry about this. That looks more legitimate. Does that look good, chat? All right, save it, launch it. And let's see what we got going on. 
change the route. Lone Wolf on North, even then, I'm, I'm not going to change it over to the side. Uh, no, they can hear me talking, but only in the case that like I'm talking out loud. It's not playing through any sort of speakers or anything like that. So let's see here. Let's. That's still pretty wobbly. We could have put things down there. That's okay. Let's get a couple of viewers out of chat here like this because this is really for the live stream. It's not a museum exhibit, right? So we're not uh, playing the audio back. Scanning. Scanning. Viewer. Viewer. Draft, there draft. we go. Iconic wave. Scanning. Scanning. Viewer. Viewer. Draft, draft. Lone Wolf of North. Scanning. Scanning. Viewer. Viewer. Draft, draft. Bars and bolts. Scanning. And Viewer. Viewer. Draft, Kernel draft. 3D. So let's put these kerbals in here. Like a dis. And let's see if we can't work our way through the arrow here. Because again, what about the dual audio again? Is it dueling the audio? All right, now it shouldn't do the audio anymore. Um, how did that get turned back on, I wonder? Somebody was playing around with the uh, mixer over there. I really need a little bit more security. <laughs> because people seem to come over here and turn our little arrows around and stuff. While we are not around. That's good. 16 SRBs plus the middle. Let's see how this goes. Scanning, scanning, scanning. Viewer, viewer, viewer. Drafted, drafted, drafted. Now it shouldn't be dueled, so let's see what we can do. I will throttle up a little bit. The panel's already locked. The SAS is engaged. I'm gonna F5 for safety. Let's see what happens. Let's see if it, actually, guys. This time, is it doubled? Scanning. Viewer, drafted. Was it doubled that time? That's the question. Don't ask her anything else. Was that the question? Let's see what we can do. I will launch it. Throttle up, panel lock, SS engage. And we'll go three, two, one. That's definitely not looking good. That is also wrong. I'm not an expert, but that is also not good. You know what it didn't do? It didn't uh, thrust limit the ones on this side. Can we do anything here? Can we get away clean? No, get off me. I'm out. Land it. No. Don't look. <laughs> the cargo bay is skidding along. Well, at least the cargo is safe. Actually, the cargo is missing too. So apparently the symmetry effect got us. And when I thrust limited those boosters, it only thrust limited one side. So we had extra thrust on the other side and it flipped us over, right? That's a problem. So we bring this back here. It's sideways. It's so sideways. It's totally sideways. So once again, we were bit by KSP. These sides are limited to 65%. Those sides also limited to 65%. That's interesting. That is also interesting. What is going on that made that thing flip over? Is it like doubled up on one side or something? That's 16 SRBs, two SRBs, those things. Did anybody see a problem? Half the people ran away, nice, that's okay. Did anybody see what the problem there was? Did anybody have any indication of why that thing went over sideways like that? I am, wow. That's totally confusing. Why is it putting one on one side and not, whatever. Let's go ahead and bring this back down. Let's just put it on one at a time, I guess. Such a good showing. The middle one's not limited. I don't believe the middle one should be limited on either side. That one's not limited. That one's also not limited. Those are limited. Those are not limited. I wonder if I need to strut them. Center of mass, the center of thrust. I'll look at that. We can totally look at that. The center of mass is in a good place, so that shows me where my center of mass is. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the arrow is not supposed to be pointing that way. Is it just that KSP does not have any love for the way that we've designed this? Because look at this. That, that doesn't look normal. The fact that that is going straight sideways does not look like a normal thing. Um. <laughs> oh, brother. Are you sure there's the same amount of SRBs? Uh, yeah, there's 16 total. There's eight on either side plus the two in the central core. That is not correct. That is absolutely not correct. So we thought we were going to make this simpler, and this is making it more ridiculous, honestly. Squad, I know, right? Is it going to put it on in the correct symmetry? So that should be 2x symmetry, one on either side. All of our struts, no, our struts disappeared too. The struts did not come back, and the center of thrust is wrong as well. Is it a problem with the shuttle? Now the center of thrust is correct. 
why would my SRPs be causing the thrust to go sideways? I'm honestly getting to a point. Uh, it wouldn't count the OMS engines, because they're in a separate stage. This is not a good thing, honestly. Chat, should we just go, should we just go with the uh, liquid boosters? Curse you, squad. I know, right? I'm almost thinking maybe we may should, maybe should just go with the liquid boosters, honestly, because this is completely shenanigan-y. I wonder if we put it on a 1x symmetry. Let me just try one more thing. Because we've done so much work on this, and then for that sort of nonsense to make it not happen. 1x symmetry. There we go. Okay, that one's on. Hold down Alt. We'll grab another one here. We'll put it like that. Why are the SRBs firing sideways? <laughs> I will tell you that I do not understand what is happening there. That is not normal. Okay, wait. Now it's going down. So you'll see what I'm looking at, right? For some reason, the game is saying that the center of thrust is going to the side, which makes us flip over. What's up, Scar? How's it going, man? Um, let's see here. Let's pull this up and see if we can't put that on with symmetry, and we'll just add those things one at a time. There's 2x symmetry. The thrust is correct now. Let's put these on. Like that. Let's go for that. Oh, and it won't let me put... Interesting. Because look, that is on with mirror symmetry. What? <laughs> I think the game is very, very, very confused about what we're trying to accomplish here. That's mirror symmetry. I don't want that. It's only going to let me do mirror symmetry. And if I put this on, that makes it go down. I don't know, chat. Worm Doss. I'm right here. I'm at the Intrepid Sierra and Space Museum. Um, let's put these on as well. And just in 2x symmetry over and over again. So there's two. This is going to be so annoying. This is this is definitely this is definitely not Minecraft. This is Kerbal Space Program. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see here. I'm like doing audience interaction on both sides of the scale now, guys. So bear with me. Um, does that look good? I'm definitely gonna have to tuck those in, or else they're gonna hit. But at least our center of thrust is correct still. Are the angle, the arrow's going down instead of going up. Let's try to do this. And I'm, again, I'm just adding these one at a time, trying to make KSP understand how this is working. And I'm doing it in 2x symmetry because of the mirror symmetry sort of deal. That's going to be way too low, isn't it? Yes, that booster is like way too low. I wonder if it's something with using this tool. C, bring it up to match. That's okay. Let's put this on as well. And I think I need to put one more set on the other side. Yes, I still have a hole there. So let's grab that, and I really, really, really just want these things to match. There we go. Take all these launch clamps off the bottom. We don't need them on every single one like that. Then we're going to have to restrut it. That's actually okay. So the last thing I need to do is grab the SRB in the central core here. Like, come on. That, right? Press 2, grab that SRB, and then I can bring these entire SRB clusters up. Turn off angle snap, bring it up. It's supposed to be just at the end of the tail there. Let's try it with that. I don't know. We'll have to see what the deal is. I should come to the Johnson Space Center and do a stream. You know something? If you know somebody at the Johnson Space Center, we will totally show up over there. Uh, let's see here. I then need to just launch it. Is the staging going to be all correct? Yes. This must be a magical booster that's floating somewhere. Yeah, let's get rid of that. The center of thrust is correct now, so it hasn't pushed the side of the shuttle over to the side, or the back of the shuttle over to the side. And these struts have magically disappeared again. So let's see if we can take care of that right quick. It is a very complicated build, guys. It's like, you know, to put it into Minecraft perspective, it's like one of those super complicated redstone builds where half the stuff only works because of bugs in the redstone implementation, right? That's one of the reasons that I kind of like got a little salty with redstone was because some of the things only work because of bugs, and then the bug gets fixed and the redstone doesn't work anymore. So I think you got that kind of like in any sort of game that's going on. But let's see if we can launch this puppy. 
dust. Did it just show up anyway? No notice. If you're carrying enough cables, you can get in anywhere. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am. Texas Space Agency. I am absolutely serious about that. If you have any contacts over there, let me know. Absolutely. Let me know. Uh, center of weight shifted. Be very yes. We've already kind of looked at that. Um, that shuttle is probably going to need more struts on the back, it looks like. But let's do this launch and see if it completely explodes or see how it flies, right? And if it does well, maybe we'll have to tuck those things in. Scanning. Let's get four more victims. <laughs> Marsh Ogre. And Wool Wood. That, I don't know what that means. That's a scientific term. Does anybody know what that means? OTM Shank. Scanning. And then Sawchuck. All right, let's put these guys in the rocket and let's see what we get from them. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. Crew roster there, Sawchuck, OTM Shank, Wood, I'm just gonna call you Wood, and Marsh. There you go. Now the real shuttle would have, what, seven crew members? I think most of the time. Um, just build this for a rocket. Goku's War, we can't do that. Um, that's not in our policy. That's not, in some, that's not something we could actually do. So let's bring this up. Let's do that, panel lock. Let's engage the SAS. Let's F5 for safety, like that. And we'll go three, two, one. We'll need to find out if this is gonna fly or not. Again, KSP doesn't really give us the planning tools we need to make complicated things like this. So you kind of like pigeonholed into the guest test and revise over and over again. So let's see what we can do. We'll go three, two, one. Space. And did it fall down a little? It's not liking that at all. Is that booster completely not strutted in again? Well, I mean, this is actually flying better than it does when it's actually designed correctly. <laughs> I don't think that this is going to work very well for us. <laughs> Once again, did the other, did the struts magically disappear off the other side? This is almost like a comedy of KSP errors. We'll get rid of that thing. Wait, we're not done yet. Hang on. Get us out of there. We lost part of that. We're going to flip around. EJ would have chutes on his and jet engines. I don't have any of that stuff. Is there anything that I can do? Wait, wait for it. Are there gear left? There are the gear. But again, we're doing the same thing where we can't stop the... <laughs> Everything went better than expected. Apparently everybody lived through that. So uh, that's a thing. And it's very precariously balanced. <laughs> <laughs> Again, it looks like the struts disappeared on me. So let's revert the flight back to the vehicle assembly. Let's go look at the struts that magically disappeared. Da 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 da. I'm not even mad. That was amazing. <laughs> it seems like no matter what that shuttle cockpit survives, the struts disappeared again. That's fantastic. Let's put the struts back on again. Look, in th the struts are there. They just didn't connect for some reason. So let's put that there. And then the little strut endpoint's there. So you see the strut endpoint that's not actually working for some reason. Let's put that like that. Those struts are there. These struts have disappeared. <laughs> Even though I put it on with 1x symmetry, it's disappeared these struts. Let's do it one more time. You're on with 1x. Did, did anybody see me put that on with 1x symmetry? Or am I just crazy? It's very possible that I'm crazy. Is everything strutted now? That looks good. There's some struts. There are struts down there as well. Maybe that'll work. Strut up on the bottom too. It's got struts down there. Strut the rocket mod. Just click and it puts struts everywhere. <laughs> All right, good deal. Let's save that one. Let's launch this. <laughs> das is going to be politely asked to leave if he keeps blowing up shuttles in front of children. One time one blew up and somebody started crying in the background. It was like, no, it's just a simulation. We're learning. Please don't cry. We're learning. We are totally learning. Let's see. Ba -da -da -ba -da 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 -ba. It is a little bit wobbly down there on the bottom, but I think that's going to be OK. I'm going to throttle it all the way up. I'm going to lock the panel. I'm going to engage the SAS. Let's get a couple viewers. How about just two viewers? This is like test pilots. Scanning. Viewer. Drafted. Kid Buzz. Scanning. Viewer. And Chunky Drafted. Chicken. You're going to die. I'm sorry, man. That's okay. You're going to die in the simulator, which is a good place to die because then we don't have to die in real life. Let's put Kid Buzz and Chunky Chicken in there. Like that. I've throttled all the way up. I've locked the panel. We don't have any extraneous things there. We'll F5 for safety because Chunky Chicken's awesome. 
Uh, let's see here. It catches a launch clamp. You think it catches a launch clamp, Igor? Um, I don't know. I don't know if it catches a launch clamp or not. We'll have to see. We may actually need a little bit more. Um, we may need more thrust on the boosters as well. That may be a thing. Three, two, one. It goes that way. And it touches that launch clamp there. But everything else aside, it, it did okay. Let's see if this can take off. It definitely needs more thrust. And it is not, it's just rotating on its own. You know something? What if I throttle down the main engines? Can I let it fly us backwards? Can you correct us here? It's actually better than it's done previously, so. How's F12 looking? Yes, mysterious lift coming from parts that are inside other parts. Throttle it down even more? Can you please work? I would really appreciate it. I'm really thinking that we're gonna go with the liquid fuel. Maybe we're, we'll do one more launch and we'll try to uh, unthrust limit the SRBs so we get away from the pad a little bit more clearly and we can accelerate along prograde a little bit better. But right now, we are completely rotating in an unanticipated direction. We're like rotating this way even though the shuttle is here, which makes very little sense at all. Can we roll? We've got good roll control. We may need these to be strutted down here, look. Like maybe some struts from here up to the center. Because look at that. That's not what you want to be seeing on your shuttle. That is not nominal at all. So maybe, maybe we just need a little bit more original, uh, a rigid sh structure over there. Are we getting a lot of sh drag from the SRBs? Let's go inside and look. I can't really see the drag line. There's the drag line for the SRB. And I'm looking at that red line. Look at all the drag we get from those SRBs. So we still have work to be done here, apparently. Um, what else do we have? Attach some Soyuz, it might work. <laughs> Attach some Soyuz. <laughs> We could put nose cones on all those. That's not a bad idea. This is just flying along. Can I roll it to be straight at least? Can we do like an abort sort of thing? There's the weird sideways lift that we get. Is it gonna straighten out? Yes. Now, I bet you the shuttle control surfaces aren't anywhere near. I bet you they're right at the center of mass. Before these run out, can I actually I wonder if I can actually do this. Let's see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna release the SRBs. Be careful, this is gonna explode. I'm out. It's like an attack shuttle, honestly. <laughs> That's not what's supposed to happen. Can I throttle these up? That's just gonna flip me over even more, I think, right? It's not even enough to counteract to the drag right now. You see us slowing down. What if we get rid of those? Look at those, did those peel off? Okay, that's actually pretty cool that those peeled off like this. Can I get rid of the uh, ET? Oh, the shuttle's like not looking good. Complicated, it continues. What is that? That's one of the ohms. <laughs> it just flew off. It's like, whatever. Catch your hands full of the moment. Um, Texas Space Agency. I'm, K I'm Kerbal Space Academy at gmail.com, dude. Kerbal Space Academy at DJ. I'll do the stage to throttle up. Kerbal Space Academy at gmail.com. Chunky Chicken knows what's going on. He's like, Das, I swear I'm not getting any more rockets. With you. That's okay. KerbalSpaceAcademy at gmail.com. That's me. Feel free to send me a message. Texas Space Agency would love to talk about that. Please help me. I sat, in it, I sat too close to EJ and I had a severe... Uh, no, I won't go there. I caught something from EJ. Um, do you want me to move over? All right, good deal. Guys, give us just one second. We've got EJ and Sawyer back over here. And... All right, good deal. Am I in chat? Yeah, I'm good. What's going on, guys? Uh, which one's mine? Uh, yeah, that should be you. How is the thing? Uh, just got another picture with an astronaut. Just got another picture with an astronaut. You're still muted, by the way. There we go. Just got a picture with an astronaut. Um, which he will repeat happily for you. Here it is. <laughs> so where were you guys at? Uh, we were up in the education offices. They have a grand hall up there. Okay. It says, to Sawyer, best wishes, Pam Melroy. 
No, Aww. but she's not your she's not your friend apparently. No, Mass is my friend. <laughs> but I'll take it. Yeah, I don't know if you saw us. Uh, we were watching up there while we were waiting. I saw us. I saw you in chat. Yeah, so. we yeah, heard yeah, you yeah. Uh, screaming for us. I totally saw you in chat. And uh, if you check Twitter, I did post a picture of the two of us. Oh, excellent! I, I have not. EJ been didn't Twitter. want his picture taken with her. I just got a signature. It's good enough. It's all good enough. Yeah. You didn't want a picture taken? Yeah, but I got a I got a nice signature though. Yeah. Also. Nice, pretty signature, too. Fantastic. <laughs> so one of the many special events that was going on, uh, astronaut Pam Elroy did a, there was like a presentation going on down there, right? Yeah. In the education zone area on the hangar deck. Right in the theater. In the theater. There's like a theater down there or something, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's where they were. That's why I was like all by my lonesome here. As you can see, we continue to have issues with the shuttle. Um, launch <laughs> clap damage wow. by engine exhaust. And yeah, then that's actually, that's actually fine. Um, separation of stage four confirmed. We need Shuttle more thrust. Damage. You should have seen, like, we were checking the uh, the center of thrust, and it was going sideways for some reason. Like, in the VAB over here, we had the thrust, and the thing was, like, completely going sideways. Nice. <laughs> did, you, did you tweet that out? Yeah, it's on my Twitter, and I CC'd you in it, so. Excellent. Excellent. So, guys, NASA man, at the NASA man, right? Yeah, on Twitter, Tweeted yeah. out a picture of himself and... Pamela an Melroy yep. and an astronaut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it looks like it looks like here you you went with solid liquid hybrid. No, not yet. Not yet. Um, that's the next thing solid. I think we're gonna try because again we keep talking about the fact that Kerbal Space Program does not give us gimbals on the SRBs. That's that's the biggest thing to overcome, man. Because we'd have if there were gimbals at the end of these SRBs, we'd have a huge lever arm acting between where that gimbal control authority comes from and the center of mass, and right? Even at even at points where your center of mass is between the booster uh, the booster exhaust. And the, yeah, he got him his medicine. Yeah, <laughs> some medication. Even at the point uh, where the center of mass is between the booster exhaust and the shuttle exhaust, yeah. the the exhaust can actually point out away from each other. And yep. Go and you, you get you get a perfect nominal flight. I mean, gimbals are the are the the biggest thing that over oh, to overcome when you're trying to build a shuttle. And I, I don't, mean, I don't think up? we're the only we're not the first people to say that big, like 2.5 meter gimbaled SRBs would be cool. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I've yeah, heard definitely. people say that before. I mean. We've I've been I was working on the the solid rocket booster that I was working on. I yeah. mean, you know all I mean, and we could you could make it work with liquids. All I need is space shuttle main engines. I think that you could get away with not having the SRBs gimbaled if we just had a skipper engine that had eight degrees of gimbal. On I it, gotcha. Then I think that it, the entire design would work completely correct. Because we've got we've got like the uh, we've got the thud, and if you look uh, at the scale of this, yeah, the thud has amazing whoa. gimbling, but it's uh, yeah. teeny tiny. Like, that yeah. is not the scale yeah. for the space shuttle. I'm sorry. No, absolutely yeah. not. It's almost like when the Mark III parts came out, um, we didn't get engines to go with the Mark III parts. Oh, absolutely, yeah. You I know think what I mean? Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. Oh, that's man. That's why I'm still using the skippers. I mean... Yeah, yeah, that's that's what we put on here. We put yeah, the skippers yeah. on. Um, so let's see here. Oh, I was putting nose cones on because we saw we were getting an insane amount of... A, clearly, it wasn't doing the mirroring for me there. Um, we were getting insane amounts of drag from the flat noses of the SRBs. Correct. Yeah, they were. I didn't have time to change to uh, kind of fake the arrow out yeah, when I yeah. was developing them. So, so I'm trying to. Uh, You're gonna have to place. It's all. It's there's uh, 16 boosters, so you're gonna need 16 nose cones. Nine. 16 nose cones. Yeah. There's well, this this is actually one that I put together oh, okay. from scratch. How many um, how many boosters is it? This is only nine per side. It's yeah, not you probably sixteen didn't per need side. As much now that you've got the. But uh, we the took fuel all the fuel balance. out. Yeah, yeah, we took the fuel out. Yeah. And I was I was trying to see if we couldn't do something to kind of uh, start from not scratch, but just kind of like, is that sideways? That one's sideways. Yeah, isn't a it? little bit. Oh, I copied the wrong one. I need to copy this one. It's a bit like an Atlas booster. Almost there you go. Yeah. I'm seeing proton. Pro that's my. <laughs> right. one of them. Yeah, I can. Like these I are even proton, put yeah. on with uh, two x symmetry times four. Okay. Because when we tried to put them on with 8x symmetry, the, and chat can vouch for me. Chat, I'm not crazy, right? Chat will vouch for me. I went to the center of thrust, DJ, and that purple line went sideways for some reason. And when we launched hey. the shuttle, it just somersaulted. Oh. What? I have okay. no clue why KSP was thinking the boost from those was going sideways. Hmm. Um, another thing that we were seeing was that the backs of these were wobbling around in a completely not nominal fashion. Oh, yeah. they're. So I'm going to add some struts down this way, like this and see what we can do. And it was about from there. Wait, what? I missed it? No, that's not cool. It's about from here, about to there. And we got to do this side as well. What are those struts doing? Where are those struts going? Uh, places? Oh, one of those again. I'm pretty Probably sure I didn't Probably through to the other there. tank on the other, wait, on uh, the other side. Through, through the other, wait, what? 
radio uh, yeah. VOD muted. That looks like, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, VOD. Yeah, later, VOD. All right, we need an emote for that. <laughs> later, VOD. Later, VOD. Later, VOD. <laughs> rip, rip, VOD. <laughs> Ripperino, VODerino. <laughs> Every time my fantastic singing uh, would get the VOD muted. Oh, that happens to me, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> happens to the best of us. So man. often, oh. right? Yeah. yeah. If the whole Kerbal Space Academy thing doesn't work out for me, yeah. I will probably not go into a career of singing. <laughs> <laughs> so you Let's try teach? this. Uh, Let's yeah, try this. Okay, and then yeah. I think what I'm going to do, guys, I think I'm going to hand the mouse and keyboard over to EJ and let oh. him run with it. I think that's what Hello? we're going to end up doing here. All right. Um, let me do another launch here. Cuz. Yeah, I just don't want to put the... I don't spam. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Sorry, we're oh, you don't want to... Yeah, put it in the book, yeah, no, in the book like or something so you don't have it. Because it's inside. actually a little warm in here today. It's a little bit Sorry, warm. Just, I'll put it next to my autograph of uh, Mike Massimino in addition with my other astronaut autograph from today. Yeah, there you go, right? I have something you don't have. I should say only at the Intrepid. I have a Hubble Space Telescope Repair Manual. Signed by Autographed by Mass. Do you have one of those? Ha! Only Finally! A shuttle, only a shuttle manual. Finally, I have something that NASA man but doesn't have. But mine says, with friendship. <laughs> Yours just says, best wishes. <laughs> well, welcome <laughs> to my new channel. My new so, channel doesn't. Yeah, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> um, uh, only at the Intrepid, by the way. I you gotta come to the Intrepid where you can meet astronauts and yeah, see yeah. it. Space shuttle. Just saying. <laughs> I didn't unthrust limit the SRBs. Oh. I was so confused. Ow, wait a second. Oh, this hat has a top knot. Oh, I have my Intrepid hat on. Oh, nice hat. It has one of the, you know the little bumps at the top of the hat? Yeah. And my headphones are pressing down on the bump, like, ow. Rex, my friendship. Pushing, All right. Putting your put, pushing your buttons, man. Let's send this up higher. Okay, that's 1.17. That's 100%. <laughs> that's so you're trying, you're trying variable thrust boosters, huh? No, I'm, I'm just putting everything up to 100%. Oh, okay. Um, Again, guys, this is the type of thing I really want to keep working on this at home. Like, the environment here, because we're so excited about stuff and yeah. we're, like, bouncing all over the walls, it's, it's kind it's, of hard. It's tougher to engineer something, that's for sure. Yeah, like, the very detailed, complicated stuff. We're just kind of, like, throwing things together. Like, oh, let's see if it sticks. Um, but I am taking these all the way unlimited. Because EJ had a fantastic idea, which is, like, independently thrust limit these so they run out of different times. Thrust limiting and removing some fuel, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. So that they, uh, what, how, what is it supposed to do? It simulates what's called thrust trail off by the SRBs. Coincidentally, right. oh, oh, I mean, well, not coincidentally, over time, uh, as the SRB gets higher in the atmosphere during the space shuttle's ascent, during the first two minutes of uh, the launch, the SRB changes thrust. It, it, it has a lot more powerful thrust uh, when it's lower to the ground and then it trails off over time. That's something that doesn't necessarily get done. In Kerbal, Kerbal is just you light it and just uh, right. you know with the specific impulse it just it's just thrust you know. Okay. Um, it's 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 how they pack the grain in the SRV as SRBs and what what the grain is is basically the the solid propellant inside. If you pack it in a different shape, it'll change the thrust of the booster. Right. Yep. We can't do anything like that. No. We nope. yeah. That's so. Well, that, this is the best way to simulate thrust trail off. In the I game. gotcha. Multiple boosters with different kind of characteristics per booster so yep. that it changes the thrust as you go. Yeah, exactly. I gotcha. Is there a mod for that? Does anybody know of a mod that does that sort of thing? I'm not familiar with uh, one. I think it's called clicking on the booster and thrust limiting. <laughs> <laughs> but that's stock. We have that in the stock game, right? See, then you don't need a There mod you go. It. You don't <laughs> even need mods. Let's see here. I'm just kind of, th you know something, that's fine. If they, if they fire off at different times, it's okay. It's not rocket science, like the back of the shirt says. And that's a 1.46 thrust away. It's I'm just trying to limit the thrust on the boosters, 90%, 90%. Maybe it could take even more. We could play around with this all day long, guys. And we're like trying to walk the balance between like doing things like doing launches and actually, well, making things that work. What are you looking at me for? Not doing a very good job of making them work. No, it's, it's, I'm looking at all of us. Like yeah. It's like, it was hilarious because we were launching the shuttle early, earlier and I looked out of the corner of my eye and Mike was standing back there and then the shuttle exploded, and I was like, and he was oh. laughing. Yeah, I think, I he, think was he, laughing. he was laughing. He, said, uh, he was laughing. He said, "I think I heard him." He was like, "He's like, yeah, that's not that's not what it's supposed to do." Yeah, yeah exactly. That's <laughs> like, not scanning. what it's supposed to do. Viewer, so there is lip go, and let's also get scanning. Shane away. There we go, and we will grab the crew manifest. Cover. I'm just putting two kerbals in. It's like a flight test sort of thing, as like opposed STS to STS one through four. All the test, all the first four shuttle test flights, which were yeah, the first four flights, right? All had two people only. There you go. So this, I'm like super realistic. We're so immersed in this. Yeah, you knew that, of course. That's why you're doing it, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this is there. Right. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's the thing. Um, that's throttled all the way up. I don't know if that's going to be correct or not. I've f 5 and give me like give me like three launches, and we'll see where I can get in three launches, 
And shuttle. then I'm going to pass it over to EJ. Because the shuttle had four, we'll give you three. There you go. Then we will pass it over to EJ. We'll give him one launch to get it correct. Oh, no pressure, huh? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I want to see this work. That's why I want EJ to work on it. Yeah. Um, throttle up, pen lock, SSH, three, two, one. That's not bad. Uh, we lift off. The pitch is already negative Roger, and we're the clock at, is running. We're at full thrust on the shuttle right now, so this is not a good thing. Uh, roll, can I roll? Do you have payload in there? Uh, I believe so, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Hang on, let's Initiating check. roll program. Roger, roll. Uh, is there payload? Yes, there is payload. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good deal. There's uh, payload. Close yes, the, the actual space shuttle did this too once it launched. <laughs> That's how they checked to see if they had payload. <laughs> the same thing again. Let me see if I can't get it to flip me over backwards here. Roll program complete. Roger, there we roll. go. And eventually, there it's going to flip me over. Come on. Please flip me over. If I throttle down, it should let the SRBs flip me over even more. Are you going to flip me? The arrow's taking it, man. That's why it doesn't want to. There you go. There it goes. And so I'll turn on the arrow overlay. Look at all of the forces going, right? Yeah, it should be pulling us back then. I'm throttling down some more. Believe it or not, they're not pulling as much lift as they usually as they were before. I think oh, I'm flying really close. Mind. I'm oh, flying really goes. close to prograde here. There it goes. It's a little better. It's not the most efficient flight pattern, but it's working. You know something? Not gone table. Not an gone shuttle. An efficient flight pattern for me is when no one dies. Uh, uh, that's that's a pretty good one then. I I feel like it's gonna lose it though. It's you know. It's starting to wobble. Yeah. Yeah, your pitch is starting to go. Oh. Uh -oh. No, 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 but I'm throttling down. Get, I can okay. I can arrest it by throttling up, okay. right? Okay. Yeah, your your pitch. You're at full. You're at full negative pitch. Yeah, way at the bottom there. Okay, that's okay because I need to I need to tilt over some. Yep. That's Something just, just died. Yeah, that's the SRB uh, trail off. Mm-hmm. You can see them on the uh, on the left. You can see the different ones as they finish. Those heating up. Because Kerbal. Okay. So you gotta right now throttle back the shuttle. Yeah, I throttle it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Separate. Go for SRV set. Drop them. Showing clean SRV set flight. All right, sweet. Roger SRV set. Now here's where that thrust to weight kills us because we're only 0.55. And see, you, you know, the interesting is is that the actual shuttle had a very it's just under one post solid rocket booster separation. Really? Yeah, yeah. and it it it's, it actually is under TWR of one for. Probably like 10 to 15 seconds. Interesting. Yep. I, I feel like I need to fly full throttle here. Yeah, you're going to have to fly. Yeah, because you're at what, 0. 0.6? Yeah. Because I'm yeah, looking at my enough. vertical speed, you know? In 0. 0.64, it's climbing. But it's not great. Not fast it's, enough. We're not doing terrible, well, though. It's... But you can see, you can see the exhaust trail. Do you see how I don't have enough thrust to weight? Yeah. Like, I'm trying so hard, trying but pull you back. my speed is just still killing me here. And wow. 0.66, it's almost like we need even less fuel in these tanks now. And just on. in case anybody's wondering, uh, TWR means thrust to weight. It means Thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's the ratio of thrust to the actual mass of the craft. Yep. But this is actually quite controllable, you're, surprisingly. You're, you're getting yeah, there, man. Yeah, starting to get there now. You're what are you getting there. Points, but look, seven. we're about to fall over, see? Uh, I, would, I wouldn't try to point prograde at this point, man. You I don't have any choice in the matter, I think. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I yeah. See, yeah, I see what it's doing. It's like going over. But see, this part's balanced, guys. This part here is okay. Um, it's not bad. I think it just, it's the thrust of weight. That would have been a good launch if we had the right thrust of weight there. Because we, everything's looking great right now, but now we're falling, right? Because the thrust of weight, the shuttle's main engines don't, they just don't have enough to keep us up. I We're mean, in, falling in, back in down, reality, that, In reality, that's exactly how the real shuttle is. The, the RS-25s don't have enough to push the shuttle and the tank. And they're the just, tank, they're the just, amount of fuel in it, you know the, what I mean? The SRBs did the majority of the lifting, and yeah. the shuttle engines would just kind of give it that little extra push until yep. it yeah. established its proper apple. The other thought is <laughs> just if you do what the actual it. shuttle does for those 15 seconds where it's below the one thrust to weight, mm -hmm. burn the ohms for a few seconds. Yes, correct. That's, what That's the actually does not a bad idea. One. That would probably boost you up to a more reasonable thrust to weight faster. Even if it doesn't that get takes all the way us to up one. to 0.88, but we've been burning quite a bit of fuel here. Let me kill the ohms. Um, how would I separate, guys? If I need to do a, like a return to a main engine cutoff, you want me yeah, to cut, cut, off, cut off the, the main engines? And then is it best to probably roll? You think, or just fire it? You probably no, fire you it like that. droop. Just droop. Uh, I mean, you're not. Yeah, I don't Talk think, faster. I don't think you have enough to. I don't think you have enough to get completely back to the launch site. If you want to separate Maybe it right now, I'd flip it over and make sure you're above the tank, so the arrow can pull the tank pull away. Pull me away. From oh, you. Yeah. okay, I gotcha. 
maybe the island if you try. Because the shuttle nice. naturally wants to pitch up because of the way we designed it. Yeah, Where's the island at? There's the right island there, yeah, runway. The island. I don't know if we'll be able to fly with the payload in it, though. Whoa, come on. We should still be able to. I think a big part of how successful we are when we SEP here is if we're pointing prograde when we get the shuttle off on its own. So let's see. It's like flying. All right. Go for SEP. No, no, no we impacted it. Oh, no. So you see how it was rolling and stuff. Man, that shuttle falls apart. <laughs> Like, uh, Welcome to my life. Good. Four struts. That's not <laughs> there. Let me pull. Like we were just going Mach two. Can we fly this thing? It's apparently got that. Let's not spend the time flying it. That was one lunch. Yeah, the laughter. That from was the one crowd, lunch. By the way, let's so reverse yeah, this back. Ohms. Try doing an ohms burn. As soon as you separate, burn those orbital maneuvering system engines for like ten or fifteen seconds. Okay. And then cut them off. I'm gonna take a little fuel out too. Yeah. I'm gonna take a little fuel out of here and see what we can do. Mm -hmm. Um. Why does the big tank don't have engines? Because on the shuttle, the ET, the external tank, did not have engines on it. No, they the designed right. engines were on the shuttle themselves. Yep. And the only thrust from this part of the stack was the SRBs. They so did that's that so kind of a... Yeah, exactly. I don't mean to interrupt. They no, 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 go, go. They did that so they could bring the upper stage engines back. Space Shuttle essentially has a reusable upper stage because the upper stage is built into the back half of the orbiter. Mm -hmm. Right, because the uh, orange tank is the only part of the shuttle that does not return and is refurbished. The solid rocket booster splashed down in the ocean and are towed back. The shuttle obviously lands itself back at the runway. Right. Uh, so by keeping the engines on the shuttle, that adds more reusability to the engines. Because otherwise they're just going to burn up the orange tank and there's a lot of money. I think we need more powerful engines. Um, because look, as I take this out, my Delta V goes way down, right? And I can get up, there's a 0 0.92 thrust to weight, right? Yeah. Which is just under 1.0, like the actual shuttle you said, right, DJ? Yeah, yeah, that, that might do it, man. But then yeah. this isn't enough delta V to make orbit. That's oh. when you do the ohms burn just for a little push. You know, but even but, then, yeah, no, the ohms then burn won't help us there because we right. just don't have enough fuel in the stack. Oh wow, yeah. And that's why you had exactly. more delta V in these. If we doubled the number of SRBs with thrust trail off, yeah. you get where you need yeah. to. And that's that was kind of my thought process when I went to build the boosters that I built. Once again, super cheaty boosters, but yeah. If you want solids, I mean, that's sometimes that's the only you way do I can what you gotta do, you exactly. know? Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. I have a pl grant me this, right? Yeah, um, sure. Okay. I'm gonna come over here. I'm actually gonna take this copy off and make a sub assembly of this, right? Yeah. All right. And let's call this the uh, click through extravaganza. No, let me scroll this. <laughs> and we'll call this the uh, the shuttle SRP, right? Very V1. Name. There you go. All right. So I've saved that. Um, I'm actually going to save the craft as is. I'm going to throw these away and we'll make a new craft. This is going to allow me to just work on the SRBs without the weird symmetry that the shuttle brings in, right? Mm -hmm. So if I go, I have to have a root node first and I will make it uh, this little nose cone, right? And I can come over here and grab out of the sub assemblies, the shuttle SRB version one. There it is. I can put it down and I can actually hold down. Nope, that's just going to take the top off, isn't it? You gotta find the root node. Yeah, yeah the root node's all the way down there. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Look, I can go take that off. I can take that off. That's the root node. But if I come here and I put on this tank first, right? And then I take the fuel out of it so I don't forget. Otherwise, I'll forget. And then I take this guy and put it there. And this guy and put it there. And then I can take the root node and put it here. So now I've rebuilt that thing, right? That's yep. kind of step one. Yep. Um, step two is to take these things off. Mm -hmm. And again, this is kind of stupid Kerbal tricks, right? Yep. Oh, totally. Look at that. It broke the symmetry. I'm taking them off one at a time, even though they were placed on in 2x symmetry. And I'm going to put these guys on, angle snap and gauge. There's 8x symmetry, right? Where's the tank? There's the tank. So they go all the way up like this. And then I'm going to do this, hold down shift, left click, nope, sorry, hold down alt. There oh, you're you going to do it. Oh. Left click. Oh, snap. Zoom in. Or actually, angle snap is off. Oh, on, so it is so oh, snap. It yeah. is oh, snap. It's literally oh, snap. A yes. Quick, a quick thing that, that what, I, what I did with mine is that I attached the second set of boosters, the two, I call them two one, uh, or two B boosters, the, they're out, the, the, the second set of eight. Right. Uh, I attached it to the outer boosters and gizmoed it in just a tiny oh, bit. So I gotcha. if, if I wanted to tweak the thrust on them, I could pull them out. You can still kind of get to them. Huh? Yep. Mm -hmm. I got gotcha. two B's, right? 
That yeah, the, yeah, yeah, eight, yeah, eight two B and eight one B. So yep. the inner <laughs> stack is eight, eight one, and the out one is uh, eight two. Thank you. Actually. Who needs a J two when you've got an eight one and a eight one B? How does that look? <laughs> that looks uh, hardcore, man. That's what that looks I like. I love it. Fashion I want Academy to approved. Come over, Fashion Academy approved. Here's what I want to do. That was ninety. So I'm gonna go to like fifty percent, right? And they're doing an announcement in the background. For an educational demonstration. Yeah, the educational demonstrations. There we go. Okay, yeah. so now those things are all kind of crazy looking. And I can actually pull them in. Let me take care of that as well. Because mm -hmm. they're a little bit big right now. Okay, that pulled in that set. And then you can see the other set still sticking out. So I'll pull them in as well. That's fine. It's probably one of the more shenanigan -y things we've done. Yeah, like um, I said, really, really cheaty. But, but you know something? We don't have an SRB that works for this. Exactly. So this is what we have so to do. We and just it have to do it this way. Good. Yeah. And I didn't bring them all the way in. Um, yeah. Ah, it's fine. <laughs> so yeah. many nozzles. <laughs> I'll take it. Clearly, that wouldn't be a problem in real life. Um, no, no, no. Come on. Yeah. Geodesic nozzles on the back. That I can't attach these the back, back with a sub assembly, can I? Uh, You'd have to make the the uh, silver tank the core part. Does the merge work though? It could. Oh yeah, that might work. Because you can't radially attach things out of a sub assembly. You have to use an axial attachment point, don't you? Uh huh. Yeah, which has been the bane mm. of my existence in oh, this no, game. You, you, well, can you radi Yeah, can you, you can. Radially attach you stuff? can. Really? Use I've never been what I what I do what I did was use a modular girder segment, attach it to wherever you want your birthing point to go, yeah. and then uh, set the modular segment to your root part. To the root part. Yep. All right. Let's see. Uh, let me bring this over. And I'll grab this. Shift. Hey, hey. Why oh, didn't get it? Alt. Oh, because I'm in. I'm in the wrong mode. Oh, you're in two. Yeah, there we yeah, go. Yeah. That's not what I wanted. Can I get the right part? Get it. Advanced nose cone out the wazoo. Rocco Max. Is this every? Oh no, the root node's up here now. That's the root node. Mm -hmm. Oh, that actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Huh. Let's reroute it. Let's go from here to there. All right, now that's the root node. Then we should be able to put this in like this. Out of that, that. There we go. Subassembly drop. It won't even oh. let you make a subassembly. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And that's why if you put the uh, the girder, girder on there, it has a point. Yep. Uh huh. That's yep. what you have to do to like perform stupid Kerbal tricks here. Yep. Sneaky. Modular girder. I am segment. very, very yeah. sneaky, sir. Just do sixteen of them. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Seems wholly legit. This is the internal structure which is used to blah, 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 blah. All right, we're pretending. What he said. Bring that down. Bring it in. I mean, keep in mind that you don't need to, you don't need to use the modular girder segment for mounting. You can just use it as a temporary piece, get yeah, the yeah, part yeah. that you need separated off the girder segment, and then attach it to a decoupler on the root part. Yep, we just need whatever the root part is to have an axial attachment point it, so that we can exactly. actually attach it. Mm -hmm. Because this, the subassembly drop zone, does a check to make sure that the root part has green glue on it, basically. Yep. So there we can go like that. There you go. We'll just save that as V1.1. Save we'll it. Go in uh, SpaceX on that Stupid naming. Stupid Kerbal oh, tricks. Yeah. Let's load up. We don't need to save. Yeah, we don't need to save that as the separate craft. We'll just bring out of the sub assembly. And then we will grab the. Which one was I working on? This one, probably. R3, yeah. yeah. Why does that have a booster off on the side of it? Uh oh. It's not attached uh, in the thumbnail. Well, uh, maybe, it took a, maybe it took a cash <laughs> picture of it uh, last time you were in the scene because you left a booster in uh, Ghost yeah, Mode. Yeah, 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 you're right. It was yeah, floating I don't over see there. One. It's gone now, so that's good, yeah. Oof. That, was, that scared me. Yeah. That's confusing. All right, let's see if this works. We'll grab the version 1.1. I can put it right on there. I should be able to. Okay, that's wrong. Okay, that's also wrong. How many directions are there, Doss? <laughs> There's the 2x symmetry. That didn't work at all. Well, you got here, select the tank that it's attached that the modular girder segment is attached to on the rocket. Yeah. Pull it off and then put a decoupler on the. Uh, I'm worried about the modular the girder, girder segment yeah. sticking through though. I'm trying to find. Yeah, the modular girder segment's like way through. So I'm gonna pull that out. Like that. It's almost like the modular girder segment was attached backwards or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. By the way, these headsets were not provided by the museum, they were provided by Astro Gaming, right? They were provided by Astro Gaming, you're right. I love them, by the way. <laughs> Let me see here, Rockomax. 
There you go. This we've actually got the boxes over there and stuff. Yep. And it was totally like a last minute sort of thing, like Astro Gaming totally came through, man. That's that shenanigany stuff. Is this gonna work? Oh yes, that magically makes that appear and it's not gonna strut together. We're just gonna do the one X strut thing, right? Yeah, that's how you yeah. have to do it. There you go. One X symmetry. Out to there. Alt click. One X symmetry. Do they actually SRBs have struts up here, or are they yeah. just connected in one place? No, they're they're connected in two spots. There's a there's a lower strut and an upper strut. There is. But the struts aren't the struts aren't how we think how would the how these things would work. It's actually the strut is a ring piece okay. that attaches to the external tank, and the SRB kind of goes inside of the ring and it clamps the SRB into oh, place. Oh, I gotcha. So it's not the same as like we do. In no, it's or, not. No. No, it's not space tape. If, <laughs> if I had a nickel for that's not how it works in real life versus Kerbal Space Program, uh, I would have quite a few nickels. You would have yeah, more Dr. Pepper. We'd be streaming from the ISS at that I point. I would have yeah. a lot. <laughs> I'd be streaming from the ISS. Yeah, we'd nice. be able to pay for a Soyuz seat. We would be able to pay for multiple Soyuz seats, so yeah. we could all go up there. Yeah. Now we're to just buy one Soyuz <laughs> for the three of us. There we go. I wish I got money for crashing rockets. And Wait, I kind of do, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Anyways. <laughs> Moving on. Moving right along. Um... This is attached to what? Can I grab this, like EJ was saying, and move it up? I can't get that part. Can I grab that you one? You have angle snap on, though. Nope, that was just that thing. Ah, uh, yes, you do. I can't grab it. Um, can I get these, maybe? The modular girder segment and move it up? Okay. That's you know something? Totally not That's magical. <laughs> it's only supposed to go kind of down to the tail. That sticks off a little bit too far. I'm about to just try it. You know what I mean? Yeah, just launch it. Yeah. 1.2 on the pad. 2509. Uh, 1.12 there. These are going to burn longer because of the thrust limiting. Yeah. Ah, that's uh -huh. right. Okay, so let's put fuel oh, back in here. That man with the smarts. One. This thing. Is that right? Okay, there we go. That's down to 0.69. All right, perfect, perfect. Capture complete. <laughs> Don't mind us. <laughs> We're just hijacking your stream over here. Oh it's fine. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what is that? That's 0.78. That's 0.75. That's 0 0.82. 0 0.85. 30, 51. That's still not enough delta V, honestly. It's still not enough delta V. We need these to burn out more. And I bet you now that we're over here, KSP is going to be completely angry at us if we try to move this around. 70%. Fine. Take off with a 1.2. Now, did it... Oh, it got those at 50, and those at 50 as well. <sighs> I think I had... The center ones were at 100, 2600. Yeah. The 81Bs were at... I believe it was 70% of 2600. Right. And then the 82Bs were at 40, 2600. Yeah. And that's what I, that's what I found. I, that's what I was really testing. I was testing the booster, the different... Values to set different boosters. Yeah, at. yeah, yeah. And I yeah, think yeah. with that configuration, you should get a good benchmark for what you need to tweak. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just going to launch it this way. Yeah. <laughs> well, you got two left. I do have two left. Before um, you have to hand over the control to EJ. I'm concerned. I mean, that's just a symmetry issue, right? Now I've got 0.85, and I've got 132, and there's tw where's the delta V? 2338 from this, which is a good number here, yeah. right? I just feel like these are going to be not quite enough delta V, but I'm in atmospheric mode. I've got 3473 total. I'm not thinking with all the draggy parts we have on here, I'm not thinking that's enough for orbit. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling that it's gonna, it'll get close if I can even like keep this thing flying straight. I don't know if I can keep it flying straight. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna try it though. Here goes nothing. Well, let's we'll see how it flies too, if nothing else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a test of the new booster. And I'm almost wondering, uh, that cargo is not where the cargo is supposed to be. Remember where the center of the mass of the shuttle is? It's yeah. in the third of the four units of cargo bay. So one, two, three, it's in there. And we've just added a bunch of mass down here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but if um, you ever look at where the shuttle payload bay, where the payload usually goes, it's not directly in the back, but it's pretty much It's pretty much right in the back. The so back. what I'm going to do is put a bit of a cargo adapter in. that puts that tank right there smack dab in the middle. Uh, I'm not gonna put that in, and we'll put that tank there and lock it down and see if that helps us any, right? 
I don't know. Watch, like, I just got so far in that one launch and I've just completely ruined everything by making this change. And this is what happens when uh -huh. you uh, work with uh, a shuttle, man. And that gorgeous yes, symmetry that's then. not good at all. We've been working on one for three days now. Uh-huh. And... <laughs> it's really well, just, I mean... Wait, ready? Wait, We've been working on three days? Just switch to full screen, you'll see our completed shuttle, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> there and there we're it is, done. that's our completed and shuttle. And we're done. Totally. That's fine. <laughs> I'm just going to launch this this way. We don't even have the, like, the payload. This is just like a simulated payload. There's not a docking port or anything. It's fine. That's a cargo adapter, and then the payload's in there. Um, and I'm going to launch it this way, and we'll see what we can do. So let's save it. Let's put it on the pad and see if we can get one launch closer to EJ over here oh. so we can have a shuttle that actually works. Uh, ooh, no comment. Hang on, I'm kicking something. There we go. All right, fixed. <laughs> <laughs> we have like table drape all up on our like laps oh, yeah. over here. Like the table drape is all underneath here. Um, let me grab two victims. Scanning. Whoa. You mean? Whoa! <laughs> it's all good. Retired army. You probably should have stayed in the army because then you wouldn't have got drafted Scanning for this. Viewer. Advised <laughs> gamer, you guys are gonna be the test pilots here. I feel like we may need some more clamps after if this works. I think you're right. Yeah. The clamps. It definitely needs more clamps. I don't know why I got that impression. <laughs> is it the twang? Maybe uh, the twang. We have excessive twang. <laughs> Could you say that in your voice? The twang? Yes. No, the, the, like you call the launch sort of thing. Oh, uh, like, uh, we are go for twang. <laughs> Roger twang. <laughs> Throttle twang. <laughs> what is going on here? Oh, no, I didn't put I didn't put the separatrons up here. No, they're not staged correctly. Ah, okay, there they are. Whew, that was close. We almost decoupled the boosters without having the separatrons staged correctly. I've throttled up. I've panel locked. SAS is engaged. Here we go. This is another launch. Let's see what we've got. Dun, dun, dun. Lock the payload. It's already locked. Yeah, the payload fuel is locked. Auto we don't have. Start. We need clamps for the SRBs. Roger, You're right. Sequence start. That is not looking great. Let's see what we've got. All right. Three, two, one. Let's learn something. Space. Lift off. It took the off. Is running. Going to the pollens down there. But. There you go. We're leaning over that way, so that's when I would throttle down with the shuttle engines. Shuttle has cleared the lack of tower. Roger, Enterprise under, underway your go for roll program. All right. Roger, go for roll. Uh, I will attempt the roll program. <laughs> Just <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> kidding. Oh uh, yes. No, no, no. You can, you can tell me. <laughs> no, um, I'm kidding. That's fine. All right, roll. Program. I'm just gonna power through it. I'm just gonna roll to my heart's content here, and then throttle down the shuttle engines. Yeah, it's just gonna roll on its own anyway, so. <laughs> all right, that's definitely not nominal at all. Uh, it's going sideways again. Can't surprise you have an off nominal roll program. Is this the same problem we had? Now it's just pushing us over. The arrow got us that time. Whoa. Look at the arrow. Uh, can't surprise you have off nominal yep. arrow. Didn't happen that time. So I don't know, I don't know what I did to make the roll program work the first time. It's like you have to be pointing prograde or this nonsensical arrow takes over. You know? If you're not pointing prograde when you try to roll that thing, this happens. Yeah. yeah. So I guess the only thing you can do is keep going straight until you're basically going prograde. And then, and only then, attempt the roll. Uh, Are we going to hit the ground, I wonder? Are we going for uh, we're going for shenanigans. An abort to survive. No, I'm actually going to land it. I'm going to vertical land it back on the pad. Hang on. Not ATS <laughs> abort to survive. <laughs> uh, I wonder if it's going to take off again. Our vertical speed is negative 30. It just wanted... Somebody forgot their wallet on the launch pad. I just wanted to do a scenic tour. Look at the, look at the shadow. It's a VTOL. It saw that we're on aircraft <laughs> carry. It wants to be a VTOL. Uh -oh! Oh! Oh! Wow. Deploy shoots? Or did not, you remove yeah, the shoots? no, no, no. We don't have shoots on my version. <laughs> I don't have any shoots on here. You We're what? almost gonna get back to the wait. You what? Oh, I don't have shoots. No shoots on there. Look at all the exploding pieces. You what? We took the shoots off. <laughs> yeah, there's no shoots on the shuttle. That way, there's no shoots on there. Come on, my We're immersion. We're testing. This is my yeah, immersion. Hey, hey, hey! For the first, uh, was it eight flights? Uh oh, first, actual facts. At least four flights, they had ejection seats. Did That's they have equal, ejection seats for the first four flights? They yep. did only for the really? test flights. After the test flights, they removed it. So for the test flights, shoots we still have don't make any sense. To represent the ejection seats, because <laughs> if they ejected, they would then parachute out. All right, I'll go buy that. I'll buy that. 
Boom, save the shuttle. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm still not going to put chutes on it. I'm just going to launch it again. I'm just going to launch That's it again. I said, NASA man's out. NASA man's out. No, I'm trying to learn. Um, I think EJ, I think like, Hello? like I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get good data for EJ here. I'm um, watching it. I mean, <laughs> it's just the arrow's taking yeah. it. Every it's the arrow time, every dude. single time, and it's because in order to get the lift we need for this scale engine, this scale shuttle, using the Mark III parts and SRBs, we've got to put so many shenanigans SRBs. Shenanigans and SRBs. You have to use SAS stabilization. Yeah. You got to pull out all the cheats in the book, man. Yeah. I know, and it's sad. I it, mean, I wish we just had a 2.5 meter gimbaled SRB. Yeah, you know that and I mean? that and some gimbaled skippers. Hell, we don't even need we don't even need a, an eight degree. S skipper, we, we yeah. need just six, and that would be it. Yeah. Question, six degrees, wanna, five degrees, that would work. Question, do we want to... What would happen if we didn't do the roll program? That's going to be less efficient, but would it not flip out? Do you think it's the roll program that's doing it? I don't know. Well, um, it definitely gets into kind of like a side slip scenario, and then all that weird body lift from all these clipped things starts to kick in and pull you over like crazy, and you can never correct from that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 for sure. Um... All right, mm. let's save, get two Scanning. more viewers. Viewer. Our Drafting. basket, and also, Scanning. Viewer. Boogie, we'll put these guys in. And I'm not worried. I'm not worried about it blowing up every time that I do this, because we're learning from it, right? If I was embarrassed and I was like, oh, I don't want to do this because I'm embarrassed about it, I would make a terrible scientist. Yeah. Like, yep. no, one of the most error, important man. things exactly. to have when you're a scientist is the ability to say, you know something, I messed that up, I'm, let's do it again. It's, it's, let's learn from it and keep going. Yep. You learn it and you fix it. Oh, uh, I, I, Igor or Igor, I don't, I don't know how to say it, suggested replacing the fashion with just SAS. Replacing these with All just SAS? SAS. I'd really <laughs> like to not do that. I still don't even <laughs> think that that would, uh, that would overcome the arrow. Well, I mean, uh, 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 Collins has some SAS in the fairing on top of the tank. Up on the top? Yeah, yeah, yeah a little right. bit up there. Yeah, even my uh, Buran-style lifter has the same deal. Yeah. Let's do this one more time. I mean, I really, really think that the liquid core boosters may be a thing to do as well. Because you have, what does Collins use? It uses liquid boosters. Four mainsail liquid boosters. Four mainsail liquid and boosters. And I cut the mainsails over time to simulate trail off. And you get, you get gimbals on them? You have the gimbals enabled? Two degree, yep. It gives you so much more control authority. I I'm going to try this. I tell you what. Can, I'll give you I'll give you another launch attempt. Okay. Uh, I think I, I got to use the restroom real quick. Okay. So All right. Good I'm gonna deal. be back in a second, guys. Extra shuttle launch attempt due to bathroom break. I'm gonna. I'll true. Take it. True story. All right. So he's got one more. Tell me if he crashes though. You should be We're wearing your suit, dude. You should be wearing the pumpkin suit, and then you'd be fine. <laughs> <Just kidding>. uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Uh, All right. Fine. Go be. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna man. go not. <laughs> um, and thank you, chat, for catching this. I'll we do right need back. to restage I this as well. Oh, the separatrons. Yeah. There we go. The separatrons. Good job. Who was that? Um, da -da 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 -da. thank you. High five guy. I totally appreciate you. I totally appreciate you. Um, throttle up, panel lock, SAS engage. Three, two, one. I'm going to have five for safety as well. Boogie and R basket. Good luck with this. Three, two, one. Space. And I'm going to see if I can't get going pro grade. That's pushing me over a little much, so I'm going to throttle down. But at least it's going towards 90, so... Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you're right. Maybe I should just leave it that way. Yeah, but then as soon as those aero forces start coming in, yeah. that's the end of it. Like, see, right now we've just got the shuttle. We've got a little bit of aero force from this. Yeah, that's nothing. That would be manageable. And I'm not getting a lot of authority either from the gimbals. Look, I am pressing the W key right now, and it's executing a roll program. I can confirm. Why? Why is it rolling and I'm pressing the W key? There's nothing even in the arrow that would make it do that. I don't see what forces are causing it to roll. I mean, I'll show you. Chat. No, wait. I'm using I'm using the wrong finger to illustrate this. Yes. I am just holding down the W key and it's doing the roll program. This is... Uh, I... And now it's tilting backwards again. Throttle down a bit or... No, no. We, need to we need more throttle. And then bam, as soon as these blue lines get going, you're done. And that's all the boosters, it looks like. You're done. That's the like massive amount of, turn off the control surfaces. We'll fight against any SAS mode, try turning them off during ascent. Because Mike Massimino Mike said Mike Massimino said the control surfaces are not disabled during ascent. Yeah, he's an astronaut, he flew on the shuttle, but we could try it. Yeah, we could turn them off, we have to hack it. But that was better. Um, and the control surfaces are actually exerting a force in the opposite direction or in a, in a direction that we would want. So I, I don't think that the control surfaces, I will try it. Yeah, can, 
I will try experimentation. it. Experimentation. Whoa, 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 oh, whoa. Wow. Is there oh, the shuttle's the shuttle's like, I'm out, nerds. Nice. Wait, I'm out. The one, uh, Wait. Tank. No, no, main state engine's off. There, 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 there. Okay, there's the OMS. We gotta get rid of this guy. Can we get rid of him? I don't want it yeah, to hit pitch, us. Pitch and then drop. I don't want it to hit us. I want to kind of dive bomb the KSC with the remains of the ET. Um, Good luck. Here am I on go. the right? Yes, I'm on the yep. home row. Let's toss it. Perfect. Now, can I get this under control? I think you can. It's a really good flying orbiter. If it's the one that you No, this is mine. Going. This is mine. Oh, never mind. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fine. So I was flying the one that the other one EJ built last There night. you it's go. Look, right. I'm just stalling out. Remember, this one flies. The reason mine wasn't flying is because we put the payload in. Right. Right? This one is just balanced as well. And I'll that's see if I can't come back around. Yeah, that's why I moved the payload yeah. up. The reason that mine was flipping out was because of the way the payload was. Oh, now, smart. we don't have a lot of... Uh, we don't have a lot of room. We don't have a lot of OMS engines either. Yeah, you've only about one second So I'm almost going to turn left. around as well. All right, let's see if we can't... Yeah, even, uh, even if you just land on the grass flat area. Somebody remind me not to press the... Uh, oh, no, I'm coming around for a landing, man. You got about 10 more seconds left on those. Homes. Thank you. That's actually really useful information to have. There you go. Yeah, that's why I moved my payload up, guys. Remember, this shuttle was, was really well balanced. Just too much weight. Just yeah, yeah, beware. yeah. Oh, let's get this off so I can actually see the runway. Doing good. On center line. Don't stall out on me, shuttle. All right, uh-oh. Oh, it's oh, gonna be hard. Eek. Oh, hit too hard. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, the shuttle does not handle a hard landing very well. So I stalled it out. I called yep. it, right? I called it. I pulled up too much, and I didn't maintain my forward velocity okay. so that I could do a proper little flare at the bottom. You were at 40 meters per second Thanks. over the runway. In about 10 minutes, we will begin the proof live in a vacuum demonstration in the rear end of the space shuttle pavilion. I think we just demonstrated Once the proof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We will begin <laughs> the proof. Like we just finished the proof. So that's another one of the education <laughs> zone things going on here. Yeah, there's right. a whole bunch of educational demonstrations and cool events and My astronaut neck signings. Hurts. And Alan Stern, in about uh, 10 minutes, is going to be doing a presentation with new images from Pluto. He's the uh, PI for New Horizons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The primary investigator. So I'm going to launch it again. Do it. I'm going to launch it again. As I many launches as I can get. This um, is still that first launch. <laughs> I could have done that. I, I was describing what I was doing wrong as I was doing it. It's just one of those things, right? Um, I believe I had an F5 in there, so I'm going to go F9. Boing, boing. And I'll disable the control surfaces for chat. Chat was saying disable the control surfaces. Yeah, Someone help me out. I can't walk. <laughs> you were fine. <laughs> Let's cut away to another exhibit. Yeah. <laughs> we can pull up the picture of me with the ass. Yeah, just don't show them. I will disable these things. But because we've got the shuttle properly mounted with them behind the center of mass, and the, the lines from them look like they're trying to pull us in the direction that I'm asking it to yeah. do it. Do we want to leave the rudder? No. Uh -huh. I think we're disabling all the control surfaces, like Chad said. All right. Remember, I've got two. Yep. There we go. And you know something? I'm, I'm wondering if it's not a bad idea maybe to have more thrust weight and power through the lower atmosphere. I know Igor said that that's a thing we can do sometimes, yeah. right? Um, let's see what we've got, though. Just go straight up, through it, and then lock. you can do all of the... Yep, SAS, F5. Just to let you know, the Pluto talk will be starting at 3.30, and the hang of that 3... The Pluto? Yeah, yep, that's the Pluto sure. talk. Yeah, yeah, three. yeah. All right, let's launch this thing this way. 3, 2, 1, ain't got no time. Space. I'm out, nerds. I'm leaving. Keep the talk on top of my Pluto, and locate it in hangar 3. I repeat, locate it in hangar 3. And Is look that at rolling the, itself? Yes. I'm now yawing the shuttle. Um, I'm pressing the A key, and the shuttle is doing a roll. <laughs> okay. It's like, whatever, man. Yeah, this is, uh, again, still tilting towards 90. It's going to flip back to 270 if it's anything like before, mm -hmm. but at least now we're heading towards 90. Even if at a side slip angle. Look at this. It's going back. Yep, there it tilts back again. Yeah, there it goes towards the And that's why we need to, I'm just going to go for full roll. We have no roll authority with the control surfaces stable, disabled, unfortunately. Um, we got to have those control surfaces, like I was saying. Because this is what we were doing. I think this one's a scrub. Yeah, and there it goes, spinning at least. But now it's too yeah, late. 
it's too late. Yeah. Guys, the control surfaces, it's a good idea, but because our control surfaces are properly mounted behind the center of mass, uh, they wouldn't fight against it. Yeah. Um, man, oh man, oh man. And this is like, you can see. Wow. Can you tell why we're pulling in that direction? Uh, no idea why. It's you know something? Like any lines that, you know, huh. We really just got it. That one launch where I got out of the atmosphere, I just controlled it long enough. Um, yeah, was that just controlling it based on the throttling, you think? Yeah, 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 that was just controlling it based on throttling. But I did a perfectly good roll that time. Throttle up, penlock, SS, engage, three, two, one, space. So much for the twang. I'm out, nerds. Whoa, that one uh, tilting a lot more than usual. We grabbed a launch clamp that time. And there goes the launch. Yeah. I'm, I'm not even going to waste the time on that one. Game's going to crash. Is it crashing? No, I've had that happen. It doesn't crash. It's smoke. Yeah, right? There it Could goes. you turn up NASA Man a little bit? Could you bring your mic a little bit closer? Uh, there we go. That there should you be go. better. Thanks. Yeah, good call. Thank Look, you there's Jeremy. still smoke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How many launches was it a year? Of the shuttle? On What's average, about four or five launches a year. What did we want it to be, though? Uh, originally, it was going to be 50. Why is my shuttle leaning to the side <laughs> so severely? Because 789. Oh, wait, wrong thing. That's wait, not a what? joke. Never mind. <laughs> you make any sense. <laughs> All right, throw the pen like I said, engage, go. Look at it leaning. Are Holy the control services disabled? Uh, yeah, oh, that's no. what's doing Oh, that's it. killing us now. All right. Look at it, it regains control. Almost instantly there, yeah. In some semblance as soon as we turn these on. And there goes the shift in the pitch. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Now roll. Roll the two solid boosters toward the filler. Left few. Um, yes, that's probably something we could do. I think we're already too far from prograde. Yeah. And look at it. It keels over like that, and now and we're already it, yeah. in the middle of like crazy booster land. As soon as you get those light blue lines so on the boosters, we're, we're that's dying it. because we've disabled the control surfaces here. Yeah. The thrust on the right is not right. I don't understand what that means. The thrust Unless on the right is not right. It, it should have been done symmetrically, right? Uh, it should yeah. be the same thrust trail off? Yeah, no, it's 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 not. We've checked that earlier. Yeah. Um, I think a big part of our issue here is the fact that the entire shuttle is leaning. Uh, do we want to strut that? Is that a thing? Maybe? No, no, no. Or, it's, I, mean, it's, I think uh, it's something with like, loading the quick save, honestly. Oh. Um, but control surfaces. Now, I saw Igor said maybe don't have the tail enabled. I don't know if we'll be able to do the roll. I would have thought the opposite, have the tail enabled and the rest disabled. Yeah. But. I don't know. Um, let's try one with the tail disabled this time. Or the tail disabled, the other control surface is enabled. There's a quick save. Throw yeah, that's a few lock. people saying disable the tail. SAS engage. Three, two, one. Space. Fairing the boosters. That's an interesting idea. Fairing the boosters. Huh. I don't think we're going to be able to do this from a quick save, honestly. Because of the tilt of the shuttle. Yeah, and already start to roll, isn't it? Yep. Yep. And I want to see if I can do the proper roll here, but the tail was giving us 100% of our roll capability. We've got almost zero roll capability without the tail. That's how it normally is with the rudder on the back there doing the roll. That's yeah. why I figured disable the main controls to try and elevate the tail, but I don't think that's going to do much either. Yeah, that didn't work either. Oops, deployed. And there it goes. Yep, it's gone already. Yeah, look, the roll. Yep. Well, I'm holding down the, the roll key. I want it to roll. Yeah, and I think it's rolling too much. Yeah. And it's flipping with no, it. Yeah, guys, the pitch is gone. Good ideas with the control surfaces, but that's not going to cut it, yeah. I don't think. Um, I think we're just going to have to revert. Or not even F9. I feel like it's just recover and try it again. The thrust of the boosters is too high. Maybe we need to thrust limit them a little bit more, because I yeah. did just kind of like roll the dice on the thrust. You're right. And again, it's the same sort of iterative thing where we go back and we change it and we change it and we change it. And apparently, um, because this is our simulator. You know what I mean? Apparently, we are slightly off on the left and right with the uh, thrust limiting, supposedly. Uh, pretty sure that I got it correct. Well, I mean, we are going to have to change them anyway, it seems like, so it might not be... Oh, it won't actually tell me there. No. All right, let's see here. Throttle up, pen lock, SAS engage. Three, two, one. The F9 that is, lean. like, loading us in sideways, I think. Yeah, that lean. And I think that's going to kill us every time we do this. Yeah, because you can see it just... But see, there goes the tail, and I'm actually able to bring myself a little bit prograde here. Now, can we just gain enough velocity? No controls. 
I'm just not even gonna hit the controls. Just let her ride. Pitch is about to. I'm just gonna to go off. drink Dr. Pepper, honestly. Look at how much better it's doing when I'm not I'm not flying it. Uh, no comment. <laughs> Look at that, it's going pretty smooth. Uh, and there goes the shift in the pitch. Looks like it's gonna start. Okay, that's Tilting amazing. Over. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. Look behind you, Sawyer. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That is fantastic. Dude, you get a thumbs up. That's, That's awesome. why all the... That explains it. I you take it you've been on Twitch before. You watch oh, this all the time? Well, What's your you. name, dude? Vent. Dude! Yes, of course. What's up? Uh, our shuttle's our shuttle's totally flipping, but... We're flipping the wrong <laughs> way. <laughs> you guys can be There we go. That's, That's amazing dude. we're not even flying the shuttle. That yeah, is an excellent cap of printout. <laughs> do you see what you've done to chat here? <laughs> Did you see, do you see chat scrolling? Like, this is chat over here. Do you see it? <laughs> that's hilarious, that's dude. That's brilliant. <laughs> oh, wait. Our shuttle's upside down. Um, that's a problem. Flip program complete, but less, wow. Less boost on the thrusters. Dude, that's she amazing. This guy deserves some major yeah. internet points. <laughs> Coming over and watch. You can do that. Sneak on under the road. Oh, my you gosh. Want. Do you, do you want to come? You sneak, there yeah, you go. Dude, get over here. Yeah, you sit in a production over. chair, man. Go for it. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, no. Oh, oh wait. The shuttle's attacked. I'm good. I'm good. I'm out. Wait. Okay. Stage it. Oh, oh man. OMS. Get me out. I think he, dive pro grade. Uh, he left Look at that. I'm like a bomber. Yeah. What is this? I don't even know what that is. Is that a clamp or something stuck? I don't know. Oh, that's the girder. Why is there a girder stuck in the shuttle? Isn't that how we attach the? Uh... No, that's on the other side. The girder has nothing to do with the shuttle. Then we have a magical, mysteriously appearing girder. Come on, shuttle. You got this. You so got this. You know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> Yeah, there's Van Roden chat. They're nice. open! Open! Let Drag me live! Shoot. Let me live! <laughs> well, you don't need to play the gear, just land right on the girder. I'm trying <laughs> so hard to fly! Holy cow! Roll! Roll! It's got no roll. Oh no! It's like, I'm so out. Oh, well, it's okay, I'm flying up now. Look at this! The gear! We're coming, it's coming back around this on its is own. Surprisingly not bad! <laughs> The ground is coming up awful fast. I think I'm gonna have to cut this thing. Now that we've got the shuttle under control. Yeah, minus the uh, 40 degree pitch up. That's hey, the entry okay. pitch. It's okay, I'm good, I'm good. What could possibly go yaw wrong? Yaw it, yaw it. Somebody go repack the chute right quick. Yeah, just EVA. <laughs> the EVA, so just, remember those safety cables we were talking about? The tether with masks, Now is yeah. the time to have the safety cables. <laughs> We may have to come around. This is not <laughs> going to go well. <laughs> uh, I don't know what you're talking this about. This is not going to go well. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Oh well, no! Wait. All right, that's okay. That's I nice meant to do flight. that. It's an air show. I meant to do that. I'm gonna stall out and just nosedive on the runway. Welcome to the Kerbal <laughs> Shuttle Air Show. It's the flyby using the space and there's shuttle. the stall. I'm not done though. I got it. I got it. I don't got it. No, the pogo stick. Okay, that's <laughs> gonna crash the game. Ouch. Well, All right, I got it. I got it. I don't got it. It's very safe for the crew. I and mean, things are exploding around them. Safe. <laughs> it's very safe for the, the crew. Nose. The nose came off. <laughs> got your dude, nose. Dude, that was definitely a ten out of ten, dude. High five. You're Seriously. Really that was ten out of ten. Awesome, which roll dude. Again. There you go. <laughs> that is so cool. Um. Oh man. Now what should we do? Do it again. EJ no, went home. No, we should probably. EJ's back in Boston. Oh, yeah, fine. Then I'm having his astronaut ice cream. Ooh, that's right. We were going to eat We were going to eat that cream. once we got into space, but at that point, it seems like we're not going to be eating it forever. <laughs> I know I'm cruel. I'm sorry. I know where the girder is coming Come from. Come on. we got to put a Pluto heart in there for Dos. The is leaning on its back. It is. It is. It is. I'm sorry. Dos hearts for that. We, oh. I, we need to throttle, throttle these things back a little bit. Those are at 50%. These are at 70%. At some Someone's saying both sides. One side is seventy fifty, other seventy seventy. No, we fixed that. I'm I'm almost positive that I fixed that. By the way, remind you, there is no bathroom here in the space shuttle pavilion, so that could be part of it. He may have gotten. Yeah, into you have Alan to go Stern. like to the other side of the carrier. He may be talking to the Pluto guy. He may be talking to Sally Ride's biographer. They're all here, so. So that's sixty fifty. I don't blame him for ditching us. <laughs> and that's sixty fifty. 60, 50. The boosters are fine, guys. Okay, yeah. Um, one point two three on the takeoff. The we hearts. could move them around. We could angle them. There's so many different things we could do. Really, we just need gimbals, right? 
We could try to pull them this way a little bit. Like if I grabbed, I bet you it does the symmetry incorrectly. Of course. Did it move this one that way, or did it move it in the opposite direction? Yeah, it moved it in the opposite direction. It's, what I noticed is if you did you um, is the shuttle rotated in the VAB at all, or uh, is it rotated in the VAB at all? Like rotating it so it sits differently on the launch pad. Uh, no, it's not. Because I had that once where if I rotated it like 90 degrees inside the uh, VAB, mm -hmm. it did that. Even really? if they were even if it was in mirror symmetry, it, it would, would just, like one would go forward, the, the other would go backwards. Uh, yeah. All right, we've if got I less thrust now. Just a 90 degree rotation inside the VAB and it worked fine. Should we do that? It's, am I going to feel like I'm copying out if I do that, I wonder? I, think I mean, that was just, just because it. of the symmetry wouldn't work. That's why I rolled it, but... Let me try that. Oh, um, there's the uh, cruise ships just going out. Are they leaving? Yeah, that horn you hear, there's two large cruise ships. I don't know if you saw them earlier. That sounds there like that's go. them leaving port. All right. To this guy... Bring I wish there was a button that was like recenter craft or something, you know what I mean? There he's hey, back. Hey, and we got Van Roden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, do you have your sign still? Yes. So all of a sudden, EJ, like chat starts scrolling like crazy with Kappa symbols. Yeah. And we're like, no what's going on? And I saw somebody say, look behind you. No and so way. I looked at the monitor output, yeah, and he's got, standing in the background <laughs> with, he, yeah, he'll pull yeah, it out, yeah. It He's standing in the background with this. How did this get through security? <laughs> I don't understand. Like, security needs to be That's a little great, bit more... Uh, is that not <laughs> amazing? Doing, man? That's great. It is so awesome. So oh. let's try this one more time. Um, oh, my God. We've launched it a few times. EJ, we're going to try this one more time. Yeah, no, no, that's and fine. see what we've got. Dude, sorry, um, sorry, it took so long. I actually got stopped by people when, oh, I, was, really? when, I, when I was going to the head. Yeah. Dude. Yeah, people... Oh. People would stop and they're like, oh, you guys are you guys are doing the stream up there. So like, what's your it's what's so your Twitch sweet. handles? We want your Twitch handles so we can watch it. It looks so fun. I'm like, oh my, oh my gosh. It's so sweet. You know, like I got cornered by like five to ten <laughs> yeah. people. It's like, not Whoa. a bad problem to have on No, I know. TV. It's great. Twitch.tv slash Dussel Diz. Oh, the Nassim. No, EJ on yeah, his Absolutely. It was great. Look at Give all us all the follows. Look at all the Kappas. <laughs> oh We're going to need <laughs> The Kappas are going yeah, off again. This is worse than the Kappa song. Seriously. We've got El Pumpo and Senior Guy going on this mission. No, dude. That was fun. That was fantastic. We are just having fun at the Intrepid Sierra and Space Museum in New York City as part of the Space and Science Festival. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy, he's got that memory. <laughs> the first day you're like, Dude, sea, air, and sea space? something or other? Yeah. I don't know. There's something about a museum. <laughs> now we've got a down pad. All right. Oh, no. F5 for safety. Lock that in. Um, let's move this this way. There you go. Get out of my way. Someone needs a screenshot. Throttle up. <laughs> panel lock. SA is engaged. The shuttle's leaning. You can actually see the shuttle leaning because I didn't put more launch clamps on. Uh, I don't have enough launch clamps on right now. <laughs> well, we reverted and it was leaning. We should have thought about like that. This, yeah. So this is better, I guess. Three, two, one. I'm just gonna launch it. <laughs> it's passé. Uh, uh, it's okay. Uh, uh, it's okay. okay. It's okay. All right, all right. He's committed into a paper bag. Uh, just breathe. Where's the bag? That's a bagel. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> well, there goes my lunch. <laughs> Seriously, dude. No, what? Wait, what? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I gotta go get that, though. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right. What did you just drop? He may have just thrown a bagel on the floor. Why'd you throw a bagel on the floor? <laughs> oh, it was in a plastic bag. It's still good. I was hyperventilating. I panicked. I'm sorry. <laughs> Holy smokes. Is the air conditioner working? Is the what? Oh. Or are we just, this launch is so intense that I'm just sweating up a storm. I think that's what it is. Time to break out Dr. Pepper number it's, two. It, Time yeah. to refuel. Refuel it's actually going pretty well, honestly. It's going pretty well until everything stops going well. Uh -huh. Of course. Yeah. Can I do the roll program now? I bet you if I do the roll program, I'm going to lose control. Yeah, yeah. Let's try it. No roll. You're a little, little high. No, I've got to roll so that I start going over the east. But thankfully now it's only a what, 45 degree roll? I don't know. Or Let's look at F12. I gotta stay in that prograde try circle. Give, try to do it uh, like gradually, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's. I'm, I've got to stay prograde. Well, nope. Look, I'm starting to get the lift already. Ah, uh, there goes the light blue. As soon as you get the light blue, that's it. That right there. I wish we could figure out what's going on with that. Uh, I'm okay. I'm okay oh, with that. Honestly. Are you sure about that? No. Uh, all right. Good deal, right. man. Thanks for that, by. It does the same thing. So even though I throttle those down, I've got those throttled all the way up. It just flips over and over again. The second you get off prograde, oh, oh, and, oh. the piece is coming by. Look, look at the cloud of you're debris. Getting a yes, you're getting yeah, a exactly. <laughs> People Thank clap you. for that one. Thank you. Um, really, 
as soon as you get too far off prograde, you're done. Yeah. You cannot get off prograde. Hey, we have wings. Um, you cannot yeah. get off prograde until you are all the way out of the thick atmosphere, and that just is what it is. So yeah, uh, about that parachute again. Do you have your? Do you still have your front gear? Yes, probably. Uh, yes. yes. Do it. I got do this. It. Do, do it. it. I so got do this. It. Do it. Pull do up. It. Don't Pull sink. up. Pull up. Sink rate. Oh Pull. no! Look. Sit too low. Those blue terrain. lines are so ridiculous. Too low terrain. Pull up. Pull up. Nope. Don't. Sink. I think our center of mass is in front of our center of lift. Don't sink. Prepare El Pumpo, jump! Jump! No! You're good. Oh! Be like a swan. <laughs> Be like a swan, please. The drag line. Oh, oh yes! my god! Yes! <laughs> bail out! Bail All out! Right. Bail out! Yeah. Bail out! Hey! Big old smile. Hey, there she is. Smile for the camera. What about the other person? <laughs> <laughs> she did it. Smile with the camera. Smile. Oh. That's amazing. All right. Uh, I think we totally just maxed out the audio, but totally worth it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we, just, I think we just made some Rest people Rest in peace, headphone users. <laughs> Rip headphone users. Ripperino. I want to send this over to EJ. EJ's the shuttle expert. Uh, I she think agrees. We've, See the smile? Yeah, I know, like. Yeah. Well, she's like, ah. Wow. I think we've got a bunch of, uh, we've got a bunch of good data. And it's really, I almost think you could get this one up there if you didn't try the roll until you got in the thinner atmosphere. Just because the second you get that weird body lift going sideways like that, yeah. from all those clipped boosters, you lose it. You just lose control of the craft. Um, so either just trying to fly straight prograde straight until the atmosphere okay. gets thin and it minimizes that body lift, or the liquid SRBs. All right. Well, you know? well, let's but let's still let flying. me pass this over this way. Re try revert it. it back so we don't kill anybody. Here's this. Let's get you a mouse pad too. There you go. All right, let's all right, see let's what see we here. got here. here. All, right. Uh -huh. all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, let me. Uh, I'm pretty. Gonna, yeah, there we go. Just gonna move some stuff around here, real oh, quick. Oh yeah, there we go. That's what's pushing me down right there. All Here's right. your bagel. I I I don't want it anymore. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> now I'm better. I don't want this. I'll eat it. It was in a bag when it hit the I ground. I know. I'm joking. Okay. I'm just and EJ, up um, Yo, and scoot this way crash. a little bit. And there goes the game. KSP just crashed. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't want EJ to do anything here. It's like, what? That's okay. I'll All just, right, just a second. Let's go for No mouse screen. for you. We can fix this. All no. right, technical. <laughs> dig -a -dig -a -dig -a -dig -a -dig -a Hang on. Insert hamster technical disc. difficulties. In the meantime, while we have technical difficulties, here's a space shuttle. <laughs> there is a space shuttle. There is indeed a space, a space shuttle, shuttle behind us. I don't know if you've I noticed. I can confirm. I know a lot about these things. Uh, this is a space shuttle. I, I, yeah, I've met. Yeah. I bet like 75 people who've flown in them. I bet you I can get one of them to confirm Make that, my main that is a space shuttle. I'll yeah, no, it. I, 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 no it, it is in fact a space shuttle. Yes. You have the EGSA and NASA Man space shuttle seal of approval. There we go. Woogity woogity. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, while we're waiting for the game, George, are we going just, on here? I think it's the heat that's getting to All us here. All right, there we go. Yes. <laughs> All right, good, good. Um, da -da 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 we do have a joystick, but we're flying this. Okay, that's Let's good. And then I need to fix this. Hashtag space shuttle confirmed. <laughs> we next next time we do this, we're gonna have the two computer set up. Like, yeah. after you stream from a two computer setup, and then you go back to like the one computer setup, it's like no comparison. Oh, don't even start with the cables right. on that one. If, how is it a space shuttle if it never went to space? All right, technically an air shuttle. It's technically an air shuttle. No. Apparently. Um, I think we're scooted a little bit, guys. Let's. Can, can we, Sawyer? Can you uh, reposition this way just a little bit? I can scoot. Because I didn't scoot quite as far. Because EJ, you're kind of off the camera over there. What? There we go. All there right. There we go. <laughs> um, start the game. Let's go over there. Resume saved. Go over here. <laughs> Yes. Excellent. Well, while it's loading up, I can give you, I can do some beatbox music if you want. Ready, ready? Go. Sounds like one of the choppers outside. There you go. Four. What? You just went 150 and then you dropped the bass. Yeah, I know. You forgot the four. <laughs> four. The 150, and then you <laughs> drop the four. You gotta drop the base, and then it's just four. Oh, oh yeah. my gosh. There you go. Thought, thought you give me a four out of ten. I'm like, wait, no, what? No, <laughs> 150, blah, 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 blah. Four. Yeah. 
All right, so I need some Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Hello, yeah. mouse. Oh, oh, mouse. All right, you good? You Hello? found the mouse? Yeah. Peter. All right. So, oh, EJ, oh, go back to full, go back to KSP. It's the third um, one. Can you click right there? So that that right. one right down, there. Down one down. Down a little bit. Down. There Yay. you go. All right, cool. And we're pretty. All right. Okay. So, which one were we, which revision were you using? I was using what I had saved as R3. Three. You're dude, just hop on the other one if you want. Um, fly that one, do whatever you want, dude. Just go for it. Oh, like, okay. All right. Well, I would like to get those trail off boosters working if that's if that's cool. Sure, uh, go for it, man. Yeah, Whatever yeah, is going to work, yeah. Whew. Still got more than two hours left here. Yeah, All right. plenty of time. Let's We're let's gonna try make a space to shuttle. let's try to get enough launches in too, so we don't spend too much time in the VAV. So that we get some like explosions and entertainment. Oh, as absolutely! Well. No, no, this is we're done building. This is the <laughs> trial and error yep. phase. DJSA, there you go. Yeah, DJSA. DJSA, <laughs> nice. I like it. <laughs> so last where, well, where I left count. off with this thing, I was trying to fix the thrust in the very beginning, and um, this looks like a <laughs> kaleidoscope here, and so there, there's a. There's a good reason. Yeah, the spirographs. Well, like, spirographs, yeah, thank you. Yes. I, so I was <laughs> making the, the spirograph motion as <laughs> he said it. It, uh, it. Yeah, it's because there's 18 of them. <laughs> um, <laughs> that that was the only way I was really found uh, to do this uh, really correctly. What, what I wanted to do here is change this to 80. Okay. And I noticed that we had a lot of thrust at the very beginning, but after we did the flip program, we uh, <laughs> we would actually be in a relatively good position. So, uh, and this was this was much much earlier in the first segment of the stream before we took our break. Right. Mm -hmm. So I think if we set these center core boosters to 80, I think that'll change our COM sufficiently to get this thing to go. Okay. So. Just ship it. All right. Let's just ship it and see what we got. I ship it. Yes, Van Roan will now be yeah, Van known as back. Kappa yeah, yeah, you can see. You can see back there. Nice. <laughs> Where did he head off to? He's right behind. He's right behind yeah, oh, he's, okay. he's on the no, no, no signs, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because otherwise, yeah, 800 people kappa. All right, well, I still left it a little high up off the ground. But That's how he's going to get into orbit. He's just going to raise the launch clamps. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. It's raise it higher. Orbit. Raise it higher, it's a, right? It's a space shuttle elevator. And yep. There you go. Space shell elevator. It's a shell elevator. It's a shuttle elevator. All right, and I just want to make sure that I have the boilerplate payload in here with fuel. No fuel. All mm. right, hold up. Hold, Bingo hold, hold. Bingo fuel. Hold up. Bingo fuel. Uh, we want to revert to Bab here. So when it, Kentab has an idea for the boosters, here's an inner ring asteroid maybe three or four around a smaller part of the outer ring that's lower. Uh, I guess so that's longer overall, the higher center of mass. Convince the COM is too far back, and that's encouraging. Yeah, well, I mean, can't tell, but either way, we're going to have a lot of mass at the back of the orbiter because, well, I mean, at the back of the stack because the orbiter is there. So, I mean, yeah, we could shift it, but nah. it's, it's, mm. I'm not sure. I think it's more about, uh, it's. I think it's really more about the arrow. Um, yeah. You're on the other monitor, EJ. Yeah, I know. I it's think it's really more about the arrow. Remember, mine was flying perfectly fine as long as we could get it up to 10k um yeah, basically exactly. and don't you, turn right or don't turn at all until you get right? up out of the thicker atmosphere and then it was flying it just didn't have the thrust to wait or to uh to get into orbit that time the mouse is cutting in and out it's intermittent dude do you think yeah, it's too it's far away matter. uh it shouldn't be it's it was doing that for you the other day wasn't it yeah whatever you were sitting over there it might be but i wonder if there's some sort of interference or something like that you know wired mouse next time will be a better idea <laughs> We are on an aircraft carrier. You never know. It could be a radar um, reflecting antenna or something. <laughs> the aircraft carrier is jamming our Logitech. Yes. <laughs> it appears the radar has been jammed. <laughs> raspberry. Oh, no. It's one man who would dare give me the raspberry. Lone Star. That is, of course, after you're doing the noises, the beeps, you know, the <laughs> and sweeps and the creeps. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I've yeah, lost the bleeps, the sweeps, and the creeps. The what? The what? In the what? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I will right. come over <laughs> there and press space myself if you don't hop to it. All right, ready? <laughs> Three, two, one. Now wait for the twang, and let's lift your ignition. Let's go. And liftoff. Liftoff of Space Shuttle Kentaprise, and it has cleared the lack of tower. Did you say cleared the pad? No. I nope. think NASA needs new commentators, honestly. Yeah. 
George Miller's a cool guy, but yeah. But he was narrating a Sharknado launch, so. A Sharknado launch? Wait, what? Sharknado 3. <laughs> I, did, I actually it. didn't see that. Don't um, watch it. There's a space shuttle in it. I didn't see that. And it's as bad as you would think it is. Was there a ghost shark on the space shuttle or something? There were sharks in space. Here's EJ turning yeah. on the RCS as well. See if we can get a little help for the roll from there. This is the same night as the... Uh, just try it, dude. We should commentate this like it's uh, eSports or something. Like, yes. oh, now he's going for the roll program. Oh, no. We see a lane change early on. Oh, like, man, the roll program. <laughs> I haven't seen that since 1973. <laughs> I, I, can, I can cast this. Ready? Okay, he, he's uh, currently at 1,300 meters, traveling at 107 meters a second. Yeah. He's going for the pitch over maneuver to 80 degrees <laughs> angle of attack. Let's see if that's going to hold up for him here as he <laughs> throttles the shuttle up. That's he's, hilarious. <laughs> yeah. He's now past the two kilometer mark, traveling at 145 meters a second. Three Kerbals on board. Uh oh, uh -oh he's starting to roll over to the side oh, again. The roll. Not Look looking that. too confident here, except for Val, who <laughs> is notoriously optimistic in the launch. The shuttle is probably not doing uh -oh. something. Oh, he's, he, oh, he's turning Folks, to the north now. Throwing it down again. to NASA at the launch pad. Here no. down at the launch pad. We see the smoke and we oh see the smoke in here down Oh my gosh. It's an arrow mistake you. and you say you hate to see it happen. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, where's Madden when you someone do a John Madden impersonation? <laughs> uh, oh no. <laughs> The same thing, man. The shuttle is now pointed straight down. This is not a good thing for him to get up into space. That's probably not the best way to go to get there. It's a bold strategy. Let's see if it pays Let's off. Let's see if it pays <laughs> off. Nice. Uh, oh, no. We could totally, like, do Kerbal Space Program uh, eSports. Oh, my God. KFP's the new NFL. There Look, you go. if they can have Rocket League, we can have the original hey, Rocket we've League. We've already got the logo for it. You know, right? Major League Rockets. Wait, can he save it? And it looks like he's coming in with the amazing save. You Let's see if they handle the like instant <laughs> replay. That's going to be a top 10 tomorrow morning on all the shows. I wish I had instant replay. He already used an awful lot of Delta V here. Let's see if he can use the <laughs> remaining Delta V to try and get it up on a high suborbital trajectory for Ohm's not circularization. Gonna happen. <laughs> not it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen for him today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. And, oh, that's going to hurt. Oh, no. That shuttle got no. jacked. Gav, <laughs> Gav, that's not fair. Mine got to 25K. It was only like a perfect trajectory. Seriously, Gav. Gav is not watching the show, apparently. What did he, what's so, he say? No, he said, oh, it got closer than Doss's. Oh. oh. Rude. Hey, come Rude. on. Rude. Who do you work for anyways, Gav? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Oh, oh. Oh, get oh. out. Get out. Oh. Not good. No. Not good. No. Wait. Oh. I'm all right. Ouch. Ready? Val. <laughs> Clearly Cured oblivious. It. Oh! I'm embarrassed. Uh oh! I'm embarrassed. <laughs> this is honestly a performance in half against dancing parachute. They should yeah. test for this in esports, honestly. Yeah, the shuttle's juicing. <laughs> the shuttle is clearly juicing. I, I say. <laughs> Not yeah, okay with part this. of it. I mean, <laughs> mine saves uh, astronauts without the. I'm sorry. The, uh, I'm sorry what this. was I saying about the shoots before? <laughs> that it's hacky and cheaty, and only uh, only a, no. a very unclassy person would do it. Ouch. <laughs> well, oh. well. I mean, Wait, can you balance it? Card. Can you bla balance it on the? Uh, yeah, let's try. Let's try to do here. it. <laughs> wow. The low oh, blows no. here at the Intrepid Zero <laughs> Space Museum. Oh, yeah, yeah, it yeah, looks yeah. like despite a really off nominal <laughs> launch that EJ has managed to save the Kerbals here. It looks like they're going to come down. He's going to try Kerbals to do... My Kerbals were saved too. <laughs> <laughs> what am I in the middle of here? There's a lot more what exciting in the middle well. of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no. my gosh. Seriously. <laughs> here we go. I'm not sure that gear can hold up to 14.7 meters per second. Oh boy. Come Let's on. see what it's got. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and it lives. <laughs> now activate the drill. <laughs> 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 oh man! All right. So you're gonna try and fly that same one again? What are you gonna try to do? Uh, let's see. Well, I mean, it's too much. Uh, it's, it's the arrow. I mean, uh, let me think here. All can right. We, I, can I, we do a launch with the arrow on? We didn't have the arrow on that time. And like, see what happens with that weird. Yeah, lift. yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Because the time that I got to 25k, I stayed prograde most of the time. Yeah. And then when we got above 10, 15, the little blue, the light blue lines were like tiny. Okay. And we yeah. got a perfect booster step and it was just the thrust away. There was just too much fuel in the orange tank. That's yeah. pretty much just going straight up and managing thrust though, basically. Yeah. And I, a lot of it again also probably would have to do with the balancing of the SRP. Well, I did the full 180 degree roll and everything. Oh, you yeah, did that rolled the roll? all oh, the way yeah. around, yeah. Maybe if we turned on prograde assist. You think? Uh, it might do it. I, I, I'd be willing to give that a shot. Maybe. How, oh, it does got the SRP. What's in that fairing? 
Uh, What's in that uh, fairy? I just saw that. Nothing. 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 Yeah. And the mouse and the mouse is dead. The, the mouse, mouse is the mouse like goes dead right when you right when you can see it. Then progress no, is I, I, I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie. The, it, like I said, to, to do the SRBs and get them right, you have to be yeah, yeah, yeah. a little cheaty. There is a ton of SAS up I there. I got you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, where's the Where's the mouse? Oh, there we go. The mouse keeps going. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know it keeps going. Going. Yeah, there's there's a little bit up there. It's not too much though. It's not as much. It's not as much as usual for me. I mean, it's all good. Could have been fins. Could have been worse. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Anything to get us past the uh, the lack of the thrust vectoring on the SRBs. Anything that we can just launch something. <laughs> Does it, I, uh, if we tried to fairing the entire SRBs to remove their lift? That's what someone suggested. But I don't think they would activate. <sighs> Clipping parts inside of an uh, inside of a fairing yeah. it usually doesn't end well. Well, oh, it, yeah. it should tell us that it's uh, they're uh, stowed, and they won't even turn on. Yeah. Is the problem I've had with it. So either they're shielded from the arrow, but they're stowed and won't turn on, even if the nozzles are outside, or they won't, you know, yeah. you have, like, explosions because you're clipped through a fairing sort of deal. So I don't know. Uh, okay, let me, let me think here. So, what's going on? Dude, I might... I could make the liquid bo liquid boosters if we wanted to do that. Yeah. That would get it there. Yeah. I Let's know fly it, it one there. more time. Let's I'd fly it this way one I'd more time. I'd prefer to get, to get this working, though. This, this yeah. seems a lot yeah. more fun. Oh, yeah. You know. Well, anytime you've got 18 boosters clipped into each other, it's <laughs> going to be fun. Yeah. Right, right. On each side, nonetheless. Let's just fly it with the arrow turned on. I totally want to see the arrow. All right. Okay, let him thrust limit first. If I can just tweak this thrust to really the optimal area that I need, I mean, it, it's going to be a little less efficient because the boosters aren't going to be running at full capacity the entire time. Yeah. But it might, it might be enough, just, just enough combined with, like, uh, the arrow to get it to where we need because it, once it gets up in the higher atmosphere, the COMCOT is actually pretty aligned yeah, on this yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the parts I did get to test when I was uh, building this uh, the other night. So okay. let's see what we got here. All Let right. me uh, move that out. Move it into the launch position. Let's let's take a look. We wait with bated breath. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> As oh, the other thing is... If you think that's a lot of SAS, you should have seen the old Collins. Oh, man. It had 60 large SAS wheels in yeah, it. Yeah, something like that. That's, that's discount what, day at the that, SAS factory, <laughs> honestly. That's, that's what was needed. I mean, that's, I mean then again, that my understanding of the shuttle wasn't nearly as well, as good as it is now. But oh, man. I mean, I've, I've gotten better. I'm better. The <laughs> gimbaled SRBs would... We need it, man. We need gimbaled SRBs, gimbaled uh, main engines. Uh, this <laughs> every be, time, this every time easy. the cinematic launch profile, yeah. the cinematic launch cam, yeah, I love it. Force of habit, No man. countdown, though. Sorry. <laughs> no yeah, rush. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Bo, they're talking about boats in the background. I love it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are we good? All right. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, go, Prado, 5, 5, 4, We have minutes to start. Two, one, push your ignition, and lift off. Uh, All right. And the shuttle does that. The real shuttle actually, yeah, it, it basically drifts. That much. Is it there? drifts a yeah, little bit. I'm not sure. That's quite a lot that's going north. <laughs> uh, throttle, throttle back. <laughs> Polar shuttle. Polar shuttle. There of you go. Eh. Shuttle, yep, shuttle was shuttle was originally intended to be shot in a polar orbit to deploy reconnaissance satellites. Yep, that was going to be done at Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. They built it. They started testing it with Enterprise was attached on yeah. to a booster and stuff out there on the pad. Oh, great. He's got to get going prograde, folks. If we don't get prograde... Oh, can you do the arrow overlay, F-12? Absolutely. Thank you. Oh, uh, there's the blue already. You got it. You got to get pointing in the green circle down there slash yellow circle to minimize the light blue lines coming off the boosters. If you don't do that, you're toast. It will start to flip you all over the okay, place. Back in it. That's not actually terrible. Yeah, that's so actually far. really good. And there goes the roll. And we could just pretend that we're launching from a non-equatorial launch site, and we have to go into a little bit of a uh, yeah, inclination here. That's fine. Turning way too much. Of it's going quick, it. but and your full throttle. Oh, there, yeah. No, you can control it. You can control it. Just stay in that prograde. Oh, there dude. you go. You gotta stay in that prograde. Doing pretty good, actually. Yeah, it's still a steep to launch profile. Degrees, but yeah, it's still 45 degrees at 3K is, is not going to work. What's with the Delta V numbers? Oh, right. they're all over the map, yeah. yeah. With all the complicated plumbing. Um, but see, now that the design. shuttle's in a, it's in, it, well, it's in a relatively good position here, so the lift on the boosters is actually keeping Picking the, us up in the way we want it to yeah, go. Oh. It's going to be in the wrong way, yeah. Oh, uh, and it's going away. And it was good while it lasted. And it yeah. Was, yeah, it was good while it lasted, I suppose. I wish we could see the center of mass in flight. Yeah. Um, that would now be amazing. Now it's working against me here. 
Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Look at that. that. There you go. Uh, it's done. It's done. You see all that force start to pull it over again. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. What did you do? It's like what did you do to the shuttle? The pod is like an ejection seat. This shuttle clearly has ejection seats. Yeah, it's we're testing it though. Dude. So. Yeah. Ooh. Just I have it's a little cradle. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, there my goes nose the nose cone. cone. What if we just go straight up before we try to roll? Did you try to roll at all? I ended up rolling about 45 degrees. Yeah, it did pretty good. Go up. And just keep um, going. Just go up and don't start a roll program until you get to like 5K. Because we're trying to roll right. at like one kilometer. Yeah. And maybe yeah. if we go straight up and we get a little bit more energy that's going to keep us... Because right now, right, a little bit of force when we have this low velocity is going to make a big change. Right? Yeah. When we well, try to do that roll, if we get a lot more, if, if our vector for our like prograde going up is a lot bigger, the forces we get from the arrow will yeah. be less as a percentage, right? Yeah. So it won't have as much influence over the shuttle. Yeah, let's let's give it a shot. Ready? I'm just making stuff up. I made up some of those words. I've heard them used before. That's yeah, so. not rocket science. No, no, I, I, I understand, and, I understand you know, what you were honing in you on. You know what I mean, so. though? Like, uh, just yeah. get a little bit more almost inertia. It's momentum at that point, right? Yeah. Science terms. All right, ready? Three. Three, seven, forty-two. Hike. <laughs> Hike. Smooth. Fourth well, ball. Well done, John. Put, put, put. We're doing Football. the same thing. It's Football. leaning over, dude. Just, I would say, just go to fly straight up. Get that prograde in there, and then just fly straight up as much as you can. Yeah, about that flying straight thing. A little easier said than done. It looks no, like. no, he's good. He's good. Right now, yeah, no, now he's doing good. Yeah. Yeah. He knows what he's... Yeah, look at this. I would hope he knows what he's doing. He's the shuttle guy. Mm -hmm. He's got the shuttle emote. You still got a little bit of authority from those engines on the shuttle. Do we know... Could we look up the thrust of the SRVs versus the thrust of the shuttle main engines? 80 to 20. Can Chad find this somewhere? 80 to 20. Yeah. It's got, he's got the it was, ratio right. Yeah. Is 80 to 20? Yep. Okay. Is that the ratio that we have here? Um, yes and no. I mean, uh, I, I, I tweaked these, these solid rocket boosters off of my Collins liquid rocket boosters. And right. When I engineered that, I did it at, I did it at relative 80 to 20. So. Okay. The real shuttle did the roll program to line itself up with its target. It, it, its target it lines orbit. it up to put it on the proper flight azimuth for yep. the proper inclination. You're almost out of pitch control, it looks like. And there's the answer. Yes, we can do it in the VAB, but we're trying to make this kind of realistic. And that's how the real shuttle did it, so that's how we do it. And it's going to start to lean over to 180, it looks like. Then all of a sudden, it just loses it. Yeah, there it goes. It's too much thrust on the other side. All right, I'm going to let the boosters go. Hopefully nothing bad happens. All right. Uh, Whoa, okay. Oh. Whoops. Gets out they of the way. Sparkler show in the cockpit. There we go. We got point eight six thrust away there. Valentina loved it. Yeah. <laughs> I know you guys can't see it at home because we're kind of blocking Valentina, wow. but she's loving it. Just know that. Make the face that she's making, Sawyer. What are we at? We're at 0.89, we're at 0 0.90 now. <laughs> <laughs> the good luck we're all counting on. The <laughs> from, the, from the gallery behind us, nice. Peanut gallery, yeah. <laughs> Clearly a regular uh, KSP Twitch viewer yeah. behind us, right? <laughs> Excellent. Eh? So, uh, what, what, sorry? What? Far. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and he holds up the camera. He's like, you know what might help? Far. Get out Wait, why'd you barrier. turn it off, EJ? Uh, it's not good. It's because we ain't making it to space today. Not with this one, at least. I almost wonder if we just don't go with liquid boosters. Yeah, yeah we could. Or hybrid boosters, liquid hybrid, for the gimbals, boosters. and... Because if you're talking about 80% of your thrust is gimbalable. You can do thrust vectoring with 80% of your thrust on the real shuttle. I mean, there's still one more thing we could do with this. We could try clip control surfaces if you, yeah. you want to get like ultra, ultra cheaty. Right. What do you want? Whatever you want to do, man. There's the. Ooh, get off my tank. There's a good sap. Ooh, wowzers. Oh, that's not good. All right, hold up. Well, okay. That's crazy. Oh, what no, are you kidding? Is, that's yeah, exactly, this is how, exactly the shuttle how it goes. Yeah. yeah. Let's see what we can do. Yep. Hey, bump the OMS maybe? Which one? Bro? Sweet. 
dude, you're Poseidon. That's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> I tweeted at you that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Dust, check your Twitter. People keep showing up. Yeah, check my Twitter. People keep showing up and like, there's so many people. This is great though. <laughs> See the whole community it. come together in New York in a space shuttle. I show. love it. All right, let's see. Can we do this? I can we? So. Can we? Can we land it? Yeah. I'm invested. Who is that? Oh no, that's my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Standing off the edge of the uh, runway there. She ran away from a rocket. She's like, I'm not gonna. I'm not going to be involved with this. <laughs> All right, you got it. Everything uh, looks good. Can you pitch down or no? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I can. I have some using I have the OMS. Of, I have there we go. Of, no, no, I have control authority in general. I'm using it to keep my speed up. Okay. Yep, you got 130 meters per second. You left only got that. 20 seconds 20 of fuel seconds. left. Yeah. Yeah, I know. That's pretty much all I'm gonna need. Okay. Low fuel. Low fuel. Whoop <laughs> whoop. 14 seconds. You're just building up some potential energy here, huh? Yep. Gotta gain buddy. some altitude. Not really accelerating, but gaining some altitude so that you can try and glide back to the runway. Four, three, OMS two. OMS is just about done. One, main engine cut off. Okay. Ohm's cut off. Ohm's cut off. All right. Then dip on down. Oh, look at this. Ah, MLG gaming here. Look at this, yeah. MLG shuttle. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, oh, first person only. Yeah, that'll go. Oh, snap. The knuckle crack. It's on. No, they're just looping around with the program. Is that always like that? Are we good? We're not lined up, that's for sure. No, We're gonna definitely not How can you tell? I'd honestly just go from the outside. Bananas. It's going to be a prettier thing from the outside. All right. That's fine. Come on around. Whoa. Come on around. That's awesome. Yeah. Kids keep walking up and they're like, oh! And they hear Kerbal Space Program is great. Whoa. <laughs> so something just hit the ground. Really? I'm, not, I'm not sure what it was, but uh, it is making a lot know what's of going yeah, on. Thing. And look, listen to that. It's still going. Oh my gosh. I've almost drained this Dr. Pepper, by the way. Yeah, unfortunately, that's the last one I got. It's all good, man. It's going to be a little long on the runway, but yeah, I think we should all right. be all right. Hey, as long as we can actually get it down. You have down. the drogue on here, right? Yeah, you do. And the cheat shoot. I mean. The cheat. <laughs> this guy. Seriously. And the cheat shoot. Would you rather have Kerbals alive? My Kerbals were living. Some of them. All of ours it's have lived. It's just that there was no shoot to repack. All of the shoots have lived. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. 50 meters per second. All right, don't stall it Less out. Less than 100 off the deck. 45. There you go. Coming oh, down 40 meters don't per stall second. It. Oh, stall. man, that's going to be hard. Oh. Stall warning. Learn from me. <laughs> Deploy shoots. Learn. Yeah, <laughs> pop the shoot now, EJ. There you go. I, will. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's. Yeah, you, we just repeat perfect. the Enterprise together here. It's exactly. Perfect. It's perfect. MLG Pro Landing Kappa. <laughs> 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 All right, what do, do wanna do, EJ, what do you want to do, EJ? What do you want to do? Same thing we do every night, Pinky, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. You kill Kerbals? I Is think that good? In, 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 the, in the spirit of getting into space, man, we might want to well, invest in some liquid boosters here. Liquid boosters? Because that'll give us the, the gimbals. Towel. That'll give us the gimbals. I mean, anything I else is going to require so much tweaking in so much. It probably wouldn't be a very we'll, good show, honestly. We'll, sa we'll save that for my stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because we're trying to keep it a little bit <laughs> yeah. launch and, and fun and explody and that sort of stuff. Yeah, now they're asking, please do a successful mission. <laughs> please, that's what you want. You yeah. want a successful mission. I can do I can do that. All right, so let's see. We got a, there's a lot of stuff we have. Put them in. Oh, nice. Nice. Hey, I can actually do that. Where's my, uh, sweet. All right, so guys, what we're doing now um, in Kerbal Space Program, the big SLS, SRBs, the you got from the AR impact, don't have gimbals, right? Nothing. And all that means is that there's no thrust vectoring. You can't actually change the direction of the exhaust on those big boosters that are on the side of the orange tank. Um, normally, if we had that, that would give us a ton of control authority, right? 80% of the thrust of the shuttle is in those big SRBs. 
And so if we had gimbals on there, 80% of our thrust would be thrust vectorable. We would be able to use that to get more control authority. Kerbal Space Program right now does not give us that. Um, the SRBs that we have are just, they just fire in one direction. You can't point the nozzle in a different direction, so you can't use those SRBs to help you control the craft at all. Um, what we're gonna do now, what EJ's doing, he's going to create boosters on the side that use liquid engines in, in Kerbal Space Program. The liquid engines can actually have gimbals on them. That'll give us a lot of thrust here, but also allow us to use that thrust to control the craft. It's like a control authority sort of thing. Oh, and EJ, that white tank works really well for the top. It gives you more fuel and it looks really nice. Oh, which, which the, one? The new white tank, um, top row from the fuel tanks, middle. That one right there looks really nice for the SRVs. Oh, okay. Not bad. And more plus, fuel, it's say. a little bit more fuel. I mean, we may have to take some fuel out of these, but mm. you can put the nose cone on top and it's the exact same line. Uh, the oh, the nose yeah. cone, arrow, yeah. There you go, that one right there, and it kind of maintains the line all the way up to the top, see? Not bad. So use use the, we'll, just use, we'll make boosters out of Dr. Pepper tanks. There, now it. we're talking. That would work the Cheers first time. Cheers to that. That would totally work the first time. Cheers. <laughs> Not scrape. Not scrape. Just saying. Oh. All right, that looks good. Hey, at least you didn't say Mountain Dew. I'll give you that. Ew. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Were you going to put mainsails down there, EJ? Yes, sir. What do you think about two X-10 twin bores clipped into each other at a 90 degree angle? There's <laughs> 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 your answer. Because <laughs> that, well, no, four mainsails would be 6,000 and two twin bores would be 4,000. So you get more thrust from the four mainsails. He's going for the four. There you go. He's going to be switching to the mainsails here. I think uh, look, maybe he's going to select a skipper for a second. No, he's going to no, think no, about it. No, no, he changes. But he changes over to the mainsail. The mainsail is a very, very competent Whoa, choice here. It looks like we have a little bit of audio problems with the with the stream here, yeah, but we should be able to fix it up mic. here. Yeah. Okay. I went to lift it up over my head so I could do this. This. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jordy. Uh -huh. Slash future man. Ah, future man. I just don't want to see this. He's totally patching it up. Uh, no, it's it's for a reason. I'll tell you in a second. Is that good? All right, there you go. Yeah, Ripperino. Sorry, guys. You're putting all of the... Uh, everybody's like, ow, my ears, yeah. Like I said, a little bit of audio problems. It seems sure. the stream has, seems to have gotten it under control. Let's see. <laughs> EJ's still here working on, working on his boosters in the back here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. A-plus commentary here, folks. A-plus commentary. Is this, 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 this is your thing here. This is uh, some mainsail hype. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you say? That's what you say, right? Mainsail hey, hype. Somebody <laughs> yeah, asked, there you go. More mainsails. Somebody asked here um, why we're doing the mainsails and why he's rotating them. I'm going to guess, I think he's rotating them 45 degrees so he can do exactly what he's doing right now. Clip you can make it relative to the local part. You press F when you're in the uh, rotation or when you're in the offset tool like that. And when you make it relative to the local part, you can pull it directly in to make them all a certain number of ticks into the uh, interior of the booster. You so are that's, correct. Is that why you rotated them? Absolutely, man. Yeah. You got it. Oh. And that gives us a nice, respectable-looking pang. Mm -hmm. I mean, bell. <laughs> Penguin. <laughs> is there any overheating problems there? Um, no. No. <laughs> okay. That um is uh, not very reassuring. Just saying. And then we c then he here comes the fashion account. Ah, oh. that fashion dough. Look at this. That's actually really cool. Sweet. That's actually really now we cool. Got a bell. Look at that. Nice. I mean, these. Uh, let's see. Hold up. I'm change mine around. Change it around just a tiny bit. I think the. I think mine are two clicks in. So, let me just back okay. it out one. Memorizing his blueprints here. Yeah, for the most part. I mean, it might almost look nice if you put one of the. Uh, well, no, that'd be too long. The other tanks and emptied it out so it kind of ends in the mainsail bell, and it just like goes to the big flare at the bottom. Yeah, <laughs> I, I gotta move the. I gotta move the whole mechanism down a little Do the bit. real SRBs flare like that? At the bottom, yeah. They have a skirt, yeah. That would move the center of pressure back a little bit. That would add as kind of act as kind of like a fin to cause a little drag at the back as well, wouldn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It may not be statistically significant, but it, it'll work in Kerbal Space Program. Ah, it selected the wrong part. Dang. Mm-hmm. 
By the way, in case you've forgotten through all this, there is a space shuttle behind us. <laughs> yeah, it's not a green screen, guys. We are I, live from the uh, Intrepid Sierra and Space Museum in New York City. That's what we're doing. I just was looking, you know, and I look over nice. at the monitor, and I, oh, yeah, I forgot the, you know, the yeah, giant space there's shuttle. There's an monitor. actual space shuttle that did not explode nearly as much as ours did. In fact, it didn't. It thankfully. didn't explode at all because <laughs> it's here in the museum, yeah. Five pretty much perfect approach and landing test flights. Dropped from the back of a Boeing 747 called NASA 905. So I'm going to place these attachment struts here, and the reason the reason we got to do that is because we need, you can't have uh, something like the, uh, um, a gizmo mechanism like this right. and have, um, ha not have anything strutted be ah, because gotcha. the mainsails will wonk out. They'll yeah, try yeah, to yeah. try to go into the fairing, and it could potentially clip in and crack and strike the entire vehicle. Which, gotcha. Crack you know. and strike the entire vehicle. Or just, and it's hiding it. That's actually really cool. Yep. It's hiding it inside that gray thing. I yeah. love it. Yeah, man. This is Fashion Academy. That's right fashion, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's very fashionable, honestly. I like. There we go. What's up, everybody? Everybody that's saying hi, how's it going? Hey. <laughs> All right. So now, if you noticed, I placed each one of these boosters not in symmetry. They're in symmetry and mirror across the two boosters. Right. Uh, the reason I need to do that is because and not just place it 4x symmetry and go is because they need to be action grouped correctly. Okay. Uh, now mine is 4, 5, and 6, and there's... Okay. So I'm going to need to rotate this a little bit. I need to rotate the part here. Hmm. Can't have When the uh, shuttle was dropped, what would happen is they would release it, and then the 747 would kind of pitch down, and it also the shuttle would go up a little bit. Because uh, it is a lifting body, so that's easy <laughs> enough for once it's detached to just fly up, and then well, 747 we, goes down a little bit, and you get the separation. Yeah, we, we know good and well about how uh, how the thing pitches up <laughs> when you separate from something. Uh, hmm. Case in point, watch. <laughs> what are we doing? I have video. to. I have the to. Shuttle, uh, I got gotcha. you. All right. The, the Kerbal shuttle, not the real shuttle. I have to place these because I, I forgot that I had to. You have to rotate these a uh, certain offset uh, to get the trail off to work correctly. Right. So what I'm going to do is, uh, earlier I was talking about solid rocket booster trail off. Basically what that means is that the, the solid rocket boosters over time, on top of being gimbaled, they would actually change their thrust. And I believe uh, we asked before if, if there was a mod that do that. I'm pretty, uh, if, uh, if there is a mod that does that, excuse me. Uh, I'm pretty sure that realism overhaul does it. Right. Uh, it simulates thrust trail off. And basically what that means is the, the solid propellant is physically packed into the booster differently to create a different thrust trail and, they're, and changing the kilonewton output of the booster itself. So, I mean, what you, the, the benefit of that is uh, at, during the shuttle's ascent, the fuel flows out of the external tank, and therefore the external tank gets, uh, has less and less mass. So when you have something like that that has less and less mass, you need to lower the thrust behind it, because if the boosters had the same type of thrust that they had on liftoff as uh, what they did uh, like when they separated, I mean, one, they would spiral out of control, and nobody, nobody wants that. Uh, and two, they would... Uh, the, the, the nice. thrust to weight and the COMCOT rotation would be just completely out of whack. Yeah. So they, they trail off and thrust. So what I do here is I simulate that I simulate that trail off with these boosters uh, by shutting off different mainsails during ascent. Cool, because you can't throttle them independently. You can't like set yeah, exactly. X number of engines to throttle group one and X number of engines to throttle group two. That would be a killer app, honestly. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. like the ability to do that in KSP would be amazing. Yeah. Um, action groupable uh, mm -hmm. scales. I believe Tweak Scale maybe might be able, might be able to do that. I'm not I'm not sure I'm though. I maybe know. action group everywhere. Yeah, that might do it too. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Chat, do y'all know? I, I bet you they do. They All were right. mentioning some earlier. Yeah, yeah, we are. Furious Famicom, we are in New York City, that's right. The Intrepid Sea are in Space Museum in New York City, literally floating in the Hudson River. Fruit in a Sea Dragon rocket. I haven't done a Sea Dragon yet. Sea, sea Dragon's Dragon. the one that launches from the sea, yeah. as it turns out, right? Kind of yeah. like the uh, the missile that they have on the Growler here, with the little Separatrons on it. <laughs> with the Separatrons on it, nice. The Sea Dragon is not small, let's put it that way. There you go. All right, so let's save that as revision four. Okay, With the proper cool. action groups, we should be good there. Yeah. Um, Let's I have a lot of confidence in this. Just I having the gimbals work. down there. Eight uh, mainsails worth of gimbals. Trust me, it, it makes a huge difference. And, then and I, think, 
I think we know we can also, like, you can edit the config file in KSP to put gimbals on the SRBs. Oh, absolutely. Da -da 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 -da. Like, and maybe, like, uh, you, you still do your mod streams, like, once a week, right? Yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe you should maybe do that on one of the mod streams, man. Or I can, I can demonstrate it, and too. And, like, edit it yeah. and see how it yeah, works. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. That would be an interesting thing to Wrong do. It, it really does feel like we got Mark III parts and we didn't get the rest of the things to make a Mark III shuttle successful. Absol oh, yeah. absolutely. You yeah. know what I mean? All right, so I'm just I'm working on tweaking the stages here, cool, and then cool. we should be good for launch. Throttle Control Avionics. There is a mod. There's a mod yep. called Throttle Control Avionics. Excellent. And EJ, they were saying, uh, somebody saying you, we reused Action Group 5, which will also open the bay doors. Yes. Oh, right. So if you used Thank 5, you. Yeah, yeah, 5 yeah, is right. normally my bay door opening. Yeah, there, there you go. Is. Just turn it off. It's your shuttle. Go. Yeah, so four, five, I simulate 4, I, 5, and 6 with a trail off. Gotcha. Uh, just cool. so I can... Have, I mean, I leave one, two, and three open for stuff like payload bay doors. I yeah, usually yeah, yeah. never end up doing it, but I, I think it's just like it's something that like my way of doing it. Your is unified way is smart. That's a really good idea. Then I just know because I, I never remember because yeah, KSP doesn't let you see the action groups when you're in <laughs> flight. <laughs> Imagine that, right? Imagine that. Yeah, this thing looks actually pretty good. It looks very similar to the booster still. I like it. I like the flare at the bottom. That's yeah. very fashionable. So the, what we need to do here now <laughs> is we, we need to add a. A couple of separatrons up the top just to make sure this thing works correctly. Yeah. Uh, and then there's one or two more tweaks, and then we should be ready. So the other there thing is go. that the, so yeah. the actual solid rocket boosters have, a, I believe, four individual separatrons up top. And I think there's another three down on the skirt of the SRB. But we don't, we don't need to do this, uh, the separatrons on the skirt. You can get away with just these. Um, this should be fine. Action group throw somebody. Yeah, quite a few people are saying there's a mod called uh, Throttle Control Systems. There's another one. I forgot the other one. Yeah, there's been a few. Excellent. <laughs> Keep it classy, guys. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So there's that. And then the last thing I need to do is another trick that I do. Not necessarily as, uh -huh. as cheaty as the rest of the tricks that I do with the shuttle, but if you look at my external tank, when we were doing the solid rocket booster, these tanks are empty. They also don't flow into anything. Ah, I they're use, just there for looks. I use they were there for looks on the side on the on the solid rocket boosters. But now that we're using the liquids, oh, are you actually going to draw fuel out of them? You draw fuel out of the two ah, side tanks. Ah, I gotcha. That's how that's how my shuttle lifter actually works to uh, to get I the gotcha. amount of. I mean, because it's four mainsails, man. That's going to suck up those tanks in a second. Yeah. Real quick, it'll it'll sip the fuel right out of there. So we got to make sure. I mean, those tanks are in symmetry. Yeah. The, these two, and this one is uh, one. And you can run a fuel line over it. Exactly. I, gotcha. you I was wondering where you were gonna get the fuel for that. Yeah, exactly. There we go. They're, they're run yeah. right off there, and then I can just run a straight fuel line like that. Sweet. And then the other thing I was gonna I was gonna tell you about uh, this tank is. So you see, I have the same type of tanks here. Right. I, I adjust the f I force the fuel flow on these tanks. Okay. So this tank drains first. That tank drains second. That tank drains third. Okay. Then this is fourth. That's fifth, and that's sixth. And then that one's actually connected into the shuttle's umbilical. That's actually fantastic, dude. To keep your COM shifted more on the line yeah, of the engine. Yeah. Does the real shuttle do that? It's just one big tank. Yeah, it's just one yeah, big so tank. So it's like Kerbal yeah. Tricks again. Yeah, yeah it, tricks. this is Kerbal Tricks. This is stuff we just straight up can't do yeah. in the stock game. So. And that's fine. I mean, it's it's like things that we learn. Oh yeah. To make work in Kerbal Space Program yeah, because exactly, it's like yeah. a system that has rules and we're kind of like the Neo of Kerbal Space Program, mm -hmm. I guess. Uh, some of them can be broken. <laughs> we know which well, rules we can break. <laughs> I guess that's a good comparison. We're not it's dodging a lot like of bullets today, though, I guess. <laughs> planes, maybe. And a space shuttle? Yeah, probably. Uh -huh. Oh, definitely. We dodged it. It's behind us, see? Yeah. We dodged there you the go. shuttle. Put them all together. Behind us. Perfect yep. landing after the dodge, too. We only dodged it because they won't let you lick it. Uh, no comment. <laughs> Yeah. Uh -huh. All right, so the fuel right. tanks so are So we're about filled. to launch it, right? Yeah, let's do it. You gotcha. Yeah, let's see it. Uh, All right, sweet. Guys, make sure, make sure, I mean, this, we're, we're, we're guests on this channel here, so my regulars try to just keep it classy <laughs> in the chat, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, what's going on over there, huh? Uh, there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah right. that's that's a thing. I gotcha. So there we go. We've got a little boring thing. All right, so... Here we go. I'm going to take one out of your book in F5 for safety. Excellent. Oh. All right. Okay, here we go. 10, 9, 8. Good luck, everyone. Main engine start. 6, 5, We have main engine four, start. 3, Look at that thing 2, 1. There's the twang. 
booster. There it goes. Whoa, oh, mainsail oh, hype. <laughs> that TWR though. Dude, what is it? Whoa, two. Angle down a little bit um, so we can see the mainsails gimbling. Yeah. Can you show that off, EJ, so we see what oh, we're talking about? Look at those. Do you movements. see the exhaust, the actual flame coming out of the mainsails on the boosters on the side? Do you see that gimbling, how it, how it deflects a little bit? That's what we're talking about when we say the thrust vectoring of the gimbling. Look how easy it is to roll. Wow. When you can roll use the complete. gimbals on those boosters to do the roll program, it's like, poof, roll program. I'm done. I'm so done. Right? Wow, this thing is flying. It's so much easier when you've got the gimbals on the SRBs, isn't it? We got a throttle back here. We're hitting maximum dynamic pressure. Yeah, no kidding. Max Q. That is beautiful. Back. Go for cut one. Did we get it? No. Negative, negative. cut one. There, there you we have go. cut one. So that's the trail off that I'm talking about, and that's uh -huh. how drastically the SRBs change the thrust. We just we just eliminated 1,400 kilonewtons uh -huh. of force off the boosters to keep this thing in line. Yep. That is beautiful, EJ. I love it. Thanks, man. The I, gimbal, look at, I mean, you can see that roll program was just like roll program. Whoop, I got control. Yeah. And 80% thrust vectoring is beautiful. Shuttle. Oh yeah, the actual shuttle flies into that maneuver. Look at that. Cut two confirmed. Yep. That is fantastic. Okay, Kenna Prize, your go at throttle up. Roger, go throttle up. So have we packed the max dynamic pressure yeah, yet? It, yes, that's the it, with throttle this, up call. With this configuration, gotcha. it passes around 11. And now we'll start accelerating really fast. Mm -hmm. And we works for us in KSP as well because we're up in the thinner atmosphere. Exactly, man. It's That's that dude. It's fantastic. the gimbal. It's the gimbal all day. Yep. Uh, no, multi gamer. The actual shuttles do gimbal. That's the big problem we're having. We were trying to fake it using SRBs because the shuttle has solid rocket boosters, but the solid rocket boosters have gimbals on them. And so we just we we solved a couple problems here. A, we added the gimbals back in eight mainsails worth of gimbal authority now well off the center of mass you see how they stick off the back of the shuttle and we've gotten rid of all of those srbs that had the weird body lift if we do this again and we look at the uh the light blue lines oh, yeah, yeah we're too high now yeah. we won't see barely any light blue lines yeah, on the those delta wings boosters are still pulling but it's just the delta wings it's right not now. that yeah, big of a thankfully. deal anymore yep. it's totally not that big so we we stepped around the Mm, Kerbal Space Program airflow, which isn't as realistic <laughs> as it could be, and we've added gimbals to the boosters, which gives us tons of control authorities. And it's like we took away, we, we were like this, we had no control authority and we had tons of forces trying to control our shuttle, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. And we yeah. removed those forces and we increased our control authority, and now this thing flies absolutely beautifully. That, that is great, fantastic. Go figure, those SRBs were causing all that bizarre pull on that. So, squad, um, 2.5 meter SRBs, please, with gimbals. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> you can make a couple if you want, buddy. Well, that's right. You do a little modeling yeah. this whole time, yeah. don't you? After the shuttle finishes modeling, that's I think we know the next model on Sundays. Sounds good. That is fantastic. Yeah. So cool. So we're approaching... What's up, Crass Kitty? Hey, how's, hey, how's it going? going? We're in New York. Yeah, <laughs> with the space shuttle. Oh, my gosh. There's cut three. So, if you look, I mean... At this point, I have one, one out of four firing. And look, yeah. no hands. It flies That's perfectly fantastic, straight. That's fantastic, dude. No That's so cool. Boy, that is a gorgeous flying machine. Oh, there's part of the problem. I'm not clipped in. I'm like, why is my mic pulling me away? Uh -huh. I haven't clipped my mic in all the way. Uh -huh. There you go. Dude, EJ, that is fantastic. We have a little bit of weird heating on the uh, skippers, the engine, the mains on the shuttle. It looks like two of them are well insulated, and one of them... Yeah, it was, it was well, that way earlier, Well, the too. one on top is actually connected onto the node of the... Uh, oh, so yeah. it's conducting all of its heat into that big fuel tank in front of it. The other two are attached to the uh, structural nose cone things with yes. the nose cone attached to it. Or we could just we could put them all on in the same way so they glow evenly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like the shuttle flies beautifully now, so I'm concerned about the fashion of the shuttle main engines glowing. Can you zoom in and show me, Jay? Like, that's what I'm concerned about, the fact that all three of those engine bales. Yeah, look at that. Oh, wow, yeah. The thermal view there. We're already coming up on an Apo 60 now. That's fantastic. That is so cool. All right, you got her? Yep, they're just about out, it looks like. Roger, Sep. Roger, stand by for cutoff and Sep. 
You can tell EJ's done a couple shuttle launches, huh? Just a few, huh? That is so cool. Oh, I, did you turn your mic off? Yeah, my mic was muted. Sorry. There we go. Oh, there we go. All right, those things bye -bye. are all later nerds. That is later nerds. Nerd confirmed. See we are nerds. still. Look at this. This is so nice. And now I'm using, I'm using the fuel flow here. Look, our fuel. Uh, uh, the last two fuel tanks are just these two right here. Yeah, he's They're good. Right in the center of mass. For that the is center of fantastic. Line. Yep. Yep. I love it. And yes, the shuttle did fly upside down to keep. Uh, <laughs> oh no! Oh, yeah. I wonder what's in that ferry. I, I have no. In there. I don't know what you're talking about, man. <laughs> it's, just oh, waving. There. it's just waving to the viewers. That's know. all it's doing, right? <laughs> you e. might need some some struts to hide your shame. There's a new emote, ET wave. <laughs> ET wave, nice. That is so cool. Look at that. The Apple's 106 now. Nice. So now, I mean, because you got to remember, because the, the shuttle's center thrust is pointing this way, uh -huh. that if, if you're tilting the nose of the orbiter down, negative 15, uh, relative to the horizon angle of attack, you're actually boosting straight. Mm -hmm. you're, you're boosting pretty much on prograde right now. <laughs> the wobbly nose cone is hilarious. <laughs> 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 You're right. So you could actually put like a probe core or something along the yep. center of thrust and control from there, and mm -hmm. then it would, when you're pointing, you would be thrusting in the way you're pointing, as opposed to now you're not exactly. going. Exactly. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. And yeah. in this case, because we offset the engines 10 uh -huh. degrees, it would be There's a 10 degree 300, offset. 300, by the way. That Apo. is so cool. Wow, we're leaving. There's coming up on 400. Yeah, Apple's kind of high. Peri that's main engine cut because yeah, the periapsis is at 21. We're in a really, really high orbit, so uh -huh. let, me, let me flip this thing around. This is this is like Hubble Space Telescope orbit, which I guess I suppose it Well, there, suppose I guess perfect. that makes sense. Yes, it would be Hubble Space Telescope orbit. Hubble You're right. 25 exhibit here. All right, so that is so cool. Okay. All right, you got your OMS fuel. Yep. Okay, we're good. Go for SEP. I say OMS. It's it. actually OMS. Ohms. You could say either one. Yeah, they're the same, but if you want to be a cool kid, it's You ohms. say OMS, well, so apparently. <laughs> why are we getting overheat over there all of a sudden, Dosh? Uh, because it's transmitting the fuel into those structural parts that those two are attached to. Okay. It's just a conduction thing. It'll even out. All right, cool. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Yeah, it's just the heat of the engine soaking into the structural parts that we use to attach those engines like that. So we have a really that's wow. fantastic. Yeah, we're really high wow. up there. We could we could use this to deploy a Hubble Space Telescope. We could, and I think if we can get this working, we might have time to. And I love the fact. I mean, I know guys, we had a lot of shuttle explosions that occurred, and I love the fact that we were able to like do that and see kind of like what was going wrong. We know what we used in real life, right? Oh, yeah. The big gimbals on the eighty percent of the thrust. We add that in, and the first time we add it in, it's like, boom, orbit. Oh, You're yeah, good to go. absolutely. I mean, it's, that it's is really so cool. In order to really design good crafts and Kerbal, mm -hmm. I, I, at least in my rule of thumb, is understanding how the actual craft works and then trying to find a way to replicate that in Kerbal. In Kerbal, But that yeah. requires a, a fundamental understanding of how actual ships fly and how ships fly in Kerbal, yeah. too. <laughs> or you, how they don't fly in Kerbal sometimes. Yeah. Or, yeah, lack thereof, <laughs> uh, if you'll excuse me. You know, that is so there. cool, though. All right, so no OMS one is required here uh, because we have a very high established AP. Right. Uh, did you you set this to one to shut? Yep. Okay. So and two will shut. Now those need to be reaction groups. It looks like, but those don't have any fuel access. There's no fuel lines going from the OMS pods down yep. to the mains. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I always power them. Yeah, down yeah, yeah. No worries. So I, think I we can replace show them people something. what engines I have activated uh -huh. and what I don't. So now the OMS pods, guys, the little bumps, put put them EJ. The OMS pods up at the top. Those are the orbital maneuvering systems. Yep. That's what the shuttle actually uses to, I'm going to say fly around, right? Clearly it's not fly around. You say maneuver. But yeah, to maneuver itself. Well, to That's maneuver when it's in orbit. Yep. It's the system it uses to maneuver Basically when to it's in orbit. Change its inclination, you know, to change its orbit and get itself where it needs to go. We can deploy a Hubble Space Telescope with this. I think we can. And yeah, we have 18, we have 18 tons of fuel in the payload That's, bay. Remember that. We, we do. We have half yeah. an orange tank in the payload there bay. There you go. That is fantastic. Yep. Wait, could we dock it with the KSS? We Absolutely. Oh, yeah, We have plenty easily. of fuel to do that. I don't know if we're in the right phasing, but we could definitely get there. Well, we've got, if we circularize this higher AP. What's, what's your station at? Station's at 85 to 87. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're kind of close. Uh, so I can lower my ohms to burn right here. And lower that P down here to, no. There's 107. Yeah, that's 107. We got to yeah, go. Set the station as the target. Yeah, that probably. Oh, yeah, see that. where it is. And since you're so far behind it, you're not going to catch it this time around, but you may get into like a phased orbit where so on I the next orbit or the next orbit you get close. Yeah, I think I, I want to keep this keep this a little bit higher. Yep. 
you know, if that's the case, I'll just get it around like 150, and then I'll, I'll retro burn because we have plenty of fuel because we're yeah, not yeah. we're not delivering oh, yeah. payloads. We're not so using a lot. Yeah. Yeah, we have we have plenty. We can we have. We a can lot always of room to cannibalize work our here. payloads yep. for the sake of testing the uh, PMA2, I believe. <laughs> On there the station go, yeah, to make exactly. sure that we can actually dock with the station on PMA2. And the inclination okay. is only 0.5 off, too, so it's a pretty straight launch. In the That's fantastic. And That's so cool. And yeah. once again, uh, when you're using the orbital maneuvering system, you got to remember that they're in line to line up with the shuttle center uh -huh. of mass, so they're actually tilted down. So whenever you, if you have, if you're using the orbital maneuvering system, you have to point your shuttle nose up 10 degrees, because we remember when yep, we built yep, it, yep. we angled them. We angled them. That's right. And again, that's why the probe core would be a good idea in there. Absolutely. So you can yes. control from the angle of the engines, not the angle of the uh, cockpit. Very smart. All right. Sentinel okay. mod install. Yes, we do have the Sentinel mod install, yeah. and I think we will use it on the Hubble. Deliver Mike Massimino to the Hubble. That's exactly right. Eight hours right. late. Yeah. yeah. Eight hours or so late. By the way, Thanks. we're in space. Kay Harlan. We're there. Dude, what's two. up? I know Kay Harlan. <laughs> How's it All going? right. So what I like to do is I like to <laughs> inactivate the flight control surfaces because right? they don't they don't do anything they up don't here. They don't do anything up there's here. There's no atmosphere. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah. no yeah. air up here. And we there. can make an action group to toggle. No, you can't actually. You can't. You, you can't have actually. to do it. You yep. have to do it manually. Squad, please. Squad. I beg of you. I'm not going to do the squad <laughs> thing. I beg. Everything that I can get from a right click, please let me do it in an action group. Please, please. That would be so nice. He's asking nice. I'm he, asking he very did. nicely. He did. You don't so want me to ask meanly. I'll look. I'll look at you. I'll look at your squad. <laughs> Just do the like, pouty face. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty please. Okay. Oh, so Ohms two is okay. We uh, have opened up the payload bay doors. Payload bay is exposed. Excellent. We're good. So we can even get a little bit, a little fancy here, uh, if we transfer by. Ah. Oh, oh yeah. Use the trick I showed you. Yeah. 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 Oh no. We redid it. Yeah, that's right. Can oh, we? Yeah. Can we don't look have out the IV. No, it'll look into the part in front of it. Yeah, oh, darn. Oh. Oh. See, because that one actually gives you a uh, it gives you a hatch you can exit that yeah, way yeah, yeah, and the yeah. IVA. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah, so I'll put him back onto the yeah. flight deck. Yeah, I'll back up to the flight deck. Okay. All right, so there you go. The Enterprise is in orbit here. Sweet. Woo. All right, so now I'm going to go over here. I'm going to do a little bit of a retro burn and get us circular relative to the station. So. That'll make that'll there make uh, trying to dock with yep. it a lot easier. The rendezvous a lot easier oh. to plan, and also probably be wise. Can we see our ascending and descending nodes relative here? Uh, now we shouldn't need it. Um, I think I had I it turned off, but you could turn it on. Oh, okay, no, no worries. No or worries. just set it as the target. Um, if the station set as the target, yeah, it should draw it on the orbit, right? Yeah, I thought I thought I already. Did oh my it. gosh, that Kerbal's still floating around outside the station. What? That's a problem. There's Whoops. a Kerbal floating outside the station for the oh, entire... Oh, yeah, when we were showing mass. ...the past 20 shuttle launches. Uh, <laughs> whoops. Uh, Easy. yes. Okay, so we're going to do Ohms 3 here. Ohms 3 will be a retro burn for circularizing at about 100. <coughs> All right, here we go. It's really the Constitution. Uh, <laughs> With a K, uh, nice for Lord. I see, what, oh. I see what you did there. Ah, uh, yes. Now, there was a write-in campaign in chat to name a Kent Enterprise. There's a write-in campaign in chat. <laughs> Are we good? Yeah, yeah. You can see the Ohm's engines later on Enterprise. When we go full screen next time, you'll see them. And we've actually opened the uh, cargo bay as well. Yeah. Yes, Hal. The radiators, because it exactly. functions as a radiator. And it does that in KSP as well. And you can see our engines have uh, equalized the temperature as well. Yeah, absolutely. Now, how many parts is um, the station, Dos? Uh, station clocks in. It's got two Soyuzes there. Um, oh, oh. Soyuzes? Soyuzai? Soyuzes, sure. Uh, so it's probably up to 400 now. Okay. Oh, we may want to kick of some parts. of those Soyuzes off um, while just, we're around it'd there. It'd be just like home for me. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know? the aim's going to go really slow. And right now, just with the shuttle, we're running at, well, we're in time warp. When we come out of time warp, I'll check. It's, we're, it's Close to nominal frames, I mean. Yeah, we're at 94. Yeah, 100% yeah, physics right now. So the computer is able to to do this at full speed, basically. Yep, the ascending node. You're going to want to angry triangle hey. until it flips Whoop, like that. Excellent. Yep, exactly. And if you hover over the DN, it'll be zero. And I'm not saying that for EJ's benefit. I'm saying that for Chat's benefit. Oh, absolutely. Yep. So if you hover that over and show him yep. what he's doing, he's fixing the inclination right now, right? Yep. So we've got two orbits. 
that are certain, you know, they're, they're roundish. And Zero they were inclined, so one of them was actually tilted relative to the other one. Can you all see that? You, this is like two orbits, both my hands. One of them was tilted, and the maneuver that he's plotting is going to bring both those orbits so they're coplanar. They're not tilted relative to each other. We use that whenever we rendezvous with the station because we don't want to be coming across it at an angle. We want to be in coplanar orbits when we approach it. So that's what he's fixing right now. On orbit plane changes, plane changes also, it's good to note that they require the most amount of delta they V do. out of any of the yep. maneuvers. Especially in LKO. Oh yeah. oh yeah, absolutely. Because you're trying to negate a tangent velocity uh -huh. going forward at 2.17. Uh, 2.2 kilometers a second. Yeah, almost. exactly. Meters per second, And sorry. You're, just, yeah. you're trying to turn. Bringing in 100,000 meters <clears throat> costs about as much to change. Mm -hmm. That's 0.5 degrees of inclination. I mean, even the space shuttle itself, it could not do an on-orbit plane change more than three degrees of inclination. Really? That's it. That's how accurate that Jeez. flight astronaut had to yeah. be. <laughs> I do, you know something? I do I do like it. Goku, um, I actually really like this because EJ is taking care of flying it and I can explain kind of like what's going on. Like, it's really cool. And I can sit here and smile pretty. Hey, uh, <laughs> sorry, I saw someone asking in the chat, what's behind us? Uh, <laughs> well, What's there's a us? Soyuz capsule, oh, uh, there's man. a bunch of people, and oh yes, there's the Space Shuttle Enterprise, the Space Shuttle that NASA used to test approach and landing tests. So basically, they would drop it off the back of a 747 and make sure and test how the shuttle landed, uh -huh. which we're going to be doing soon, but without the, you Look know, this. airplane. Fantastic. All right. All right, so now, I mean, it, you know, we're, we're all limited by time warp here, so we might want to go to the Space Center after... Hitting F5 for safety. It's actually coming up pretty quickly um, where you're going to want it. All right. So I think yeah. in maybe two or three orbits, the station, which well, it's is what? Catch up. We, we would ideally want it probably somewhere right in this area. Well, not in front of us uh, because oh, yeah. it's behind yeah, us. Yeah, that's right. I'm thinking yeah. going higher. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Double so click on the planet right quick. It's really easy to see the station catching up if you focus on Kerbin. And so we see the station there, and it's on the inside track. It's got a higher velocity, and it's catching up to the state to the uh, shuttle, which is the little orbiter, the little pod in the outside blue line. And it is catching up to us pretty quickly. You can see the the. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah we'll be station. fine. Yeah, see, we're almost down to an eighth of an orbit now. And that's, I mean, look at, I mean, these these mm -hmm. in terms of altitude, these aren't that far apart from each other. Mm -hmm. They're twenty kilometers away, and look at how look at how much that drastically changes your yep. orbit. The bigger the differential in the orbital heights, the more different, the more different, um, the greater the difference in orbital periods will be. So one will catch up with the other more quickly. Exactly. If they're really close, like if one was like 85 and the other one was like 87, it would take forever. It would take tons of orbits for them to catch up with each other just because their orbital velocities would be so close. Bam. Uh, oh, look at that. We're close. We need to... Can you drag this? it? Yeah. Look at that. There we go. Fantastic. Ooh. Sweet. Now, ideally, in real life, you want the shuttle to kind of go in front Come of the Come up in front of it, that's and then exactly right. And circularize its orbit in front of the station yep. and then go backwards to yep. it. Really Soyuz does the same thing. Ask me how I know. How do you know? Smarter Every Day's video. Oh, that's uh -huh. the uh -huh. yeah, video it. where we're Smarter Every Day talked about the Soyuz trajectory and kind of the flight plat that takes up to the International Space Station. And it'll come in in front of it by a couple kilometers and slow down and let the station catch up it's with good it. good stuff, man. It's really I, cool. I, I, I actually myself have learned a lot from his videos. I love oh, this yeah, every day stuff. They're Seriously. amazing. Isn't he in the, in, he's in the industry, isn't he? Uh, he in he the build, industry. He builds rockets. That's like his job, I, I thought. I thought he was smarter every day. Yeah. I, I thought it was just YouTube <laughs> stuff. Amazing. I, okay, maybe he's like a mechanical engineer or something. I maybe think some, he is. Maybe yeah, someone yeah, in the yeah, chat no, can help is. us out. Yeah, yeah, But yeah, no, he he's awesome. Excellent. That guy is great. Destin, yeah, Destin. Okay, there we go. Yes. Okay, Destin. Yeah, he's great. Like I haven't met him in person, so I don't know if I can call him Destin. Like he's smarter every day until you shake his hand, and then it's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah Destin. There you yeah. Go. Like you know, me and Elon. I call him Elon because we hang out all the time. So. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah. You had him over for Domino's the other night. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Hang <laughs> <laughs> out. We don't endorse like Domino's. Canasta. Maybe he does. <laughs> I'm not sure. I thought you meant the game. I was gonna say he's more of a canasta oh, type guy, man. but yeah. A canasta type. <laughs> <laughs> And you do have enough delta V to execute that maneuver. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. You may have to replenish the Ohm's pods uh, to arrive at the station. Out. Standing. Here we go. We can, there you go. Yeah. Mechanical engineer, there you go. And his father, wait, his father worked on Apollo? I didn't actually know that. Yeah, All right, he did. That's really awesome. Oh, that's yeah, cool. he said it in a couple of his videos. That's how I know. That's cool. How's your encounter looking? 
Uh, four point eight. That's that's fine. Yeah, that's the really point four good. on the other side. Yeah. yeah. All right. So I'm going to quick save here. I bet you the first one is where you kind of approach, and then the station catches up with you almost. Yeah. Exactly. Is that a lightning storm going on? Yeah, no, that's my new lightning mod. Nice. I installed it the other day. <laughs> I was like, it looks through the, through the power of graphics artifacts, it generates <laughs> lightning storms <laughs> on Kerbin. Yeah, so we haven't even touched the. Yeah, we haven't. 41 meters per second. I, you're going to be actually really close, but since we have the Veer Governors, um, I don't think we're going to have enough to actually get uh, up yeah, to the I'm station gonna, there. There you go. Oh, I'm a little behind it. Yeah, look at that. 41 meters per second, and the target relative velocity is 45. Remember, you're pointing the wrong way to slow down as well. So. Yep. Oh, yeah. Remember, Eddie calls F5 yep. for safety. Oh, yeah, F5 for safety. Absolutely. That's not the shirt I have one today. Yeah. There you go. Somebody's going to have to rescue that Kerbal at some point, too. Oh, yeah. Well, Hammer I think, I believe... Wait. Uh-oh. Yep. Oh, physics uh, loading. Chug, 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 chug. Oh, there it's we go. It's still not bad. Look at this. It's running at 57% of physics. That's probably faster than you're used to. If we took a Soyuz away, I yeah, bet you'd, you'd run at like 80%. Yeah. I've got two Soyuz docked because we illustrated the docking with uh, Greg Olson. Worth it to show an astronaut. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm just going to fill these up a little bit here. EJ is not going to know what to do. He's going to dock a space station not in slideshow mode. I know, seriously. <laughs> at more than three frames. <laughs> hey, hey where's, where's your robotic arms, guys? <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah, we use something that doesn't break. You probably don't want me to go there because I was building the robotic arms as part of the uh, fuel arrays. Um, you, you when I first them. started streaming, oh, awesome. I had a Kraken arm that would actually nice. connect uh, to different docking ports at different height crafts. That's awesome. <laughs> and it yep. was the same sort of thing where it would unfold and rotate around in different things yeah, and it was clipped in with the little, uh, <laughs> the little octags. We're still working out the kinks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, mine, was only, mine was only one joint. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah, so yeah, it yeah. would have like a thing clipped in and it could rotate around one joint to accommodate different docking port hard parts ah, okay. on yeah, a yeah, base. Yeah, yeah that had craft coming up, like rovers coming up to it to refuel, and it could accommodate different rovers yeah, yeah, with yeah, like yeah, a little yeah. miniature sort of Kraken arm. Absolutely. No, no, nice. I get it, yeah. I actually would like to do something like that with resource system of moving uh -huh. fuel off racks and stuff like that. Uh -huh. So now we're up to the station. We've got plenty of Delta V left. And now the Veer Governors will, oh, well, we should have understood that. The Veer Governors will pull from the payload bay just by unlocking the tank. Exactly. Uh-huh. Uh, the name of the mod. Okay, make one be the name of the mod um, that shows you the physics lag is the, is it Turbo Cats, Kerbo Cats? It doesn't actually say, but it's a little cat icon up there. Cur I believe it's Kerbo Cats, and Kerbo Cats has a bunch of little, like, utility mod sort of stuff. So say, make one be, thank you for repeating that. I saw it earlier, and then I got pushed off. If only there was some way to turn off the info you didn't want in Kerr. Big pets, do you know how to do that? That's really easy to do, honestly. Um, after EJ gets docs, if y'all remind me, you can totally edit. That's what I did when I started my hard mode career. Um, I used Kerbal Engineer, but I edited out the information that the tracking station wasn't giving me. So until I had updated the tracking station to give me more information, I disabled it in Engineer so I couldn't see ah, it. So I could play hardcore. along like hardcore mode, not cheaty Kerbal Engineer giving yeah. me information that I wouldn't have from my current Whoa. level of tracking there it is. station. Physics time ratio viewer. Physics time ratio viewer. Thank you. Guys, thank Bye you for getting cats. that. Bamboo, E-Chops, I appreciate it, man. So now, when you're in, ideally with the space shuttle and any spacecraft, you don't want to use your main engines when you're near the station because that could have debris, yeah, you could yeah, have stuff yeah. going towards the station, you could hit the solar panels, and we all know that that's not a good thing. Right. So um, a lot of the time the crafts just use straight RCS yep. to get closer to the station. Uh -huh. And we're, we're 550 meters away, so we really don't need the, the orbital maneuvering that's system. That's fantastic, yeah. you know? dude. And then even when it gets even closer, it does even less. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because the RCS would even be too much to, you know, accidentally blast the station with all yep. the thrust. Yeah. And uh, PMA-2 is going to be on the right-hand side of the station from this view. So you might want to make sure you fly into yeah, the right-hand yeah. side. Or what's the roll thing this shuttle does? Roll pitch The rendezvous maneuver. pitch maneuver. The yeah, rendezvous pitch yeah, maneuver. RPM, the rendezvous yeah, pitch yeah, maneuver. Yeah, you got okay. it right. That started after the Columbia disaster. What they did is they would flip the shuttle 360 degrees on its stomach and then over again. Right. Uh, while the people on board the station took pictures to see if there was any tile damage. Uh -huh. Then after it did the flip, it would straighten itself out, basically burn forward 90 degrees up, and then go in. Gotcha. So they could actually inspect the space shuttle... Um, from the space station to see if there was yep. any damage that occurred while they were uh, yeah. during the launch and during the orbital sort of phase, I guess, yeah, the they, launch phase. They would take, ex yeah, exactly. I was going to say, they used the 4K cameras before 4K was cool. 
that's cool. I didn't know that. Yeah, if you ever go into uh, you know Google Space Shuttle images and you see those really close ones with the Earth in the background of like the wings warped or anything yeah. like that, that's from the rendezvous pitch maneuver. As beautiful as they look, they were really to check the. Whoa, tiles. whoa, speed limit. Oh, <laughs> just time warp, my man. Just time warp. Just time warp. <laughs> Just time uh, more things. Please mine the solar arrays. <laughs> oh, believe me, They're I expensive. know. Oh, so the question yeah, here, yeah, guys, you, um, you can see PMA2. EJ, can you point at PMA2? Right there. That's right. This is where we need the John Madden thing set up. Yes, the So, like, one person can be like, yeah, we've got that. I've got a touchscreen thing over here, but with the one streaming computer set up, it, it doesn't work. I've, I've kind of got it working with a two streaming PC at home. So but we're essentially going to take this docking port right here and dock with PMA2 right there. Uh -huh. Shuttle's going to be facing, <laughs> ideally facing straight up, uh, facing towards the zenith of yeah. the station, which is up here. I mean, it's, it's this way up here. <laughs> hyper, hyper Dr. Pepper powered edutainment. <laughs> what? I like that one, though, Tilly, that is good. Look, uh, I gotta keep you listening. And by the way, they don't do if they don't use the RCS, they use something called low Z thrust, which is using the thrusters they have on the orbiter just in a very limited capacity. They're exactly. actually they're switching from from burners to the monopropellant yes. system when they use low Z. Exactly. Shuttles equipped with burners and monopropellant, and that's they all use the sweet. same fuel source, which is just like that. That's what messes with my head. I'm like, wait a minute, what? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But instead of big long bursts like you see there, it does short tiny thrust, so if it does hit the station, it's not anything prolonged or hot or throwing, you know, exhaust of hypergolic fuels at the station. Do you want to kill Kerbal Engineer so we can see the station too? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, backslash, Sawyer, can you grab it? Yeah, you got it. He's got it. There you go. All right, so we're, we're lined up. I'm just the tech yeah, insight and esports well commentary. <laughs> 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 I love it, guys. I'm having way too much fun with this. That kid's not, though. <laughs> he doesn't understand how awesome Kerbal yeah. is yet. I really want to, like, before we send uh, the shuttle home, I really want to take a Soyuz away and see the total part count between the shuttle, a Soyuz, and the uh, station. Well, once I dock it, man, I'll, I'll hand the we controls can over to you. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good luck on landing. We can uh, go uh, ahead and do a deorbit for the Soyuz and uh, get these parts out of here. Oh, yeah. Well, I can say for the landing of the shuttle, it's going to be a whole lot of F5-ing and maybe some F9-ing. Yeah. Don't say that. No, it's going to be good. It's just, it's a matter of finding the right trajectory. It's not like... 30 degrees plus angle of attack, RCS enabled until 27 kilometers. That's what Colin's real Boom, Octag. profile is. Boom, Octag! <laughs> Rest in peace, headphone users. It's like, you think you know what's happening, and then all of a sudden, Octag strikes. The scary, the scary door. <laughs> Sorry, guys. The scary door. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so a rel uh, relative Put velocity... Put a Soyuz actually. inside the shuttle to the orbit. <laughs> With all that fuel, I'm not mm -hmm. sure that's a wise decision. All right. And it looks, man, I hope we have clearance uh, with the PMA over there. It looks like we should. So I hope it can dock in the proper orientation. But this is the first time, guys, I built the KISS with the intention of bringing a shuttle up to it at one point. And this is the first shuttle that's visited the Kerbal ISS here. Yep. So we may uh -huh. have some learning to do. Uh, the engineering drawings were lost, and we're not sure if uh, <laughs> if it's actually going to be able to dock at PMA2 over there. All right. And so I feel like we need, like, do 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 Everyone's saying the interstellar docking music. The interstellar mm -hmm. docking. Rip Spin bar. around. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. Right, Are so we doing like good need, there? It looks like I need to go up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So I'm trying to fly at an angle that would be nice for the viewers to see. Yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. not not, uh, not easy. But I've, I've, I've done this a good deal of time. So So you're using just RCS for this right now? Yep. Just straight RCS. Uh, once I get pretty lined up, I'll switch it to low Z, and that's mm when I'll move in. And for the low Z, you're going to use? Cool. Caps lock. All right. You hit caps lock, you can get fine controls in Kerbal. The cool thing about the caps lock controls, too, is that it actually centers... Yeah. <laughs> no, no, this isn't about that life. <laughs> Keep going. Sorry. No. It, it, is, it can be useful. The, no, the cool thing about caps lock controls is that it... Um, Not. <clears throat> it, <laughs> it will center your thrust around your center of mass, so the, the, the RCS will actually change thrust to account for the center of mass account of your for vehicle. The center mass, yeah. So if you have a vehicle with asymmetric RCS or you have to... Or you're forced to put an RCS in a certain place, like the shuttle's design. Yeah. You it'll it'll take into that that into account. Mm-hmm. I mean, look at this, EJ. Have a look at that PMA. Um, uh. Cause it's got a slope, 
And I just hope it's got enough clearance. Yeah, that was my concern in the you'll be we were right. building yesterday. It looks like it it's going to be so close. You'll, you'll well, the right. actual shuttle, it is really close in the docking. Yeah. If you look out that back window, all you can see when you dock is PMA. Really? Yeah. Okay. It's kind of cool. Can you point at PMA for the viewers? It's this So that guy, right, right there is the pressurized, is the pressurized mating adapter. Sorry, yeah, Sawyer. Oh, no, it's fine. The pressurized mating adapter. There's three of them on board the International Space Station. Correct. And those are universal docking ports, but mainly used by the shuttle. And yeah. universal mainly for, like, you know, uh, non-Russian spacecraft. Wasn't that one of the things they were taking up uh, on Sierra 7? Uh, uh, they were taking not up Not PMAs, but new, not, new docking adapters, They were right? taking up an adapter for the pressurized right. mating adapter called the International Docking Adapter, right. which would be able to accept uh, Dragon 2s and CST-100s. Yep, yep, yep. yep. So that's one of the things that was lost in the payload of Sierra 7. And those are both the new commercial manned vehicles scheduled to launch in 2017. Mm-hmm. All right, Das, just a, a quick uh, note here. Yep. Uh, I ran out of fuel in the ohms pods. I've activated the payload's fuel. Oh, that's cool. Um, just when you go to re-enter, just make sure you take that into account. I'm re-entering, you're re-entering. You're the shuttle driver. I thought I'll you said that you were going to hand over controls to you. Oh, all right. No, I'll do the Soyuz, dude. You, this is your shuttle. Okay. And, okay. Uh, yeah, man, I'll absolutely. do the telestrating, which you can't even see on screen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Universal meaning non-Russian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no oh, comment. <laughs> the IDA, the IDA says empty shell. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, we're a little off center. 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 There goes a little bit of a roll. You're approaching it at a half meter per second. Yeah, slowing it down. Nice there. and easy. There you Good. go. Good. All right. It, sorry, it's from a uh, Space Shuttle Mission 07. If you don't know what that's from. There we go. So we gotta go up a little bit. Yeah, you rotated too. Do you want to? Do you want to control from the docking port and? Uh, I I don't like doing that. I, okay, you don't like that. I actually just use it. It's like. Okay, so you know you have your dorsal battery to yeah. get orientation. Yeah. My mind is just forced on the in shuttle. shuttle's orientation. I got you, dude. I if totally got you. If I try to use the docking adapter, I'll get confused. Yeah. And I've also got a nav hood. Have you ever used nav hood? Yeah. Nav hood helps you get aligned. I use the docking port alignment mod. Which oh, yeah? Is exactly like the real shuttle's uh, docking port indicator. Uh, almost identical there to you the one go. that they use All when right. they're docking. All right, tap it in. Just tap it in. Just tap, 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 just tap give it. it a little tappy. Go to your home. <laughs> Are you too good for your home? <laughs> Answer me. <laughs> All right. Boy, this is a close. One. It is a. It's very gonna be tight so fit. close. That's a tight fit. It's gonna be so close. It's almost like the PMAs need to be a little bit longer. We don't have the parts in Kerbal Space Program to replicate the actual like slope of the PMAs. No, nah, you'd have so. to you have the gizmo parts to make it look right. And oh, but I think it's gonna work. Look at this. Look. We have magnetization we on the ports. We're a oh, wait, shy. wait, 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 a little oh, shy. What's All right, top? that's okay. Very strong. Wait, wrong, For wrong segment. I think you <laughs> rotate a little bit, honestly. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm yeah. gonna try to rotate it while it's magnetized. It'll dock. Shut down all the systems, just let it dock. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say, that's, that's off sometimes works. There you go. That looks good. Come on, you. Can you zoom in? Is it going to be able to get flat? Uh, I'm going to turn on. Oh. I'm going to turn the systems on again. Yeah. Just so I can get us lined up right. Come on, you. Come oh. on, station. Welcome to my life. This is this is my life. And, and I that lag usually is a good thing. Come on. Look at it from the side and make sure it's not impacting. Oh, that looks so it's close. It's so close. Yeah. Oh. Come on, you. It's oh, you just, yeah, you just need to pitch. Yeah. yeah, you just need to pitch. You're good. There you go. Nice. Nice. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm making a fool of myself right nah, now. No, it's all good. Nah, there's no one watching. It's fine. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> you got it. There you Yeah, there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hey. ah, dude, high five. All right. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that worked. Uh, that looks legit. That is too legit to quit. <laughs> is that scale looking correct? Yeah. Can, uh, can somebody in it's chat? It's a little big, but... It's maybe the shuttle's a little bit big. 
compared uh, to the station. It is compared no, to the modules. How is football field wise? Because imagine each of those modules would well, fit inside the... Well, the modules have to the, fit inside the bay, and yeah. And it took a... Um, I know Col uh, Columbus took up a large portion of the pale bay uh -huh. as well as Kibo was brought up in three missions. Oh, it was? Yes. Well, it has the top part, it has the Kibo right. part, and there's, then it has the exposed facility. Right, there's gem, there's the pressurized, and then there's the exposed facility. Yeah, 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 the exposed facility, thank you. That so looks fantastic. Now here, get that Soyuz down, buddy. Dude, yeah, that, buddy. chat, chat, put some hype in chat for EJ. That is amazing, dude. And I love the fact that like the first launch out, it's like boom, shuttle works. Pretty like we yeah, get those finally. gimbals on there, we get rid of the arrow nonsense, and yeah. it's just like bam, yeah, gimbal, as if he's done work. a million missions. We should have some. Not far from the truth. We should celebrate. Celebrate with space. Ice we should cream. honestly celebrate here. Celebrate, Benro. Yes. You, want some, you don't want some astronaut ice cream? Go oh, for it. We're cracking open so, the astronaut ice cream. Sawyer brought us some uh, some astronaut ice cream. Neapolitan flavor. <laughs> Neapolitan astronaut ice cream. And um, it's surprisingly delicious. I will totally. I love it. I had I had this for lunch one day just because. Can you buy it here? Yes, you uh, can yeah, buy it yeah. here. You can buy it in the gift shop here too. I brought it in from home, but yes. Oh man, that is sweet. Look at all the cups. I love the cups. There's the budget yeah, cups. The budget the cups. cups. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love oh. it. Toast your budget cups. Toast. Toast. Cups. Don't be throwing Wait. gang signs on my stream. <laughs> <laughs> What's the deal here, budget guys? Budget cup gang sign. The there budget you go. cup gang signs. Let me see what I get. When's the last time you've had astronaut ice cream, Dust? Never. Or when I was a little kid, I probably tried it. He did. I yeah. was having some the other night together. But we got to see Dust try his first astronaut ice cream in forever. All right. Let me see here. It's kind of like uh, <laughs> Yes, hold it up to the camera. Marshmallowy. Hang on. Let's go full screen and see if we can do this. Just a second. Um, I have the mouse again. All right, so we've got some Neapolitan astronaut ice cream. I don't know mm -hmm. if you guys can see that. We got three flavors. We got chocolate, vanilla, and it's strawberry. It's almost like marshmallows, dude. Van Roden, here, get you a piece. It's all like cracked up. I don't know you if want you guys some? See, there's the chocolate. Huh? No, it's not cold. It's dehydrated. No, it's it, it actually, if you listen to it, <laughs> hang on, let me. Yeah. <laughs> you can hear it crunch, crunchy ice cream. Got it. Thanks, man. But when it actually mixes with the saliva in your mouth, it rehydrates and it's delicious. You're not exactly selling me on the idea. What's it like? Mm -hmm. Really? <laughs> it's surprisingly good. All right, time out, time out. Let's see what we got here. Got right oh next to the mic. <laughs> I like mouth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like biting in a cardboard, but then it gets soft. Mm. Oh, no. Almost Black. styrofoam. Post it up. Mm. It is. It's like eating tasty styrofoam. It really isn't it delicious though, <laughs> surprisingly. Eating tasty styrofoam. Weird texture, but I should go give some to that kid. <laughs> okay, that was chocolate. Let me try the uh, strawberry part here. Strawberry is my favorite. Man, it gets stuck in your teeth. Mm -hmm. But it's so worth it. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. The Kerbal is three kilometers away. Cardboard also gets soft when you eat it, apparently. <laughs> That's a thing. Cardboard also know? gets soft. Wait a minute. Yeah, how do you know? <laughs> Gav. What Not do you bad. think? Of a Not toast. Bad. A toast to a successful docking. Cheers. And we should honestly pour a little ice cream on the ground for the Kerbals that didn't make it. But we do what we must <laughs> because we can. <laughs> You have no idea what you just started in I'm chat. I'm just saying. I'm on a cardboard-only diet. Nice. Okay, Gav. <laughs> it's Lucky Charms. I like it. Lucky Charms. Except even really worse for you, probably. <laughs> Wait. I wonder what would happen if you put milk on this. Like Ooh. you do with Lucky Charms. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> what about Dr. Pepper? <laughs> Whoa! 23% of my recommended daily allowance of saturated fat. Worth it. Man. So, which, by the way, in the gift shop here, they've got, what do they have? Um, chocolate chocolate chip, mint chocolate chip, ice what? cream sandwich. Um, <laughs> was it cookies and cream or cookie dough? Cookies and cream. Cookies and cream. No vitamin C. Man. But I can actually read this. But 100% of your daily awesome. Freeze drying or lyophilization? We'll go with that. Removes water from the ice cream by lowering the air pressure to a point where ice shifts from a solid to a gas. The ice cream is placed in a vacuum chamber and frozen until the water crystallizes. The air pressure is lowered, creating a vacuum, forcing air out of the chamber. Next, heat is applied, vaporizing the ice. Finally, a freezing coil traps the vaporized water. This process continues for hours, resulting in a perfect freeze-dried ice cream slice. That's good. Ain't no Klondike bar, but I'll eat it. <laughs> oh, okay, there you go. 
Uh, All right. Yeah, well, never read the back of food packaging, right? <laughs> yeah, that's when you find out how you get the strawberry color. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't want to see. I don't want to see why the uh, <laughs> strawberry coloring. Um, you read the bag. Upside down. Nope. Yeah, Goku's uh, War, They're turned off for the stream. Around. One um, more. There you go. There. Don't. Yeah, you gotta read them just like this. My tablecloth. Of course. Wait, just what? like that. Just like that. It's right side up. Oh, because of the. Because <laughs> you're in space. There is no right side up. So, always are right side up. <laughs> Seriously. Back to our chocolate. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, regulating, we know. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. Eats pizza every stream is concerned about the nutrition facts of space food. I was just trying to pass that information on to you, the viewers. Good point. So you would He's know it's point. actually in astronaut ice cream. Guys, I've been like tearing my way through a bag of Starburst here, so. What? You've been holding that <laughs> on, man. I offered you some earlier. Wait, and no, then you, you went didn't. to see the astronaut, so I kept it for myself. Um. Oh, that does <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Oh. Fine, I'm taking your does, ice cream does it back. it taste no. like victory? Yes, it tastes like victory. It actually tastes fantastic. Mm. Let me read some chat here, guys. Let me see what else is going on in chat. Um, this looks amazing. This looks amazing. So let's see here. We've got this. We've got that. Um, we might need you to step back behind the, oh, the barrier. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Streaming. Thank yes, you. Sorry. Yes, yes, thank you, sir. Uh, All right. Oh, nope. Uh, we are live streaming. Yeah. We're live on the internet yeah, right now, exactly. actually. Um, let's see here. This, the Kerbal is three comes. Oh, man. <laughs> the Kerbal is all over the place, isn't he? Yeah. There we go. Take one away, or free if you work for NASA. Oh, there we go, 3.2. All right, let's switch over to that guy. We'll set him as the target. We'll go to here. There we go. We'll go to rendezvous. F5 for safety now that we're docked. And let's go uh, switch to target. Over to the Kerbal. Kerbal should have enough EVA fuel to get back. If not, well, only we have a shovel. It's only three kilometers away. It's yeah, not it's like only that's three really kilometers. far. It's no big deal. Here's our Kerbal. Oh, man, poor the dude. physics all of a sudden. That poor dude. At, or dudette. Yeah. There we go. What do we got in terms of panel lock? Yeah, I've barely used any. Set that as the target. Go cheat mode with cheat HUD. Mm. Hey, uh, Let's just fly over to it. Yeah. Full screen. Ah, thank you. Full screen. This is why we need a separate production person. All right, just fly over to the ISS. <laughs> there we go. And I'm just flying that way. And let's time warp. 2.9, 2.8, 2.7. There go the cruise ships again. There was two out there, so now they're departing. three, chug, 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 chug. Physics. Yeah, prepare for slideshow. Yeah. Mm. EJ, Sorry, could you grab the barrier for us? Could you put the barrier back the way it's supposed to be? Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Thanks, man. Sorry, I'm enjoying the chocolate too much. There we go. I'm still time warping. 1.6 kilometers. There we go. Keep on time warping. And we, we do kind of look like a museum exhibit. Um, we're just not that interactive as in coming over here. <laughs> there we go. The Kerbal's fine. Oh, you have it. Oh. Wait, what? Oh. No, I'm not going to say anything about that on stream. I don't know anything about it. Exactly. I really have no clue. Uh, take a look at EJ. Yeah? Yeah. He's EJ. <laughs> yeah, no, it's... Uh, I'm yeah. flying up here. <laughs> Never Whoa. mind me, I'm just flying to the space station. Is that... Okay, there we go, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, guys, I'm going to actually choose a couple Kerbals, and I'll deorbit them in the Soyuz. Um, it's kind of what's going to come up next here. Well, FI for safety. We still have plenty. We didn't even use a half unit of RCS to do this. Let's slow down. Slow down. Slow down, please. Slow down. Get moved too fast. What? Gotta make this moment. More. Va sorry for muting your VOD there. Slowing down. All right, I think we're good, right? Oh, strawberry. Sorry. Let's go like this. I am way too distracted by ice cream. The who's ice I, cream. Whose idea was this? Who brought this stuff? I don't know. I, yours? Yeah. Wasn't it yours? I think it was yours. That was it. Yeah. So let's yeah, see if we can't get docked <laughs> here. This has the B-16 logos all over it. That's hilarious. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We'll just have this Kerbal climb into here. And I don't, th I don't know that this is... There's not a way to get in. Okay. Whoop. Whatever you want to do, Kerbal. That's all good. Um, just... That's fine, I guess. That works. Good enough for government. Okay, work. good deal. Are we happy now? Um, are we happy? Are we good? Ow. Okay. Now I get it. All right. Um, so I actually wanted to go and deorbit a Soyuz, and we've got a couple Soyuzes parked on the back here. 
uh, when Greg Olson was on yes Friday. the day before yesterday, um, we were demonstrating like a rendezvous and a docking sort of thing while we were talking about his experiences yeah, up at the that's, ISS. Uh, that's his Soyuz capsule. That is his right Soyuz there. capsule. Um, look at this, guys. Seriously, look. Now we have an excellent opportunity here. That that right that right there over on that side is a Soyuz capsule. An actual flown TMA six Soyuz capsule that Greg rode in. Yep, That's he how went up he got back to Earth. He went up in TMA seven, seven, and then came back in six, which is the one you see right back there. Yep, exactly. So that is sweet. So I'm going to try to deorbit one of these Soyuz. We've got our own little Soyuz here, and I want to see how the physics increases. Right now, it says it's running at a 30 percent physics. So basically, one second in the game takes three seconds in real life, roughly. Um, and I'm going to choose a couple Kerbals here. Maybe we'll take our orange suited Kerbals and send them back down. Are there Kerbals in this one or Kerbals in this one? Come There's on. One way to find out. Come on. Where's the hatch? There we go. Okay, there are Kerbals in there. So let's just transfer you up to here. And we'll transfer this Kerbal. Come on. There you go. Transfer you up to here. We'll put you in the Russian segment. Okay. Well, who is this? That one's empty. Right. And there should be one more set of Kerbals over here. There, there we, we go. go. Transfer you over to the... Well, European lab sounds like a good place. Just go sleep in the European lab. Yeah, hey, honestly. Get to do science in your sleep. That's pretty exactly. cool. Exactly. Um, and then we need to choose a couple curveballs. This will make it faster, honestly. Mm -hmm. By the way, if you ever see astronauts sleep, they float like this with their arms out. They like just kind of float. Yeah. Well, that's like if you get into a swimming pool and you just kind of like naturally float. That's kind of like where your arms like go that, with yeah. no gravity pulling it down. That's why they have to literally be strapped into a sleeping bag. Uh huh. We won't take the curveballs from the shuttle down. We will. That's a command pod. Who is this? Dino Man, Zach. Oh, they're already in over there. See? Oh, there we go. Dino Man, Zach. That command pod doesn't have any. So let's just choose somebody to go into here. And we've got, that's the roster. That's not what I want. I want to transfer the crew like this. Come on down this way. Come on down. You are the next window on the screen. <laughs> what? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Price is right. Oh my gosh. There's the command pod. I'll just choose a Kerbal from somewhere. Where are you at? The Hitchhiker. Oh, those are the guys I just put in there, honestly. The orange suits are in the shuttle. I just leave them in the yep. shuttle. Yeah. Out, in, done. There's three Kerbals in our Soyuz now, just like a real Soyuz. And let's see if we can't get this capsule here deorbited. So I'm going to F5 for safety. Before I do it, we got to confirm quick save there. Let's go ahead and make sure the Soyuz has fuel and everything like that, because who knows? Okay, it's got a little there bit of monoprop. That should be enough to do what it needs oh, yeah. to do. We will undock it. Nope. Undock it. Like that. That, that wow, was that weird. Physics. Yeah. That was weird. Uh, we've got Dynaman Zach. Okay, so we're controlling this. We'll use SAS RCS. Back it up some. There, there we, we go. go. And we will see if we can't get out of Dodge. So we have 550 units of monoprop. That's fine. Not a lot of electric charge here. Um, that's interesting. Didn't really pay attention to that before. Oh, wow. We came. Yeah, that's, what is it, 38? Yeah, let's just get away from the station here, though. At least we do have the panel, so even if we have to you know, go in orbit just so we can get power back from uh -huh. the day side. Yeah, we'll be fine. Because normally they will take an orbit or two before they re-enter. It's usually about a six-hour, six to eight-hour ordeal from the time they undock to the there time the Soyuz go. touches down in Kazakhstan. That's a screenshot right there, by the oh, way. Oh, that's gorgeous. With the that shuttle cool. attached. With the shuttle attached. It's the first time we've had a shuttle attached to the ISS. If you've ever seen the pictures of the shuttle attached to the International Space Station, mm -hmm. that was taken during STS-134 when they were moving a Soyuz capsule. Really? They had to move it to a different docking port, so they pulled it away, and they figured while they're moving it away, let's take pictures. So they went back. They went uh, side on, so you could see from the side of the right. panels. Did they ride the Soyuz around, or what? Yes. They took the Soyuz around the ISS and then redocked it. Really? They had to get special permission to do it, but that's how we have pictures of the shuttle at the ISS with the whole station. I did not know that. Those are the only ones we have from STS-134 when they moved that Soyuz. I did not know that. Of course, pictures, this? too. Space Shuttle Endeavor. I honestly... There we go. I'm taking screenshots. This is beautiful. Oh, totally. Um, and I really like the, uh, the sunrise over there. Just Aww. look at that. That's cool. That's cool. This is a video game. I, I, I still can't <laughs> believe that. And we have an ISS with a shuttle docked at it. We've got a Soyuz. We've got a real shuttle behind us. We've got a real Soyuz behind us. 
That's amazing. Yeah. If only we had the ISS in here. Oh, I know. I think there's, yeah, there's pictures of it. Oh, People there's the pictures. Images, yeah. Excellent. Guys, thank you. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, so let's see where we are orbital-wise and bring our overlay back so we can get a little bit of information. We're getting ready to cross this big continent. That means we're nowhere near time for a deorbit. Um, we've got quite a while before we're going to deorbit. We're going to want to deorbit from somewhere right around here. So I'll just put a maneuver here, and we'll go ahead and burn a retrograde burn and see how close we can get the Soyuz to the correct position. Now, the Soyuz can fly itself a little bit in real life. A small amount, yes. It's not got a terribly. little bit of uh, capabilities. It also lands on the land. Yes, it lands it? in it the... It doesn't splash down. It in lands the on the land. desert flats out in uh, Kazakhstan. Uh-huh. So we'll have to see. I'll see if I can hit that continent over there. Or, you know something? We could just land in this desert flat area. It would be nighttime, I guess, but I don't know. What do you think? Uh, we could go for realism and land in the desert. Land in the desert? Why not? All right, let's go. Because the desert's larger and easier for me to hit. Well, there is that, too. Honestly. So since we're doing this live, we have <laughs> no practice. You mean uh, realism. Yeah, realism, exactly. Yeah. I'm just trying it from a realistic perspective. <laughs> uh, yes. So let's just, we'll just orbit around a little bit more. I wanted to put down a maneuver node. Like, right over here. It's going to be like a more sharp, a steeper deorbit burn, I guess. That's probably not good. Let's do a little bit more. If not, there have been ballistic re-entries where it does land, you know, like a few hundred miles away. It's like not quite away. where they anticipated. Yeah, but I they've gotcha. got helicopters and other things that go and rescue them. Wasn't and there, it wasn't a Soyuz, was, what, there was a Russian mission where they like had to spend the night in the capsule in a forest or something, wasn't uh, and there? It was snowing and there was one where they literally went up to someone's house and said, hey, <laughs> We just landed from space. We're just back from space. Uh, one do you have they, a candy bar? There's another one where they had to stay inside the capsule because A, it was freezing outside, and B, there were wolves around their capsule. There were wolves around the capsule? And they capsule? had to wait overnight to be rescued. Oh, my gosh. A lot of these are older, but uh, they still are actual Soyuz missions. And there are even some newer ones that they've had ballistic reentries and they've gone slightly off course, but they haven't had to spend the night. Okay. But they are indeed prepared. They have things inside to be prepared for the freezing cold of Kazakhstan in winter if they do get stuck there. That's insane. Let me clean off the periscope with some uh, RCS here. <laughs> it's nice. a lens cleaner. All right, so this is going to be a little bit of a burn, 170 meters per second. Let's get rid of the rendezvous tab, and let's just go in time warp. It's five minutes out. Four minutes out. Come on. Yeah, we're looking good. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah, and we are, we've are. we got about 45 more minutes in the stream there. There goes the ISS. Ooh. That's fantastic. I wonder if we can get a Hubble up in 45 minutes. I think we might. 50, 40, 30, 16, 10, 11, 10, 9 till the burn, 8. Come on. Oh, we're still in physics range, so it's not counting down in real time like I'm trying to do. 7, 6, 5. I four three. Come on now. Two. So there's so many physics calculations happening right now that the computer uh, is having a little bit of trouble keeping up. So let's get away from the station here. Yeah, and that should get us better performance. Exactly. As soon as we get a uh, 2.3, 2.5 kilometers away from the station, we should be good to go. Is that what, like 400? A uh, part station or so? Uh, with the shuttle up there, we'll actually yeah, go and look. 600 then, yeah, it was. Probably. It should have been somewhere around uh, 400 parts with two Soyuzes. Soyuzai. Soyuzai. And the shuttle's about 200, right? I think so. Yeah, yeah I don't actually remember. Because this is EJ's version, right? Yeah, I think maybe so 150. So it's probably 150 parts in the shuttle and then 100 shuts. <laughs> <laughs> he's Thank not God. here. I Thank shouldn't God do that when he's not stuff, here. Yeah, shuttle. I shouldn't do that when he's not here. Um, anyways, it looks like we've got a good deorbit burn. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to hit the desert. That's important. Hopefully, I don't hit those mountains. It, One way to find out. There are like steps of in there. So. Okay. So let's go ahead. Now we've got a nice f smooth physics load. We'll use our RCS to get flipped around here, and we're going to get rid of the uh, orbital module and the service module so that just the Soyuz capsule itself can uh, deorbit. So I'm going to F5 for safety, just in case I'm messing this up. Uh, make sure the staging is correct. And if you've never seen the Soyuz before, this is actually how the, the Soyuz in real life separates. The top part's going to come off and the bottom part's going to come off. Watch this. If I have again, three, two, one. That was a test. Three, two, one. Wow. That's okay. That's what's supposed to happen. Now I'm on the pod. So the top pod 
actually flies away. That's the orbital module. In the bottom pod, the service module goes away as well. Both those will burn up in the atmosphere. Those are not shielded. Um, they don't try to recover those. Those should just like get rid of, rid of them. And the only part that we've got left is this part with the astronauts on board. Now, no heat shields. Um, it'll be interesting to see how this works. Yeah, very. So we will see if this re-enters or blows up because I'm not sure that we've certified it. Was this the one that was already on there? This may be one that hasn't been tested in the latest uh, heating model. Oh boy, well then. Oh, we're about to test it. The actual one does have, you know, an ablative heat shield <laughs> that burns away. And actually, if you look at the one here at the Intrepid, you can see the you where can the see where it burned on the, the bottom. Burned yeah. Away, yeah, I love it. EJ's launchers are what? 500 parts, of which 400 are reaction <laughs> wheels. Yeah, and the other 100 and 98 of the rest are struts. You know something? I love it because that shuttle launch was beautiful. Oh, it worked. Like instantly. whatever we have to do to cheat our way around KSP shenanigans, I'm okay with because that launch was absolutely beautiful. Oh, it worked. And it worked the first time. He like put it out there and it was like boom, worked. It was done. So let's get a little bit of time warp here. We're on battery power right now. Oh, we don't have EJ's any back. Okay, EJ's back. Hello. Oh, wait. How's it going? <laughs> Yo, he is a up? man. Uh, All right. <laughs> it's that uh, point of the day. So anyways, it's that point of the day. Uh, <laughs> all I need is the glasses and we're all I'm set. I'm just hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> and we're about to uh, interface with the atmosphere here. When we get to 70 kilometers, we'll actually enter the atmosphere. Yes, we have all three Kerbals. None of them were jettisoned. Yep, we haven't gotten rid of any Kerbals. That's an important thing. And we will see. We also still have our rover wheel periscope. <laughs> you know what? I'm just, I'm just looking. I'm just trying to see what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's a thing. That's totally a thing. Oh, uh, that's funny. Ah, uh, yes. I could time warp, I guess. I don't think it's going to drain the batteries. There's not actually a probe core on here, I don't think. So let's just do a little bit of time warp, and as soon as we start to get some heating effects, I'll uh, pop it back over again. But my Soyuz actually has retro rockets, and assuming they don't explode due to the heating on our entry, yeah. um, we can actually do a real Soyuz landing. This chute is barely enough to land it safely. We've got to fire the retro rockets at the correct time in order to do a Soyuz-style landing to slow us down so that we don't, you know, splat and or rip the craft apart. Yeah, which... Uh, there we go. I've talked to a few astronauts who've landed in Soyuz before. Yeah. I've heard it compared to getting into a car crash about 30 or 40 miles an hour. Getting so, into a car crash? Yeah, because the, uh, they're called the soft landing jets, and they all say there's yeah. nothing soft about it. The soft landing jets. Well, it's, I guess it's softer, so your neck doesn't, neck doesn't completely snap. It's just... There's yeah. an octo in there. That's interesting. Because they're in these seats that are specifically molded to them. Right? Like, each seat is for a specific astronaut, right? Right. They're, beforehand, they uh, get this mold, and it's designed to cushion them. Because they've been in space for six months, most of them. So it's designed to cushion them from these three Gs, which to them feels like six or eight sometimes. How does that work? I mean, like, Greg rode up in TMA-7 and came down in TMA-6. Seat liners are interchangeable. So they, like, swap. It's like a foot... Like yeah, they a literally shoe liner almost. Take the, well, it's pretty much just a flat thing you attach it to it. So they literally take the C liner out of seven, strap it into six, and cool. then he goes home. I did not know that. Yep. That's actually pretty cool. It's like you just switch out your specific molded seat pad and hope you don't explode. My temperatures are okay here. It looks terrible right now. We're definitely getting some shock heating, uh, but it's not actually heating us up. This is just the KSP. Let's put all sorts of crazy effects on the screen that aren't actually as hot as they are. Yeah. Um, I almost wish that the, the heating effects were, like, mapped to the amount of heating that was that, occurring. That would be nice, but it does add dramatic effect yeah, if you go Yeah, it's very IBA. dramatic. Like, look, you can see this, like, BAM! I came in like a fireball. All right, so anyways, after I've muted NASA Man's mic there, um... <laughs> I apologize. You know, I'm, you know I can unmute myself. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> okay. We haven't died yet, which is nice. We're down to 14. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. We have three very strong <laughs> command pods. <laughs> Hashtag oh. salty NASA man is salty. Salty <laughs> NASA man is salty. Look at this. We're going to land not in the mountains. Um, I'm definitely hitting the desert. Perfect. So good for me. I picked a nice big target that I could be successful with here live. Um yeah. Now we're getting into some uh, aero and, effects, and no longer the heating up, effects. Though. The pods are a little bit glowing on that side, but it's really not that bad. Let's go ahead and turn off the SAS and just let her ride. I should have turned off the SAS the entire ride down. I mean, you still have plenty of electric charge. Yeah, but. we're fine. And when it tells me the chute is safe to pop, because right now it's risky to pop the chute, you can see. Mm -hmm. um, it, did you know you can right click on the chute and it'll tell you if it's safe I, or risky? Or... I learned that the hard way. Uh, and yeah. when I, it blew up and chat said, you know, you can right click. Uh huh. <laughs> 
but it's risky right now. We're still going too fast. Under like 240 meters per second, it should go to safe. 250, it looks like it went to safe. Uh, I'll go ahead and pop that at 7.5 kilometers, maybe. We're just kind of falling. The Kerbals, you're good. You guys can't see it. Cronus looks very concerned. Can you replicate that face? Which one on the right? Cronus, yeah. <laughs> Let's go ahead and pop the chute. Good, it worked. That's probably something we should have tested in advance. <laughs> <laughs> Neither was just going. Oh, no. And so the last thing I need to do is fire these retro rockets. They burn for 1.5 seconds, and I need to just choose the right distance above the surface to fire them so that we don't bunny hop, basically. So we are falling down. The chute will open when it's 500 meters off the deck. I could tune that to open more higher, higher than that. But I think we're going to be okay here. Let's see. What was that? Uh, oh, the other part's exploding. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because, you want to hear a joke? What? KSP arrow. KSP arrow? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't. I know, I'm terrible. <laughs> <laughs> but accurate. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see here. Open shoot. There goes the whole shoot opening. There we go. We've moved down to about 10 meters per second. And usually it's right above the ground. There's a great picture. Uh, uh -huh. that, of the retro rockets firing? Yeah, you can see it. it's taken from a helicopter. One of my friends uh, was a NASA photographer, Bob Jacobs. Mm -hmm. Was the, only, the first one to ever capture the thrusters actually firing. You can see the dust from the desert piling up around it. Oh, I wonder if we should get that from here, this too. Yeah, we should get the effects. You know? Let's see. 50, 40, 30, 20. Not exactly. It was fine. Right? It was fine. It was fine. I good enough for government work. <laughs> good, good enough. Good enough for government work. Everybody's fine. It's probably the decoupler that blew off. That was just fireworks yes. for the locals. The Soyuz does have multiple shoots. <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah. So we're back safe. No one died. Uh, I popped it probably five meters too there, high. There, it's all there good. It There's Someone's no the racks. There's a picture of it as well. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everybody's happy. Let's go ahead and recover this vessel. Yeah, that's Bam. that's exactly how soft the soft. Yeah, that's about yeah. Are. It's a car wreck at thirty miles an hour. <laughs> there you go, <laughs> nailed it, nailed it. Left you. I haven't been clicking on a lot of links. Um, I have not been clicking on a lot of links. Let's see here. I'm going to go back up to the station and land the shuttle. Um, I want EJ to land the shuttle, so I'm not sure where so EJ is. So do we want to launch a second shuttle with a Hubble? Oh man, if we, we have, have time for it, we need our shuttle minutes. operator back here. Where is he at? Uh, Just he yell is EJ. He's spreading the word building. of Kerbal Space Program. Let's see here. I want to go back up to the shuttle. Um, we may take a, like a minute or two break while we find EJ, and we'll see. I Let's bet you there's no yo EJ. Just that'll work. Or yell. the microphone is over there for the sound system. We could the PA just pop onto the PA right system, system for the building and just be like, "Ah, oh, EJSA, please report to uh, Shuttle Command." <laughs> <laughs> Come it on, says KSP. He's behind us. Um, Did yes, KSP he's staring crash? at the shuttle, but he cannot turn around right now. KSP very because well may have crashed. Because his eyes are guys. on top of his head. There we go. I'm thinking his KSP crashed. KSP uh, crashed. <laughs> hey, we at least we didn't crash. All I'll right. Take it. Yes. Full screen cam. Yes. Back that way. Uh, we just landed a Soyuz. Yeah, we just we did just do a shuttle. Soyuz. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I just, okay. Let, let us help you. Over. Absolutely. Oh, thank there you. There you go. <laughs> let me uh, let me grab this here. Let's see here. Yes. We just re yeah, yeah. from the just space threw station. Threw it out of orbit, basically. From the yeah. space station, yeah. I'll show. You, I'll get back over there. Let me get the game going again. Um, we can show the one on the station, yeah. Just one second. I've got to fix this. That one. Main display. <laughs> what else, dude? Yes. Do you have an app on your phone that has something to do with the museum, or do you know anyone who does? Uh, his phone is over there unlocked. I don't know his passcode, but yes, a certain <laughs> EJ does. Yes, oh, there is an man. app that you can download here for the space shuttle pavilion. Um. You can learn a lot about the shuttle and the exhibits and things that are here if you're not at the exhibit. And if you are at the exhibit, you get extra bonus content, too. i got to tap in tap in Nessa Man so he can talk for a little bit <laughs> while I reset so this. So when you come here, there's little markings all along the floor. You can point your phone at it, and it will uh, load up information about that specific exhibit. So you can kind of give yourself a little bit of a guided tour and get some behind-the-scenes stuff that isn't all over the walls. And there's a lot of stuff here. So There's, like, little markers on the floor or something, isn't there? Like, uh -huh. Do you, you, like, you go up to those markers and Yeah, there's one directly behind us. I uh, that's why we have the rope office where the where it is. Um, uh -huh. So people can still reach the thing. That's why people get up all on the backs of our grills, I guess. Uh, some people just, you know, want to be part of the show. It's all but good. Yes. I got no problem with that. It's a working museum. This is like a live museum right now. Yes, it's not like after hours or anything like that. People cannot see the chat. They can see off to the side our broadcast. <laughs> but 
Um, I don't want to know what that's in relation EJ, to. EJ, sunglass discipline. <laughs> Hello? Yes, you're... We need a <laughs> We need you over here. We need you over here. Commander. Just do, do it. Save, <laughs> load test. Just do it, EJ. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's Shia LaBeouf. Oh my gosh. Don't let your dreams Sit be dreams. down and just fly this thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> there you go. We've recovered a uh, Soyuz. Uh, so we took 35 parts away from the station. <laughs> yes, All right. And we were going to go back <laughs> and see <laughs> what happens here. Hopefully it saved after we landed. Okay. Landed. Landed. Lent. Lent it? Lent. No, that's, 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 right. that's the shuttle in, uh, Cal in uh, Florida. Atlantis. Atlantis. Ah. This is Enterprise. Good try. So there we go. All right. And yeah, we're running like 40% physics now with one Soyuz away. And the total part count on the station is... That's a little steep for you, Dad. 463. Oh! 463. You've been hanging around with me too much. Well, you know, it's, it's like some EJ has rubbed off on me, man. We have, like, <laughs> Pathfinder Syndrome. I'm not sure if there's a pill to get rid of that. <laughs> but when oh, I go home... <laughs> Everyone's got to see this. This looks amazing, what doesn't we it? Oh, thank you, by the way. That's amazing. There we go. I was just making sure it would load correctly first. There we go, though. That right there is fantastic. <laughs> I love his. EJ, EJ, apparently everybody saw you without saw glasses, the glasses in the background. Drop. His part count his was eyes a little fell low off, at yeah. some point. They're glass. All They're right. Fake. I'll fix. I'll fix. Hey, there you, we you, go. You want to see the chat explode? Oh, no. I think someone's behind the chat See the, see the chat, chat explode? Yeah, look who's behind us again. Oh, man. Here we go again. We have the same sort of thing. That's you want, hilarious. You want, you want to see the chat explode? We can see the chat explode. That can you do what I do, whatever you want to do, dude. It's your thing. Look at this guy. Hang on. Time out. Time out. Time out. Full screen cam. <laughs> They're glass. Wait, let me I'm see telling them. you. Let me see them. They're glass. Whoa. <laughs> we'll just confuse everybody here. <laughs> like. Oh, my God. Wait, I got to turn the EJ hat around. There we go. <laughs> and uh, wait, hang on. Let me go from the NASA man Wait, to the I should NASA turn man. my hat around. Hang on. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to, you want, do you want what I should do. The one okay. that says EJ? Oh, yeah. No, I don't need the one that says EJ. <laughs> this has a hole in the front. There you go. That's what hey, I need to do, does. right? Hey, it does. That's EJ. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So anyways. What's <laughs> I am. Mr. Krabs, I am so confused. <laughs> I am so confused. <laughs> I don't know who is oh who anymore. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. There's, they're like, put it back. <laughs> put it back. Put it back. This put it is all back. wrong. Put it back here. <laughs> there you go, EJ. All right. I can't believe this happened in front of, That's like, hilarious. a thousand people. <laughs> oh, we have there's 30 a 30-minute warning. warning on the museum. <laughs> Yes, you may. We Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. What? Ding, ding. Oh, boom, no. Boom. This is all kinds of wrong. <laughs> Am I good? All right, I'm pretty again. It's a little high. There we go. Look Got it. See, air, and space. <laughs> <laughs> Nuclear winter has started. <laughs> it's a singularity. <laughs> Who are these oh, no. people? Three <laughs> shots <laughs> captured. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> what have we done? That's rough. Oh, the curb at it. Um, we've got about 30 minutes left. That was the 30-minute warning on the museum. We've got to stop that's, the stream at 6 p.m. EJ. Plenty of time, dude. Do you want to go for a deorbit here? Absolutely. Let's do All it. right. Sweet, dude. You gotta land, you gotta land, there you go. Wow. And then there's <laughs> the news. Dude, there I can't even go. do that in 30 minutes by myself. There you I go. Mean, like, come on. Well, the good news is with the lower park count, it actually goes a little faster than you're used to. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another part count shot. Okay. <laughs> oh man, Sawyer is gonna like file for like I some sort of like insurance claim from all these shots going across. I have here. no idea what I'm in the <laughs> middle of right now, but I don't like it. I'm gonna eat more astronaut ice cream, honestly. It, it's all right. Delicious. Oh, it's so like starting to stick together or something. It's it's hydrating from it's probably hydrating humidity. From the it's humidity. It is so humid here. All right. And we are still in full screen. Thank you. Uh -huh. You gotta do it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Guys, Wait, are you EJ or EJ. are you Doss? I am EJ. Bill. Uh, all right, all right, Bill Kerman, please. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, this is the first time we've done like a big thing like this, and we've learned an awful lot from it. Um, yeah, not to invite me. The next. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, hey, come oh, on, man. In the middle, no, you guys are. Oh running man. This. All right, fine. Not to invite any of you guys on not my show anyone. next time. Then. Fine. It'll just be like a camera pointed at a space shuttle, and we'll keep our mouth shut and you not even what? appear. I'd watch that on the front Probably, page. Probably, yeah, right? It sounds like one of my streams. <laughs> Live so shuttle just look cam. at it. Oh, look at no. it. Shuttle look cam. at it. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, so um, I'm going to try to get KSC out into the daytime here. Yeah, oh, season. sweet, dude. That's fine. Yeah. That's yeah. fine. <laughs> yeah, hey, that's how I stay out of the line of fire is just reading chat. <laughs> 
and oh, dodging really, the bullets. We really have learned an awful lot from this, guys. Um, next time we'll have like a gaming computer, we'll do the two PC setup, we'll have somebody running production for us, because right now it's like us three guys, right? It's and we've got us, another man. monitor over here, but we're kind of like doing this live and we're learning a lot. That's like what we do. Yep. We show up, we like stick our necks out there and we try to get something happened and it's really awesome and then some things we can improve on. So I totally appreciate everybody hanging out with us and kind of putting up with some of the technical hiccups and stuff like that that we've had because we're going to learn. We're not going to do the same thing twice, and it's just going to get better and better every time we do this. So this won't be the last special show. No, absolutely. No, I, I, I hope not. I, I would hope not either. I, I, this I was great, man. There's a space shuttle behind us, man. Oh, no. <laughs> Come not on, bad, man. Huh? Not bad. <laughs> get to meet astronauts, get to see boats and mm -hmm. planes and oh, planes if you guys, and trains and automobiles, yeah. If you guys haven't seen the Intrepid Museum in your in your local, it's get, worth it. Get down here. And this if you're not local and you're planning a trip to New York or you want to plan a trip to New York, this has to be on your itinerary. Oh, if this, you love any of this stuff in KSP. This mm -hmm. place is insane. It's it's great. It's so awesome. All right, so I'm, I'm just getting the shuttle around, and I'm going to use my, my standard re-entry trajectory because mm -hmm. your shuttle is not that far off in design from Collins. Cool, it's man. close. But Go for it, dude. You, you know what you're doing here. Yeah. All right, so let me, let's get around to the other side of the planet, and then I think we should be good. Mm -hmm. Just remember not to stall out when you get to the runway. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. In F5. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Uh, sorry, Shatter. <laughs> Wait, what? What did the we miss there? Oh, oh <laughs> yeah, couldn't Shatter. We couldn't get the yeah. mic to work. I don't know what the deal with that is. All right. So actually, we're we're a little bit more shallow, shallower, more shallow, shallower, mass, uh, shallower. Yep. <laughs> than where I'm at. So actually, I'm gonna do a burn over here. <laughs> oh so wow, dude, that's gonna be a crazy. Uh, wow, that's yeah, that's where I normally do my burn for my Mark II. Yeah. That's steep. That's gonna be a crazy steep reentry, but it's more accurate. The more steep you are, the more accurate you can be. And then versus turns are a thing. Yeah. yeah. So I, my, where I usually burn the shuttle from is mm. 100 and 154 kilometers because that's where my station is. <laughs> um, so it's way up no. here, and by th I, I kind of just judge it by where I am in altitude. Usually I cross the hundred thousand threshold by this by this uh, line over here, and then I, right. hit, I hit 70 about halfway across the ocean here. So you kind of know. So we're at we're at about 90 right now, so I just kind of did the median between those two sure, to give man, me a, yeah. a, a, a good re-entry trajectory. Yeah, I gotcha. This should probably cost us, it's uh, it's 200 from uh, uh, up at 150. So, so where do you put the end of the line here? Like I usually line up for the big island that's uh, like 200 kilometers uh, okay. uh, east of... KSC. Gotcha. The big, not the the big thing that's six way down, but the one that's actually an island. Yeah, that exactly. one right there. Yeah, that's exactly what I do. East. Um, I thought you said west. Keep in mind that pod is at the uh, island air base. There's an F-16 and an F-18 out there at the island air base. Okay. That's the pod. That's not KSC. So that one right there. Yeah, so that's KSC. the island air base. KSC is the other one up where my mom is standing tricky outside. Tricky with the clouds. Okay. It is tricky with the clouds. Uh, 343 dB. All right, so I'm going to take some liberties here. I'm going to move us back. That's too much. Delta V, I don't... I, do How are you on fuel? Yeah, that's what you I'm wondering. You should have plenty of fuel because we had that entire tank, right? Yeah. Or if yeah. not, you can always refuel at the station probably while you're still there, right? Oh, you still have to decouple from the station. Yeah, that's I right. believe you're still docked. That's what chat was saying. And get out of Dodge, yeah. Yeah, no worries. No worries. I'm, I'm kind of... There it is. That's gorgeous. Yeah, you're still here. there. All right, here we go. We're going to go for station on dock. Squish. Sound effects nominal. <laughs> <laughs> there you neat. go. All right, so what, what's fuel load? How much do we have here? I bet you you have most of that tank. 14. Oh. Yeah. You do. Oh. You have most of that tank. Okay. All right. But don't forget you got to transfer it over to the ohms pods because yeah. it you doesn't know what? have to do there. I'm going to do that now. Fill them all the way up, man. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, we can select more than one fuel mm -hmm. tank here, which is really nice. I do love that feature, yeah going to top them all off here. Right. And there's, yeah, there's more than enough to get to four tanks. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Sorry, I had to hmm? echo the third time. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> it, it's got to be in threes. 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 Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, thief there. All so right, so we're almost done. Around. Yeah. yeah. We're almost done filling these tanks up here. Are we, we're not going to miss our deorbit burn, are we? Uh, we might have to go around one more. Uh, okay. I don't. I don't think we are. We, you know, that hitting M really messes with it. Yeah, it stops the transfer. You're right. I, I let's see, 76 times four. Is 210. No, we're yeah, gonna. Need, we're go. gonna need more. There you go. <laughs> All right. More. 
400. So if I t wait till each tank gets to about 100, that should be. I mean, that's 400 fuel yeah. total. That's about what mine takes. We do have a little bit of extra fuel, so I'm gonna. Well, you can be flipping around too while it still pumps. Yeah. yeah. So again, we're just trying to bring the shuttle home safely. We basically got one sh one shot at it, honestly. Maybe two. Maybe we're two shots. Yeah, we're cutting it close because we got to get out of here. It, we, we F5, but we may be able to. Uh huh. All the way around. So to, I wouldn't normally use uh, RCS to turn around because that's really, really inefficient. Right. Uh, that's that basically wastes fuel uh, unless you're using lateral translation. But in the in the uh, Spirit of time here, I We've think. We've got plenty. We've got plenty of time. <laughs> yeah. Fuel. Uh, fuel, not time. <laughs> not time. Yes. Fuel. Oh All right, gosh. so there you go. All right, so I'm going to shut the payload bay, which would be, Das, you, you said you use five for that because you have uh, unified action groups among Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's just kind of yeah. like my standard five, like, deploys or undeploys the main purpose of the craft. So this would be a cargo craft. Five would open and, you know, close ah, the cargo bay. that's ah. pretty smart, dude. Um, and the things that don't have cargo bays, five may do something else. But uh, this one, it would do the cargo bays. All right. So I'm actually going to... We're floating away from the station, and it, it, it's important to be not in front of the station because yeah. you don't want to retro burn and crash into it. You don't want to hit it yeah. with your engines. You don't want to. You don't want to be pointing at it, and you don't want to have it behind you, really close mm -hmm. with the engines. Both yes, ways are exactly. bad news. So you don't blast it. Yep. So you know what? I'm just gonna try this. Okay. Oh, come on, you. So close. Da -da. There you go. And just put it way down there. I'm gonna there try for go. halfway between the island runway and the big island out okay, there. Okay. Cool. Yep. Oh, uh, did we disable the aero surfaces? That's a good point. I don't um, remember if we did or not. I don't I, think so. I disabled the aero surfaces, yes, and oh. it, it's not a good idea to go through uh, the higher parts of the atmosphere with your aero surfaces enabled. Okay. It's too much torque. It'll cause it to just spin out of control. Okay. Use RCS just for heading hold okay. when you're going through reentry. Then post reentry, which I, I usually do it at around 26 to 25 kilometers, that's when I'll turn on the flight control surfaces. Okay, gotcha. That's actually how the shuttle does it it does not it like has them disabled yeah. up high and then mm -hmm. yep. you probably would you've got like the shock heating and that sort of stuff you probably wouldn't want the control you don't surfaces want you don't want yeah. around that. yeah. yeah that's terrible that they, makes you'll, sense, you'll rip exactly. a control surface clean off yep. and by the gotcha. way this is the space and science festival the last day of it here at the intrepid yeah it's just about to close down there's 30 minutes there's just 20 oh, minutes left let's go uh boom. there you go a little there's behind homes that's okay 30 we'll behind we'll be okay yeah, i hope so it's hard to see. Well, with you the, just with you could just burn it in the clouds yeah. hard. Yeah. Welcome to hard mode, EJ. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Just <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it is. It's really. It is hard to see down through the clouds. Yeah. Do a barrel roll. <laughs> 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 oh, smart, Alex. All right. Let's see here. Um, is this good? Or is we went this around once. Yeah, we've been uh, around a couple times. Yeah, yeah we're we're super busy, busy here. here. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> All right, here we so go. We'll keep on going. Go We're deorbiting. Fuel's looking Sweet. okay. All right. Yeah, we still have plenty of fuel. And we just, yeah, we just left the station's SOI. Look at the yeah, look, look at, at the yeah. physics now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I try for. I'm gonna say like right there. Okay. Cool. All right. Very nice. There goes the station. Later, nerds. <laughs> we so are now out. you gotta now you gotta flip the shuttle over and belly up. You gotta get mm -hmm. it. Yeah. <laughs> does it does, does it like pancake in, or does yeah. it have like an angle, or what does it do? Thirty degrees plus angle of attack. So okay, like uh, right around uh, the actual shuttle's forty. 42. I uh, yeah. yeah, I use the actual shuttle's up there. That's that's okay. that's what the shuttle does. Wow, yeah, that's, that's what I use for my Mark II. It literally uses the entire bottom of the shuttle to slow itself down. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. literally slams into the atmosphere. Okay, F five maybe. Yeah, yeah, good call. Yeah, dude. Okay, because you, you can always burn more or burn a little radial out here if you need to change the trajectory. So. Yep. Okay. Let's see what we've got. Uh, you don't have a lot of fuel in the ohms right now. Is that cool? Uh, what are we looking at? That's fine. Oh, that's All right, good deal. Amount. Yeah, we yeah we have four hundred in there. So right here is where I would heading hold at like thirty five. Okay. It's you know, like a, like the shuttle is forty two, but uh, wonky arrow, thirty five. Okay, good deal. And I, I just let the RCS go. 
I mean, it, it, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna wipe out your fuel, but you also gotta remember that you don't want to land with a lot of fuel. Yeah, but it's yeah. okay too. I mean, you're using 0.05 units of fuel per second to do the heading hold there. It usually burns about a hundred units. Really? Po through the re-entry, yeah, maybe a little more. You can actually see that it's burning more and more RCS as it gets more and more arrow. Could you hit F12 for us? Yeah, absolutely. And you can start to see the arrow kicking in. You there see the drag is. from those wings that's going to bring down that orbital velocity a little bit. Oh, yeah. Now, the orbital velocity is increasing right now because we're falling down, and the drag isn't enough to counteract the falling towards the planet, the effects of gravity, honestly. Absolutely. And you can see... Uh... Wait, what? You're at 40 up, by the way. Yeah. Wait, yeah, it, thirty. Yeah, I set it forty, and as the planet rotates, you're, you'll go up, right. and then the arrow will take it more. back down. Ah, gotcha. as it pushes the wings, that drag from the back kind of exactly. Flips it you back can around. see where the drag ah. is coming, so it's yeah, actually yeah, going yeah. to oh, nose down here. Down. I don't, I don't need to do anything. It's I got like a lever arm sort of thing. Yeah, that's exactly. Gonna pull the mm -hmm. tail up and push the nose down a little bit. Yeah, okay, fantastic. So, we're up a little bit high here, but it's actually important you don't really want to touch the rcs right now I, okay you don't lose control of it if yeah it's locked in it's dialed in it's it's centered on one point if you if you move it right now right it's going to spin out of control okay so we're not going to try any s turns right now no don't do okay. that no, not that's in only KSP. once you go through heating you go through the s turns really yep yep the actual shuttle goes through all the heating and then once it's through pretty much the mock effects basically then it starts then it starts doing the s turns i got gotcha. s turns usually sweet and we can also watch the thermal percentage. Engineer up there is going to tell us if we have any problem parts. Uh, so they'll watch both the skin temperature and the core temperatures of all the parts on the craft. And if we start to get too much heat soaking or, or being applied to the skin of anything, it'll tell us up there as yeah, the okay. heat climbs. You see that critical thermal percentage? Yeah. That's the part that's closest to overheating and exploding. Yep. And so it'll identify that and tell you what the deal see, is. There it goes. Mm-hmm. Oh, and there goes the heating coming up on, it, on the battery. Yep, that's okay. Yeah, no, it's good. It's only at 30%. So, this is my favorite part. <laughs> oh, that's gorgeous. That's sweet. Double click in the middle of the sky there, and you can see the uh, central view. Right like, yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, right there. There you go. <laughs> that's my favorite, <laughs> man. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> yeah. As we pay no attention to the actual altitude of the attitude yeah. of the craft. We're it's like, right. no, no, let's look at the pretty pictures. We're already at 14. You're not going to overheat. You no. didn't even yeah, really pass fine. 30, 31 percent. It's no. fine. See, like the shuttle, like I mean, it, that's this is where a lot of parts actually kind of comes into play because it's dispersing the heat evenly over a lot of parts. Yeah, Just yeah. like it disperses a lot of heat over the tiles. Uh -huh. I mean, the tiles. Don't get me wrong. If you if you attach enough parts to your spaceship and then try to re-enter it, that's that's not really how it works in mm -hmm. real life. But in Kerbal, it's evenly dispersing the heat over the parts. Yep. So if you have a, a higher, I'm not saying like load your shuttle down with structural panels on the bottom. Right. I mean, you could. It'd be the best thermal protection system ever. But you you can you can kind of get away with it here, uh, and you don't need you uh, a higher part count actually helps you in this situation. Right. 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 Yeah. So it looks like you can kill the arrow. All right, because yeah. so, it's just going to be prettier if you can. And it's the okay that it was slightly tilted, right? The, the wings like that, it can oh, still yeah. withstand the heat even as like, no yeah. problem. Yeah. And don't forget so, to re enable. Yep, yep. right surfaces. now, when we, start, we start skipping at 26, look, we're actually going yeah, up. Yeah, we're going up. Yep. You can see the vertical speed's 11 meters per second up. It's usually at about 30, so right? This is, yeah, this is right where I 30. disable. Yep, all remember my we got two tails as well. Yep. <laughs> Not right now. <laughs> 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 no barrel roll. <laughs> yeah, they're all just, they all just want so to this barrel. So this is where That's fantastic. I start doing the S-turns here. Did you get both tails enabled? Yep. Okay, good. You're oh, talking I to the man you, who came up with the trick. I think you overwrote the uh, Did the I? action group to deploy the tails. Yeah, it was seven. I didn't. You didn't? Nope. So seven would deploy the tails? All right, good deal. The split tail air brake. Yep. That's the actual shuttle speed brake does uh -huh. the same thing. I what mean, was it called? It was a... Uh, uh, it's a... Uh, Double articulate uh, Double speed Double articulate speed brake. The tail actually, actually splits apart like that to uh, act as a speed brake. Term still, I actually didn't know. We're still, we're still going a little fast to deploy the speed brake. Yeah. Right now the shuttle could use its speed brake, and but once again, I was just making sure it was like wonky, able enabled. Wonky KSP arrow will cause big problems, and we're we're gonna overshoot. So are I'm we gonna, gonna have to do a sweet flip? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna come around. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah just do the, do the barrel roll. So you can see because I'm actually exposing more of the bottom of the shuttle, yeah. it's actually causing more drag. You'll get this more is, drag from it. This is what the actual shuttle does. Uh -huh, the yeah, S turns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And look, as you kind of point prograde, you turn it off, um, yep. you'll see it like the red lines will increase and decrease. And we use those wings pancaking into the direction of airflow to like get more drag and slow us down. Yep. And watch, as he does it, you see the red lines increase, boom. 
Or he gets a bunch of drag to help him slow down, and you see that velocity start to drop. Yep. Absolutely. Fantastic. And shuttle, again, usually does four of those. One, two, three, four. And really? And does uh, another turn, too, because after all those turns, it has to align itself, and it also helps slow it down going on a heading alignment circle. Uh -huh. So it's either a 90, 180, or 270 degree turn, a circle, basically, that it does which gives it one last slowdown and lines it directly up with the runway. Lines it up with the runway, gotcha. That's basically what we're doing here. I mean, so I'm going to circle around to um, to 27 here. Yeah. yeah. Looks like you're going to do a 270 then heading alignment circle turn. Or no, 180 from where you're angled at right now. Correct. Yeah, you got it, man. See? Uh, the shuttle guys. Yep. There we're, the, go. we're all the Twitch guys. We're the shuttle guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So right now is really important to, you. you I mean, you want to dump your speed, but you don't want to dump too much speed. Because if you dump too much speed, the thing's going to start wonking out with the yeah, arrow. Yeah, it'll stall yeah. out, really, right? Yeah. And the actual shuttle did not have thrusters on it that would fire, so basically, if you undershot it, you're going, you're yeah, landing short. Yeah, you got to get it right, because you don't have engines to let you fly any. If you overshot it, you're, you know, undershoot, you're in the ocean, overshoot, you're in a marsh, something mm -hmm. like that. No or, need to go to the island, this is perfect. Yeah, no, we're yeah, 17 kilometers out, we just went under 10 kilometers here, our speed is 185. Mm -hmm. And this, this shuttle, because, you know... I mean, it doesn't have as many of the cosmetic features as mine. Mine's very Kerbal Fashion Academy. Mm -hmm. I, I yeah. tried to hit the mark between making it look yeah, nice yeah, and yeah. making it work. Your shuttle is more in keeping It's part with, count. It's like the physics lag and, and stuff. And the yeah. arrow. It's more optimized for arrow than uh -huh. mine is, so we actually come in a lot faster. Really? But just like the actual shuttle, too, although we are going faster than and the You're talking shuttle. about the plates you put on the back that kind of create drag at the back of the shuttle, exactly. right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It, it makes mine a little more forgiving to fly because it's not, you can slow well, the down. the center of pressure is back. It's got some drag exactly. at the back of the craft exactly. with the center of mass in front, so it darts. Oh, yeah, you got it, man. Uh-huh. So this thing wants to actually go up, and I and I assume it's because of that lift surface right there. Yeah. But See. that shouldn't be too much of an issue. You're still good on yeah. the fuel. The, the electric shuttle, charge. The actual shuttle okay. lands at about uh, 230 miles an hour. I don't know the conversion. Yeah. Someone in chat will. It's, but So we're yeah. kind of close to that. It's about, it's about 80 or 90 meters a second in there. Okay. Yeah, so we're still going so a lot right faster than the actual shuttle, but... Yeah, that's, I mean, seven, oh, seven over here. So yeah. this is, oh, the speed brake. Oh, on is it no. not going? Yeah, it didn't, it only went to one side. That happens with me. I set it, it it's like not lost symmetry the symmetry or something, yeah. 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 So we're 1,500 out. There goes the shadow, you can see the shadow second, done underneath it, yeah. We're 1,000. Gear. 900, 800. Gear goes up to 400. 700. On the actual one. 600. Mm -hmm. I deploy at five. Yep. There you go. So we have the gear down here. I'm going to turn on the yeah, RCS. Yeah, it takes a little bit longer in Kerbal, but that's about when the shuttle does it, too. So 200. We're coming in hot. We're coming in 106. We're going about 250 miles an hour here. Yeah. There you go. Now you're coming closer to regular speeds. 40 got vertical. That. 10. Nine. There you there. go. Nice. Look at this. Two meters per second. Look vertical at this. Speed. Gentle and main gear oh, touchdown. Yeah. We have space, main space, gear space, touchdown. Space, space. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We have a wait. bounce. Boy, oh, 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 oh. All right, space, space, And space, we have space, nose space. gear touchdown. The nose gear Enterprise wonky. is home after its, it's first not successful stopped test yet. flight. Quiet. No, it's not stopping. And it has rolled off the, the runway. Arrow, the arrow's taking it, man. I'm not sure oh, what's boy, going on. Space, 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 space for the shoot. One, there you there Okay, the, that was your uh, cheaty shoot. And we have a drogue shoot and I just blew the nose up. Oh, no. Crew's okay. I'm done. <laughs> hey. We got 10 minutes. We can do uh, one more. But. Woe be those who attach shoots to the nose of the shuttle. <laughs> he, he just, yeah, he just gone. He just walked off. Oh, no. Oh, man. I should have thought of that. They're dro and mind the drogue shoot was before. Oh, oh. man. <laughs> Uh, RIP <laughs> headphones. You know something? Headphone users deal with it. That cheaty so coming close. back to bite us in the butt. Oh. Not cheaty, it's redundant. Yeah, coming back to bite <laughs> us in the butt nonetheless. My apologies I, honestly, for my previous comments. Honestly, if we comments. hadn't popped that shoot, it would have been fine. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yes. If we hadn't popped the front shoot, it wouldn't have pulled the nose back up. My apologies for previous comments. Ah, <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> Crew's yeah, we got fine. nine minutes right now. <laughs> the crew's fine. Where did we F5 at? We F5 right, right at into reentry. Right at atmosphere. You, right at, you want to give it a shot? Ah, uh, sure. Yeah. Give it a shot. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. You want to do a story? You haven't played it all, man. Go for it. It's fine. Are you sure? I'll do it on my stream tonight. Let's see here. I'll give it a try. Let's see. And this is, did we already do the retro burn or no? We've got nine minutes left. I am stealing the shuttle, by the way. All right. That's fine. And I'm calling it the den. The DOS EJ Nassiman. The den. A den class orbiter instead of STS, the DEN. Why not the Ned? All right. Because no one likes Ned. 
Okay, so I don't have to do anything, right, EJ? Uh, Why is there a maneuver? Actually, note? pit. Uh, that's I left it open when I quick saved. You can get out of it. Pitch the shuttle down about eighty-five degrees. Wait, pitch it down eighty-five degrees from current? no, no, five degrees. About five, fi degrees. About five oh, okay. degrees. Okay. So go go down just a little bit. There eighty-five degrees. Ah. Yeah, right. Eighty-five degrees. What? I was like, huh? Right there. All right, should I turn on RCS or I'll just let it go? Uh, I would turn turn the RCS on. You need you need it for attitude control because you don't want to have no control systems when you're going through yeah, re-entry. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You think I can time warp through re-entry? Yeah, yeah uh, with about this part that. count, yeah, you can, fizz, so, you can yeah. fizz warp it, but be careful. How many parts is this? 170-something, I believe. 145. 145. Wow, wow. We could get this down to a 100-part shuttle, honestly. I'm telling you, we should have had We could uh, get this down to a 100-part shuttle. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? We've got some extraneous parts. One. This guy. <laughs> Yo, change that. Change Ow. that right now. Ow. <laughs> change the oh, yeah, staging. Yeah. Change, no, yeah. change the staging. Change. No. What's it doing? Why is it flipping over like That's this? That's the fizz. Uh, what did you do? I didn't do anything. Oh. Hashtag blame Dawson. No, I'm not done. Hang on. I you got to be it. very careful when you're controlling You just need it. a real pilot involved here. Yo, you are also see? coming in a little low on the angle. You're only at about 25. Right? We'll be fine. He says. Maybe. I think, I think, yeah, I think we're okay. Yeah, we'll be fine. Definitely going to overshoot a little bit more, though, but... I think we'll overshoot less. I've got less of an angle. Right? Because the nose tell. isn't uh, as high. With this arrow, you never know. Now, we're going sideways a little bit, and I really don't want to touch the arrow, but see how we're kind of coming in a little bit that's sideways? Yeah. yeah yours did that, too. Yeah, it's, it's okay. All right. You can always around. correct. That's fine. Let me do a panel lock right there. SAS is engaged. We've got the electric charge. I wish we could tell the uh, fuel cells to pull fuel from a different place. You know what I mean? Yeah, if you could route. Yo, maybe you can force it with a fuel line. <laughs> no, because they pull from the entire craft like RCS. Oh. Yeah, you could You could try to fix it with... Uh, oh, yeah, control surface is already disabled. No, they're still disabled. Yeah, don't... Uh, you're coming up on the point where you should be enabling them. But okay. I, uh, run RCS for... Till... Yeah, yeah I've, I've got... A, yeah, do it. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm Go just for doing it. Interactive. Yeah, this interactive is this is about where I turn mine on because it, look at once again, wonky arrow model, man. You start, you skip you at do this, all sorts at this of wackiness. crazy of an angle. You skip. <laughs> all right. How is that? Oh, that's not. I'm actually just activating him for everything. I must right. have missed up there, but I'm gonna see if I can't dive here. Okay, wait a second. Why are those on? There you go. There's the and skip. Now you're going up a bit. Let's skip. Lou, Lou, Chill out. Skip to my I got this. Lou, 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 skip I'm not gonna to skip. I'm gonna dive. Oh, oh, oh no! What are you doing? I'm diving. Oh. I didn't want to <laughs> skip. I don't know what you guys are talking about. It's time for us to re-enter and go home. The S turn. The we only have five minutes. Okay, do no it. time you for S turn. S -turn fire the engines. Do no, it. No, fire the engines. <laughs> do it. I need to go down. I want Just to go home. Do it. That's negating your speed pretty good, man. Look at wow. this. Wow. <laughs> Holy smokes. That's I'm not supposed to work. I'm a shuttle and I Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've All descended right. to that part yes, of the day. Dive, dive. I feel like a submarine. Come on. Oh, don't flip backwards on me. No. Don't flip. When, when it gets into the good arrow, it'll be fine. I'm fine. The Z turn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is the Z turn. This is nice, the DOS damn, maneuver. Nice. Look. Good arrow. Welcome to program. Yeah. <laughs> Population <laughs> us. I'm just gonna fly <laughs> straight down. <laughs> we don't have time for this. We only have five minutes. We can do it. It's like there's a medical emergency aboard the shuttle, and we need a we need a uh, emergency landing here. I'm actually gonna turn a little bit. Um, the uh, run. I would hope the, not, Jamorian. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this, this is, the is thing. exactly how this works. I'll do a sweet flip and then we'll land. Yeah, I can see Enterprise just turning <laughs> over right now, just going, what are these people doing? Enterprise turning over. Pay attention, Enterprise. It's, look, it's, it's, not, even, it's not even looking at you. I know, yeah, anybody is back watch. to you. I can't, it can't even. Watch. You know something? It literally can't even. I'm just diving through the clouds. <laughs> <laughs> oh. There's a runway over there. <laughs> what are you people so concerned about? What do you think? I don't understand. Everybody's so concerned. Okay, so I, I, I will explain my concern in words. The run, the runway is he the runway heading is ninety two seventy. You know, you're something. heading one eighty. You're <laughs> perpendicular to the runway. I will tell you my I'm concern. I'm perpendicular to the planet too. <laughs> I will tell you my concern in one word. Kaboom! <laughs> you got this. <clears throat> and your mom's watching too. No, my mom's watching too. What's <laughs> up, mom? How you doing? So is my girlfriend. No pressure. My oh really? Yeah. Everybody's yeah. watching. No Pull pressure. Up. No Pull pressure. Up. It's not terrain. It's planet. 
planet. <laughs> Hold yeah. up. Hold up. Oh, Secret. Look at this. Secret. Look at this. Oh, oh, this how guy. many G's oh, oh. would you take for a Klondike bar? Uh, how Let's about Nascar ice cream Klondike bar? <laughs> Not that many. <laughs> look at that! Look at that speed, 124. That's almost perfect. Yeah, you're, you're so oh good, man. Gosh, you're coming in, this coming in good. <sighs> Remember who does the Kerbal working? Space Academy? Remember. <laughs> gears up a little high. There we go. You know something? Gears are perfect. Now, <laughs> I, if this lands, I give do up. Do do if this do lands, do I quit. Do do I quit do do the do Kerbal Space Academy. You're like that guy who said he would shave his head if uh, I brought him <laughs> a few viewers. Yeah. Come on now, man. You should know better than that. Oh, you got yeah, this, man. You got that? this. Your, your vertical speed is pretty exactly high. It's actually coming really good. You got this. It's coming really good. You got it. Whoa, that's speeding in. But yeah, the, the, the crowd's with me on this one. No, no way. Yeah. No way. No way. Like butter. Even the shuttle is clapping. You can't see it, but even Enterprise is clapping. And nose gear touched it. See how it, now? See how it's like. Yeah, it doesn't like the nose gear. It doesn't like the nose gear. It's okay. okay. I can you handle have, it. Do you have uh, um, asymmetrical brake torque? No, it shouldn't be. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Uh, well we're just done, getting that friend. out of the way for another shuttle to come and land shortly. Yeah, of course. Yeah, there'll <laughs> be another one coming. It's an inefficiency thing. I'm already on the taxi. I, way. It's I fine. literally can't even right now. I literally can't. <laughs> That's. It's almost like amazing. the. Amazing. Uh, I really do wonder if there's something. Let's see here. That is now 30, officially called 30, the DOS turn. Thirty. 30. The dot, instead of an 12, S turn or a Z yeah, turn, I didn't even, I didn't even activate that, that's, the brakes. That's what happened to me. I was like, wait a minute, what's going on here? Yeah. Wheel as, stop soon as, as soon as the front wheels it just touched went, down, it, it just wanted to turn to the side. The You're exactly yeah, right. Wheel stop can't apprise. It's almost like there's too, much, uh, there's too much weight on the front wheels, and they're getting pushed a little bit out by physics, which would cause it to turn down the runway like that. That wow. is fantastic. Da -da 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 Folks, it is 558. Nice. I'm honestly sad a little bit. Yeah. I'm honestly sad a little bit. So where we end? We have to be done. Well, it didn't explode, so I've got <laughs> that going for me, <laughs> which, which is nice. nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh my I love goodness, it. that's, yeah, that's a high Oh, but that was DOS <laughs> shuttle landing, right? <laughs> yeah, the DOS maneuver. We've uh, got to go ahead, guys, and uh, end the stream here. Um, we're done all weekend long. We were at the Intrepid Sierra and Space Museum in New York City. It's an aircraft carrier converted into a museum. It's got all sorts of air and space, and as it turns out, sea exhibits on board. There's a submarine, there's a Concorde, there's cruise missiles, there's almost two dozen or over two dozen planes on board. Oh, yeah. There's all sorts of awesome exhibits. I don't know if you can see behind us. You know something, yeah, let's, let's go, go full, full screen. screen. As cool as that shuttle is, I think Bam. the real one's cooler. The Space Shuttle Enterprise oh, is behind no. us. TMA-6, a flown Soyuz capsule is over there. Oh no. We've oh my had God. a blast. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> All the cabins. That was the oh no. <laughs> Hang on, I have to turn them to stone. Really, <laughs> turn them to stone. But really, guys, in, in all seriousness, um, I have to do a huge shout out to the museum for letting us do this. Yes, uh, awesome. Intrepid yes. Sierra and Space Museum, thank you so much for welcoming the Kerbal Space Academy over here to the Shuttle Pavilion, letting us do these streams, not just one day, not just one hour all weekend, bringing special guests like Mike Massimino and uh, Greg Olson we got, staff from the museum, curators. It Our was guys, honestly everything. amazing. Yeah, it was awesome. Dude. It was so awesome. So a huge, so absolutely ridiculous thanks to the museum. Can we get a link to uh, the museum in chat over here? Intrepidmuseum.org. Yep. If you ever come through New York City, make sure you stop. You, it's like an aircraft carrier. Who would miss an aircraft carrier? There's a lot of stuff going on in oh, New yeah. York. Times Square, Statue of Liberty, all that stuff. If you like air and space sort of stuff, you got to come by the museum because it's yep. just too cool. It really is. Oh, it, yeah. Also, a huge thanks. This is the end. That's it's the, the end. announcement, but a huge thanks. <laughs> oh, man. I'll let this run. There you go. Thank you, Gav. I'll let this run. Thank you, Gav. Thank you, Gav. Thank you, man. Guys, check that out, honestly. That's it, man. That's sad, honestly. This is a, this is a really fun three days, man. It was great. Yeah. Oh my god. It's uh, most fun I've had in a long time. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Really good. Man. There anyway, you go. As you were saying. Um, I was gonna do a huge thank out, thank a huge shout out, a huge thank you for NASA man oh. Sawyer for helping us set this up. We wouldn't have got this without NASA man, guys. NASA man's actually a consultant for the museum, and this is 100% him. Um, getting us in here and getting the contacts and stuff. Dude, Nessa, man, you're awesome. Well, thank you. So you're for, you guys, dude. for you guys, this is no-brainer. 
Thank you Too for thank you for coming on out and doing it. It's to get you this setup for you. You know, I've got the connections. Why let them go to waste? Uh, you know something? That's a good point. You know? We can spread the if awesome word. If you got it, flaunt it sort of deal. And EJ as well, man. EJ, thank you for coming down from Boston. Absolutely. The dude. shuttle thank was amazing. Around. My pleasure. The fact that it like, bam, you set it up and it like flew perfectly. It was beautiful. It went up to the ISS. <laughs> like the whole thing was just amazing, guys. Yeah. Ask for more. Um, what else do we have going on? Oh yeah, the headsets, guys. The headsets were Astro Gaming. Thank you as well to Astro Gaming. The yes. headsets have been working out amazingly. Um, we all match. They're the right color. They sound really great. We've got the microphone. Honestly, with the amount of like background noise and stuff that we had going on, it's been great. We oh, were using yeah. the headset mic for EJ and Sawyer. It's been fine, guys. Yeah, it's been great. Anything else? I don't know what else uh, to Shatter say. Mage came like, by? Yeah. Shatter Mage came by? That's right. Shatter Mage came by yesterday. Be sure to with follow. Yep, that's how he was our sound guy for a moment there. That uh -huh. was good. Yep. Give everyone of us a follow or a subscription to these two guys. That's right. They so we've got twitch.tv slash EJ underscore SA, if mods could get that in chat. <laughs> we've got twitch.tv slash the NASA man, <laughs> all one word, no spaces or anything. I'm twitch.tv slash Dez. They say thank the security guards. Yeah, thank, thank security, you, security guards. guards. Security. Dude, huge shout out for the security <laughs> guards. <though. laughs> Seriously, yes. just everybody. All the intrepid staff deserves a round of applause. Oh, uh, <laughs> yes. So the deal is, guys, oh, um, we're going to, no, we're going to go ahead, we're going to go ahead and, and call, it a, call it a day here. We've got to break down our stuff. We're going to pack it together. Thank you guys so much for sharing this with us. It was amazing. Seriously. It's great. Yes. For now, we got to go. All right, so, guys. We will catch you guys later. Have a great day, night, Bunch evening, whatever nerds. may be where you are. And later, nerds. Totally awesome. Totally awesome. Completely worth it. But we will see you all later, nerds. See you guys. <laughs> and it's not starting soon. It's actually. Oh, no. Later, nerds. Goodbye, oh, man. cruel world. <laughs>